Then as you've heard, SpongeBob and his friends save Bikini Bottom from Plankton's evil clutches in SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In this video, we'll be playing through the entire game from beginning to end, so let's get started. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Oh, it's the chum bucket. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, <laughs> checklist complete. Throw at the switch! Looks like Plankton's up to no good again. Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, oh no! Oh. What do you think you're doing? They immediately turn on him. That was on Dota Bay! No, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No, no! Oh, my good China! Well, this isn't good. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah. Only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these <laughs> unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. And we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. Well, be careful what you wish for. Because there's already a robot out there. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Oh, no. Uh, Gary, did you do that? I don't think he did. Oh, my. So they've already destroyed his house gonna take a lot of cleaning to fix all that. Interesting story so far, so it's sort of like its own yeah, episode. Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea. These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the kitchen. Alrighty. Explore the bedroom. Explore the attic. Explore the closet. Just explore the whole house. Oh, this is so cool. So we get to run around. Your bikini bottom stinks. Yikes. Um. Yeah, this is super interesting. So we get to explore SpongeBob's house. We can't get through here. You need more golden spatulas to open this door. And same thing over this way. 
Uh, you need more shiny objects to go to this area. I didn't know this was gonna I be. I make myself a snack, but there's no time. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna have its own story. I thought it was gonna like retell like maybe it one of the SpongeBob shines. movies or something. But it's like its own episode. It's really cool. So we can collect all these shiny things, and it's sort of just like a classic 3D platformer. It's awesome. So there we go. Gonna grab all of that, and then we can go into the bathroom, where there is more. Oh, oh yeah. Let's read the sign. I didn't see this before. SpongeBob may see how well he's doing by pressing R2. The number is in the upper right, or uh, the number in the upper right is how many shiny objects SpongeBob has. The number in the upper center is how many golden spatulas SpongeBob has collected. The number in the lower right is how many of Patrick's lost socks SpongeBob has found. I guess Patrick has a lot of lost socks. Uh, <laughs> and finally, the number in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. All right, interesting. So there's still more shiny things to get around to. I love this picture of SpongeBob on a little seahorse. Yeah, I guess they're all from different episodes and stuff. So we have this really nifty double jump, which helps a lot. <laughs> SpongeBob is quite acrobatic, so I didn't read the sign before. Uh, these are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along his quest. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors of shiny objects, red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or are in, a, in dangerous places. Well, I'll definitely be looking all over for them then. I don't think I've missed any so far, so that's good. I like a little net move though. <laughs> that's cool. So we have at least 10, so we should be able to pay 10 shiny objects to access this area. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Ooh. Okay, so we're in his bedroom now. So <laughs> yeah, there's more screenshots of different episodes. I already like that, that's cool. Uh, this is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like this, oh no! <laughs> Once SpongeBob has lost all of his underwear, he must start that uh, start that area back over again. SpongeBob may get back underwear he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which, if found, will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. SpongeBob can check how many pairs of underwear he has on by pressing R2. So we have two. We just lost Fresh, one by getting hit like by that safe. Breeze. And I guess we could just, it's basically our health then. Interesting. Here's a picture of Sandy, Ah, And what about this? SpongeBob may jump by pressing X. Pressing X while X, well, we're pressing X while SpongeBob is in mid jump will cause him to double jump for extra height. But SpongeBob can only double jump once per jump. Yep, so we've been, you know, messing around with that. But I guess we could bounce off the bed. No, no we can't, but <laughs> I guess it's enough that I can get up there anyways. Well, we can bounce off of that though. <laughs> cool, could we open this? No. So it looks like that's everything in this room. Can we go through this door? R1 the this change room. I keep all my old Whoa. Comic books. I forgot about this room. <laughs> it's just a library that he has. Okay, I guess this is like sort of the attic. Press square and SpongeBob will do a, a bubble spin. SpongeBob may use a bubble spin to smash open tiki's or push buttons on walls or defeat most robots. SpongeBob may also bubble spin in mid jump to hit things that are higher up. Cool, so we can smack that and that lowers that. Interesting, a bunch of boxes, so we can grab these, no problem. So we definitely this have enough to go I through that one door. Comic books. You already said that. <laughs> okay, so he's just gonna, he's gonna keep saying it. Um, so yeah, we could break all I of this. All my old comic Why books. does he keep saying that? <laughs> okay, well, we can read some other signs. Press circle in midair and, and SpongeBob will do a bubble bounce attack. Uh, the bubble bounce attack can smash tiki's or robots that are directly below SpongeBob or push buttons on the ground. SpongeBob may only do the bubble bounce attack move in midair. So if we jump, press circle, we can Sometimes do the bubble bounce. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. <laughs> I agree. So let's go ahead and bounce up here. Get all these shiny objects. We're doing pretty good with that so far. Press triangle when on the ground and SpongeBob will do a bubble bash attack. The bubble bash attack can smash tiki's or robots or push buttons that are directly above SpongeBob. When you see this icon, SpongeBob can stand on it to do the bubble bash attack to break tiki's directly above him. Wow, okay, interesting. Uh, so let's do that. It shines. There's a lot of moves that I don't remember in the cartoon. <laughs> there we go, so we can also break this thing and press this button. And that sends a beach ball onto the floor. Interesting. Um, I don't know exactly what I can do with this. Maybe I can just push it around. Yeah. Can I get on top of it though? Yes. 
and then get this green one. Fancy. Oh, there's something over there that there's one of Patrick's socks. So if we go, aha. This is where I keep all my old comic books. I know, comic books. Ooh, cool. Oh, is that limited time though? I think it is 26 seconds. Where do I start? Um, I guess from here. Ooh. There we go, there we go. Another got it, Patrick. nice. What about over here? Nothing. Okay, so we got our first sock. That's cool, we didn't read the sign. Um, to see how well SpongeBob is doing in every level of the game, press options. When paused, move L to select a level. Uh, when a level is selected, press X to view its details. When the details view is open, move L to right or left to get a hint on each golden spatula that SpongeBob knows about. By pressing X when the hint for a golden spatula is selected. SpongeBob can take a taxi directly to the area of that spatula from anywhere in the game. Huh, fancy. So as you can see, these are all the different areas we'll be going to in the game, that's awesome. But right now we're at Bikini Bottom and SpongeBob's Closet. Okay, interesting, so there's different places you can get to. Right now, there's apparently a statue in SpongeBob's Closet. So take the taxi to Bikini Bottom, yes please. Sure, why not? I mean, I think that's where we already are. Let's see, well, bring us right back to where we already were. I'm not really sure. <laughs> No, we're back here. Oh, so yeah, now that I've earned up the 50, we can go and access this area. Cool, and there is the spatula. Ta-da! So at least it makes it easier with that. Trophy earned, time for a tutorial. <laughs> well, I guess we did the tutorial. Is there anything extra in this room? Bunch of, you know, extra clothes for SpongeBob, and the sign. This is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob will need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Well, wasn't it just the chum bucket? I don't know. Uh, hi, Gary. Wow. <laughs> Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the signs. Mm. All right, gotcha. Um, so I guess we're good to go. I don't think there's anything else to explore in his house, so let's head out to the other parts of Bikini Bottom. And I'll try to explore as much as I can in today's episode. I don't know if we'll be playing this game 100%, but I definitely want to give it my best shot. It's really fun so far. I was just hoping for, you know, a nice solid 3D platformer. These are the type of games I grew up with. I might have not have played this game in particular, but other 3D platformers like this are, are ah, sort of my jam. nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Ooh, Go okay. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. <laughs> oh, boy. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. Aw. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? <laughs> oh, no. Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. <laughs> You've got a deal. All right, so it looks like we're sort of helping Plankton here. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? Show those robots who's boss. Me. <laughs> okay, so this is Bikini Bottom. It looks really cool. Oh, and here's Mr. Krabs over this way. Hey, buddy. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Okay, so how many do you want for those then? Um. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity oh, wow. here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. 3,000. Okay, so we don't have that just yet, but we'll be looking around all over the places for different things to get then. Um, reminder to activate this button, press triangle. All right, whoop. Oh, and that's Squidward's house. What's gonna go on there? Oh, how are we gonna get up that way? I don't know. Um, we'll have to explore around a lot. Take it. Okay, uh, well maybe I could, yeah, I can't really move around when I do that, so not gonna work. Whoa, oh, I can go down this way too. There's so much to explore, wait, or maybe not. Okay, so I can't go over that way. Weird. 
<laughs> There's a lot to learn in this game. I gotta, I gotta take some time to figure it out. Um, to activate this button, jump and press circle. I will, no worries. There we go, boom. And that's gonna maybe open Patrick's house? Well, it's going to make a platform over. No, wait, come back. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Hold on. So I guess we could go up there. Yeah, there's so much to do and explore around here that we'll, we'll just keep going, talk to characters, and just sort of see what we can figure out. Uh, but we can get on top of Squidward's house here. We now hop I on there. Four pairs of underwear. This nice. Right. Awesome. Feel so like a new sponge. So is that like a permanent upgrade then? I guess. Interesting. So I think we could get across the SpongeBob's house just like that. I'll do that in a moment. I wanted to talk to Patrick over this way. And also, there's a destroyed robot hey, right here. SpongeBob. Oh hey. I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. The what? But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right, press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out. Sure, all right then, so if we do that, very cool, so we already know about this move now. Uh, I love opening presents. There we go, that worked, okay. So, whoa, well, this guy's gonna explode. Super ultra combo. What is with this guy who keeps showing up and disappearing? Don't, I don't know. forget, to defeat robots or tiggies that are directly above. Yep, okay, well I've already done that, but this guy's a little weird. Oh, there we go, that time I got him. Because they, they would disappear if I got too close sometimes. Anyways, we got this whole group. Destroy the guy who explodes. Oh man, I'm taking damage. Weird. There's a lot of stuff I gotta figure out here. But for right now, just gonna destroy all of that. And I guess this is a taxi to somewhere else. I would need five golden spatulas to get that, so I can't quite do it right now. That's fine. There's plenty to do around here for right now. Hmm. So it looks like that's most of this area cleared out. I could go up here maybe? It's weird that there's just a bunch of destroyed robots around. Who's destroying the robots right now? But I can go up this way. Whoop. There we go. Oh, but there's like a, a wall here. Okay. <laughs> a little misleading. Huh. Well, let's talk to Patrick. We haven't talked to him yet. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. <laughs> it's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. <laughs> you mean spatula? Bless you. All right, well, hopefully... Oh, Patrick will be glad to have this back. We can keep collecting socks. If we get 10 of them in total, apparently, we can get ourselves some turkey basters or spatulas. So that'll be pretty cool. Doesn't seem like we're anywhere close to 3,000 now when it comes to some stuff here. So maybe there's still more we can explore. Like, we can't go this way. No, no, no. Oh, we would need 10 golden spatulas. So now I'm sort of starting to piece it together a little bit more. Before we... Wait. I can go in Patrick's house, though. Oh, cool. So we can just go into different buildings. That's fun. So let's Living figure out what's going under on. A rock. Now that's the life. I mean, you could too if you wanted to. Uh, but there we go. Got some more of that. Combo, super combo. I don't know if the combos actually earn you more. Oh, there's a blue one. Nice. So we're really gonna explore every area. I love how his only picture is of us. What a good friend. So I guess that's everything for Patrick's house. Not too much going on with this one. But I mean, hey, he lives under a rock. What can you expect? So we'll, we'll try to go into Squidward's house then. We've already been to SpongeBob's house, explored that as much as we could. I haven't seen Squidward yet either, so this should be fun. And I think that you're able to play as some of the other characters in this game too. You can play as Patrick and Sandy. I don't think just quite yet, but hopefully at some point. Oh, they're all back. Can I get more shiny things from it? I can. Oh, so if I wanted to, I could just do this over and over again and I guess just get enough shiny things. I don't think that'd be very interesting, so I'm not exactly. Oh no! I ran out of underwear. I gotta be careful of those guys. I was thinking that maybe if I destroyed them before they exploded, but I don't think it works that way. <laughs> All right, note taken. But yeah, this is a very interesting experience my first time playing this game, since I never played the original. There, there's a lot to figure out. <laughs> okay, but we're back. So I guess it's an easy way to earn up a lot of these things. So I definitely wanna slam that. 
and get that set up. We're gonna go on top of Scooter's house because I'm, I'm thinking of it now, I just don't wanna forget later, so. We gotta go over this way, destroy some extra stuff while we're at it. There we go. Uh, boom, hit that button. So that's only gonna give us like 30 seconds and it starts counting down before you can even start moving, which is sort of unfair, but I think we should have enough time to get this done. All right, come on back. Come on. That's it. Now bring me back up quickly. I'm running out of time here. <laughs> oh boy. There we go, there we go. Okay, luckily SpongeBob Shadow makes it very easy to see what's going on. And boom, we get a golden spatula on the top of SpongeBob's house. Cool. So that means we're up to two golden spatulas so far. We'll need five to get to the next area, so. I guess I'll keep looking around. Oh no, we don't need any to go over here. This is Jellyfish Fields, interesting. Anyways, not gonna worry about any of that for right now. I'm going to worry about going into Squidward's house if it'll let me. Yep, enter Squidward's house. I wanna see how he's doing. Oh, I can hear him playing the clarinet. First, <laughs> That's cool. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both... Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. <laughs> I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> All right, well, we're pretty Squidward good at that. Had a lamp? A lamp? I mean... I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. He does. All right, then. Oh, okay, Whoa, okay, hey. okay, just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. <laughs> All right, so I guess if we attack... The painting, he got upset there. Because he's got all sorts of pictures of himself. Only pictures of himself. Well, actually, well, here's our golden spatula. Very cool. But there's also a picture of these. I don't know who these are supposed to be. Oh, no, I destroyed his painting. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get some extra right there. We're already at the 400, which is pretty cool. I'm destroying everything in his house. I'm sorry, I just need to see if it gets me extra stuff. So I guess this is the only room we have to explore. I can destroy that too. Let's head out of here then. And I guess it's everything in Bikini Bottom to collect, um, for at least right now. It looks like if I want to get extra, I'll have to talk to um, to Mr. Krabs and give him some extra little energy, but we don't have any more of the sparkly things for right now. He needed like 3,000 of them, so that would take a lot, so I think that we're supposed to come back some other time. But yeah, we might as well go to the Jellyfish Fields now and see what that's like, but if we pause the game, we can see that we've gotten three spatulas. There's supposed to be a lot more. Interesting. And that's for just this area. But like jellyfish fields down this way, that's where we're gonna be going right now. Might as well <laughs> try to explore a little bit more and see what we can find. Uh, Cause I don't know if this is the kind of game where we have to like re-explore areas in the way that like, you know, like, oh, we get some more abilities, we can come back, get more done, all that kind of stuff. Not really sure how it works. Or if it's more like, I don't know, Mario 64, where you can go there and you can complete everything you want. I mean, even th with that, there are different abilities. So maybe that's not the best example. <laughs> The rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Well, that's not good. Seems like there's a hole. Oh, no! Run, Squidward, run! No! Oh, gosh. He's just accepted it. So these robots simply aren't nice. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. <laughs> and you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. 
balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish Jelly for you to rub all over yourself! <laughs> that was a weird voice. Ow, oh, so, ow, oh, did you, ow, oh, find the, ow, oh, King Jelly, ow, oh, fish, yet, ow. Oh. Not yet, but we're looking for it. So yeah, let's keep exploring this area now. This game's a lot of fun just to look around with and everything. Ooh, got some extra there. So we should definitely, if we keep exploring this area, be able to find a good amount of these different um, shinies. Ooh, I don't know if that's the way I was supposed to do it, but that's the way to get out of here, robot. Ooh, that was good. Can we beat up the jellyfish as well? Yes, we can. So nobody's messing with us, that's for sure. Mm. That's pretty cool. But let's go back over this way and collect all of that. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done it that way because I don't know if I can get that. Oh, I just barely did, but I gotta remember to jump off of them first. My favorite thing so far is that you can see the other levels around. Like, we were just over there at Bikini Bottom. You can see SpongeBob's house still. That's so cool. What a nice little touch. But what is this sign gonna say? This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. All right, I guess I had to explain the fact why there's un water underwater. Because we are under the, the sea right now. Uh, what does this say? This is a teleport box. Uh, when you have both the teleport boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. Sure thing, so let's open that up for right now. Obviously, won't lead anywhere because we don't have the other one open, but we'll try to get to that we sooner or later. We jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. Okay, what's down this way? Oh no, am I not supposed to do that? I'm not. <laughs> okay, a little weird, but I'll keep that in mind. We're back here. Oh no, it almost didn't put me in the right spot. So I can't get that underwear, because we're already at full for right now. But that's fine. I'm almost about to reach 500 shinies. What is going on with that tree? I don't know. Cha-ching! Uh, what is he saying cha-ching about? I don't know. I guess it's the fact that we got more shinies. But up this way, whoa! More underwear if we needed it. So we need to find another golden underwear. Super slam! I love opening presents. Wow. So back over this way, there was still some more jellyfish to defeat. I don't think they really give us anything, yeah, for defeating them, so not really worth worrying about too much. Um, whoa, but I do gotta be careful, because that happens and it hurts. Okay, so I should probably go back and grab some of that underwear then. Super ultra combo, though. Does that help me get more shinies, maybe? I don't know. Hmm, I will grab that, though. Got a couple more over this way. This seems to be its own little separate thing going on. Oh, and there's more underwear. Whoa. Fresh like a spring breeze. Ooh, look at this. Whoa, okay, we got a lot, of, a lot of them over here. Super Mega Converse, Super Monster, monster Combo, and a sock. You. And Never what is all this? Laundry. Whoa, okay, Um, I don't think I can jump down. Tartar sauce. Oh, that didn't work, okay. Yeah, that's the goo. Probably don't wanna do that. Whoops, oh, are we getting sent all the way back to the beginning? I guess so. Whoops, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do then. Okay, so we're back here. That's fine. So, note to self, don't jump down there. But at least we can get a bunch more of these. There we go. So I don't think the combos get us like extra energy or anything. But at least we can do all this and get a bunch more shinies. And everybody comes back too, so boom, destroying you. <laughs> You're running into all this. Cool. There we go. And you. Don't think I didn't see ya. So I didn't explore this part over here. There is a couple of yellow ones. The yellow ones seem to make us a lot, so. Wait, how do I get on top of those? Ah, oh, I did it wrong, didn't I? Yeah, I guess I was supposed to use that first one. Well, at the least I can maybe... Ah, that worked, cool. So I, I sort of cheated it, but hey, if it works, it works. Can't quite get that guy. I think it's fine. Well, actually. Ah, not quite. I don't think it matters too much if we miss one of them. They don't seem to, you know, be something we have to collect all of, because they respawn once we, we, we get taken out. So once again, there's a big jump. I don't think that's worth doing right now. But since we have 125 shiny objects, we can rebuild the bridge. Sure. Wow. That was fancy. I like it. And then there's some really expensive shinies up there. I can't quite reach them. Hmm. Uh, well, actually, yes, I can. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Forgot that move already. Uh, so we got a checkpoint. This is a checkpoint. If you are defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restart at the checkpoint instead of at the beginning of the area. Huh, okay. Boom, gotcha. 
<laughs> These guys are shaking, they're scaring me. And I don't think I've missed anything else around here, so we can keep moving forward. Definitely worth it just to run around and collect as many shinies as we can. So let's do this, whoop, and then slam. I love being able to combo that, that's, that's cool. I don't know, ow. this is, ow. A bottle of something, it's tartar sauce. Okay, can't do anything with it, weird. Well, over this way we got some stuff to check out. Starting with this over here, I guess we could, whoop. Feel like a new sponge. Yeah, okay, so we got the golden spatula again. What is this? This is a freezy fruit. Only Patrick can use the freezy fruit. We're not playing as Patrick, so I guess we'll, we will have to come back at some point. That's sort of where things get interesting. You know, we'll try to play as much as we can, but sometimes you have to come back as different characters, I suppose. Anyways, let's get ya. There we go. And I don't need this. Okay, that's fine. Get that. All these guys, really? Oh, man. They're everywhere. Oh, don't forget this. Oh, we got some secret stuff back this way. See, there's a lot to do in this game. I didn't know how simple it was gonna be, but it seems to be like a full-on exploration collection game, which is, like I said, one of my favorites. I, I used to play a lot of uh, platformers and exploring games, like, like Crash Bandicoot, uh, Jack and Daxter. Of course, I really like Mario 64 and that kind of stuff too, so it all mixes together quite well. And there we go, so we're almost at a thousand shinies. Let's see if I can't get the super slam on this guy. Nah, it's gonna miss. But close, really close. So I see, it seems like I've done an okay job at collecting everything over that way. We're going to uh, jump over here, then try to do the same thing. Oh man, I've just barely made that jump. What'll this do? Oh, a bunch of barrels. Cool, so we can get across to there. I'll make sure to do that then, because the yellow ones give me two at a time. Gotcha. So the red ones give me one, the yellow ones give me two. I'm guessing it's just gonna you know, go up more and more with that. But there is another sock for us. So how much did these give me? Oh, these give me 10. Wow, and the purple ones? They give me 20. Okay, so yeah. The purple ones seem to be the best. But let's just jump through it. this, wee! Very nice. But there was a little bit more over this way I think I missed. Maybe, maybe not though. I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple of blue ones. Just wanna make sure I get these. Don't fall on the goo though. <laughs> okay, I got him. See, if we quickly check, here we are in Jellyfish Fields, we've gotten, or we were looking for one of the golden spatulas. There's also some kind of jellyfish jelly and 12 more socks to find. So I don't think we're going to be able to find everything in today's episode, but as long as we can get that golden spatula for Squidward, that'd keep me happy. So yeah, we'll keep exploring around. But oddly enough, yeah, I guess Mario Odyssey is another comparison we can make because with Mario Odyssey, you couldn't get everything right away. It was a little bit different in that game because, you know, in that one, you had to, of course, come back after you beat the game to get extra stuff done. Oh boy. It wasn't like you had to unlock something beyond that, though. Any kind of ability. There we go. Let's keep moving. And there we go. So we've already been over there. Don't have to worry about that. Get this jellyfish out of here. I don't like these giant pufferfish bouncing down here. I gotta be really careful. Oh, oh boy. Oh, lots of green ones. You don't see too many green ones. Those are the ones that give us five each. Gotcha. Okay. And let's destroy this if we can. Yeah! One little hit. SpongeBob hey, Gary, is stronger than he looks. Meow. Meow. Can we play as Gary at some point? Oh. Wow! A bungee jump for a golden <laughs> spatula! I must be in heaven! <laughs> Okay, so I guess maybe that's how we get all that stuff. Interesting. This is a bungee jump. SpongeBob can bungee from it. To bungee from the bungee hook, just jump and touch it. To dive downward, press X. Uh, to exit the bungee hook, press circle. So I like how there's a lot of references to other SpongeBob episodes, because there was a whole episode on this thing. Whoa, get that spatula. Oh, I missed it. Try that again, but there's also a lot of shinies to get. Um, there we go. Whoa, I've gotten all those. Cool. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's not working. Dive, here we go, I gotta dive, whoa! Yeah, we got it, so we're up to four. Oh man. Nice, so we got them all. That was a lot of fun, really cool. Anything else around here? I could, ah, uh, make that jump, it didn't do too much. King Jellyfish off that way, but let's talk to Gary one more time. You said it, Gary. <laughs> okay, so we don't need this underwear, but I do see this right there. 
There was another one over this way too. Boom, 10 more. So we're almost halfway to what Mr. Krabs needed. Good to keep that in mind. Whoa, okay. I'm just trying to look up, down, all around, trying to find out. Whoa, that's a bunch of them. There's so many more. It's a lot of fun to explore. But yeah, we're just looking all over the place for uh, different potential secrets I could be missing. There's a checkpoint for us. Oh no. Oh, poor fish. Oh, he's even hitting himself. He was a little too, uh, I guess just happy to just beat everybody up. Let's see if we can't hit him first. Wait, oh, there we go, we got him. I saved it, don't worry about it. Can I talk to you? Oh no, I'm sorry. So I can't talk to him. That's fine. Anything else over here? Just a couple of these, these tiki crates. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see too much else going on around here. Oh, yeah, I didn't actually get it before, but now I do. Thank you for pointing that out, SpongeBob. Anyways, ow! Stop that. I was trying to grab all this. And then also try to grab some of these yellow ones. There we go. I'm glad that we have that move. It makes it extra useful to get some of this stuff. Because you don't actually have to, like, grab it. You just have to get close to it, which is nice. Oh, boy. Gotcha. And there's some blue ones over this way. Definitely want to grab those. Oh my, almost didn't make that jump because those are 10 each, so they really help us jump up in total. Hmm. Oh, there's a bunch over this way too. Oh, this is like a whole secret little thing up here. There we go. Yeah, it's like a giant jellyfish rock. There's a way up there. I don't think SpongeBob can do that, right? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. So there's a way up there though. Maybe as Patrick, like it said. Can I get up on that one, though? Hmm. I don't know, something's stopping me. Let me try one more time. Yeah, I can't get up there. Okay, that's fine. Well, there might be another way on top of it. For right now, though, I can get some of those. A little bit extra. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> Just try to collect as much as I can. But yeah, like I said before, I'd love to hear if you have any experience with this game. Were you able to play it, it back shines. when it came out? And how excited are you that it's finally remade? This has actually been a lot of people's like most anticipated game of this year, which is really cool. I, not for me too much, just because I never played the original, but I always like it when great older games get remade. Like we, we've been experiencing it with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. That's been a lot of fun. And I think we can get up this way now. SpongeBob needs to know the bubble bowling move in order to play this game. So we don't know that move. So we can't do this, as you can see. That's sort of a shame. But once again, another reason to come back to this level and get more stuff done. Can I get up here though? I can. It just doesn't really do anything for me. Okay, so back to exploring some more. Once again, this has me a bit confused, but I think we're supposed to get up from somewhere else is all. Okay. So we're doing pretty well in total, I think. Oh, blue jellyfish. Oh my, gotta be careful of those guys. And if we hop on top of you, just had one extra green one. That's fine. I love opening presents. Me too. There we go. Very good. Can't go into the goo. Let's get these guys. So yeah, I'm very excited to see all the different things we'll be able to do in the game though with playing Patrick. I think Sandy is also a playable character. I wouldn't mind if all the SpongeBob characters are, you know? Mr. Krabs, Plankton, Squidward. I don't know if Squidward's playable, but it would be cool if he is. So I don't need this stuff, so I guess I can just slam down on you guys. Uh, gotcha. And what does this sign say? This is goo. Sponsor Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. Yep, we already know about that. So just in case we forgot before, I guess we can know now. You've Get out of here. The sponginator. Ooh, the sponginator. Oh boy. I don't know how much I like this one. This is a bit scary. Why did I even bother? <laughs> I don't even need it. Well, probably now, I probably lost some health from falling off like that. Oh, that was silly of me. <laughs> Cause I don't think there's any way we can really destroy those, but if you really needed the extra health, I guess you could have gotten it there. Ow, that hurt. Okay, now I actually need the underwear, but I'm not gonna go out that far just to get it. It seems like a very big risk for what it is. Just gonna leave it be. We should be fine. We still have three more hits we can take, so just gonna keep going. And I don't see too much more. Aha, this is how we get over there. Okay, I might as well do this now then. 
Oh man, wow. You get some major air off of that. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Nice. Got a lot more right over here. Oh man. And there's, I guess, there might be a character that has like a gliding move of some sort, I feel like. Maybe not. Because you can see there's a bunch of floating pieces here. I just, whoa! Had there we go! To have this back. Yeah, me too. And what is that? Oh, that's to the hook. Can I like, do anything about that? I guess not. Fancy, so let's make sure we get all these on top of the jellyfish. No, 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 no. <laughs> on top of the jellyfish uh, rock, as you can see. No, wait, really? No, <laughs> okay, I didn't fall. Oh man, that was close, but now I gotta go all the way around again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so I'm finally back here. I just wanted to jump on this one the last time. It should launch us oh, all the way back to where we luckily. started. But hey, we get some extra stuff for it. So now we can go this way. So I guess it wasn't anything where we had to like glide or anything. Anyways, we got some extra stuff for that, cool. Oh boy, oh boy, got it. And there's the teleport box. So now if we do ever get taken out again, it might just be easier to take this. That's great and everything, but we don't have that uh, King Jellyfish stuff yet, so. That machine huffing and puffing over there is the Duplicatortron 1000. The D1000 will continue to create robots until it is destroyed. Be careful though, it goes out with a bang. Okay, so let's just, just keep side. destroying robots. It's gonna make more soon, so quickly. There we go, run, run, run. Oh boy, okay, it's fine. So grab all those, and then I guess we can press this button, and then I'll open up a door. We'll go that way, but did I miss anything down this way? No, that's where we were before, wasn't it? I think? Yeah, yeah, it definitely was, okay. <laughs> Just trying to make sure we're not missing anything important, but let's get this golden spatula. So we've gotten a couple of these already in this area, but we got even more now. Yeah. So that's five in total. So that means we could actually go somewhere else too in the next episode, before we jellyfish caves. Oh boy. See, so let's see what's going on around here and hope for the best. Wow, Mermaid Man, I have all your comics and toys and mail. Oh cool, it's Mermaid Man. I, I, like, I like the episodes with Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in them. Uh, huh, what? Oh yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Ew. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! All right, so let's go and save Patrick. I don't think that uh, giving uh, Barnacle Boy here, a, well, not, he's not Barnacle Boy, he's Mermaid Man, <laughs> um, a, a pedicure is not gonna help us too much right now. Um, so we gotta open up another box. This is just a totally different one. Um, this is a slide. When SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy jump onto a slide, they will zip down the slope at hydrodynamic speeds. Whoa, cool. Oh, I like this, this is so cool. So he's sliding on his tongue like that one episode. Oh man, I'm trying to grab all the shinies, but I guess it's not too big of a deal if we miss out on some of them. Oh man, there we go, <laughs> whoa. What we're really looking for is any kind of golden spatula yeah, or the socks. I did it! I wow, it that Another was awesome. I really like that, hopefully we can, yeah, we can go back through again if we wanted to just, do, if we miss anything. So that's at least good. That was a lot of fun. Okay, there's a lot of cool things going on in this game. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just gonna be a pretty standard like SpongeBob adventure, but so much more. I like it. Oh boy, you need to get Patrick, to get to Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. Okay, let's do what we can then. So I can sort of kind of make this jump, right? There we go. Jump through all that. I missed a couple of shinies over this way, so I'm trying to grab them. Yeah, me too, you've said it before. But I'm just gonna ignore those guys for right now. Much better just to get over this way, and boom. There we go. Can I get this? Sometimes there we go. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Now we can destroy the hammer, guys. Take that! Okay. Over this way, there's a tiki head, and a robot, and the robot generator. Well, let's hide behind a rock, I just don't wanna get destroyed by that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I messed up my jump! He really doesn't know how to swim, does he? 
Yikes. Do I have to do it all over? I don't think so, but maybe. We did reach a checkpoint right after the slide, though. So, no matter what, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Okay, so yeah, we do have to re-destroy it. Sort of a shame, but I'll make it work. Oh, it's not playing the intense music anymore. <laughs> That's sort of funny. Oh no, so this one, the switch is pressed. Ow! Oh no. I'm making all kinds of mistakes right now. That's not good. I'll get more used to the game as we move forward. Boom. Gotcha. So they still drop shinies even after we've destroyed them multiple times. So let's get rid of you real quick. And I don't have to worry about jumping back like that. Let's play it safe this time. Not bad. So where else am I going for right now? We got some risky jumps over this way. And did I ever hit that button over there? I did it. I can see it's green from here. Yeah, the game's really pretty. They did a great job remastering it so far. I have seen like little screenshots and videos of the original game, so I know a little bit of what I'm comparing it to, and it looks really good, comparatively, and even just how it is right now. Anyways, there we go. Let's go save Patrick. Let me grab some extra green ones out if I can. There we go. So back down this way. Oh my. There he is. Can we play as Patrick Thanks, now that we've Spongebob. saved him? Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the- Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, so that's cool. We can play as uh, Patrick now. We are playing as Patrick here in Jellyfish Fields. I haven't really played this game yet, so we're just gonna go oh, ahead and collect boy, this oh, boy, oh, boy. golden spatula. There we go, <laughs> very cool. And we're just going to be continuing exploring, I think looking for the king jellyfish so that we can get the jellyfish jelly. But for right now. So bright, so shiny. I agree, let's check out this. Uh, this is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up throw fruit and throw them. <laughs> press the circle button to pick, it up, pick up nearby fruit and then press again to throw it. Throw fruit can push buttons, destroy tikis and damage robots but use it quickly because a throw fruit wilts after a few seconds. Huh, so we pick it up, just like that. It's gonna start wilting, I guess. So we just wanna quickly throw it right over there. Cool. Is there anything else I missed around here? I don't think so, so we're good to just keep moving forward. I love his little belly move. I'm sure he has like his own repertoire of stuff that we'll have to figure out here. But first, let's grab some of that. So we can even pick these up. Of stuff around. Fancy, I like it. <laughs> oh, Patrick can also pick up and throw tikis, but only tikis that don't have other tikis stacked on top of them. Okay, so over this way, if I were to first off destroy that jellyfish before it gets me, and then throw it over there, we get a bunch of extra tikis. Very cool. Hello, Mr. Fish. You're just walking around. I can't do anything Ooh, with you. Weird. Present everyone. Uh, Patrick can throw fruit up steps, then climb the steps, pick up the fruit, and then throw it again. But he better, better hurry before it wilts. So I'll do that soon, but what's over this way? It's a bus stop, huh? This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob and Patrick at the bus stop. That seems like it could be useful. For right now though, I definitely need to play as Patrick. I'm just gonna pick this up, throw it up there. There's the same button to pick it up and throw it. Just gotta keep that in mind. And then from up here, Gonna get, go ahead and give it a toss. There we go. So what's going on with all this now? Uh, this is a special Patrick teeter-totter that only Patrick can use. Have Patrick pick up throw fruit, stand on the, plant, the pink starfish side, then throw the fruit at the target side. Patrick will then be flung across to the other side of the lake. Okay, so we'll do that, I guess. I guess there's another way to go as well. Oh no, that's our way back over, I think. Okay, interesting. And just go ahead and give that a toss. Whee! <laughs> and we're all the way over here now. Checkpoint, awesome. Grab that yellow one, because we're almost at 3,000, which is what's gonna get me a golden spatula from Mr. Krabs. Um, no! Oh! These guys explode. I don't like it. There we go. Uh, this is a thunder tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm. After a few seconds, it will go boom. Don't be near it when it goes boom. <laughs> we learned that the hard way last episode. So if I go over here, there's another one of these guys. It's gonna make all these guys mad for right now. Watch out! And can I talk to you? No. Patrick can pick up a thunder tiki and throw it just like other tikis, but he had better throw it fast. It's just weird that there's people walking around you can't really do anything with. But anyways, if we do this, as you can see, we're back up here. 
which isn't really anything too crazy. I just wanted to get the extra shinies because I guess I was supposed to throw those to explode them over that way to those tikis. It's not that big of a deal though. We'll do it next time. Yeah, they're not there anymore. Oh well. Okay, so over this way then, get ourselves. Oh, Patrick, or not Patrick, but Plankton. Oh, mighty rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Aww. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Why does he want to be vaporized? Now into the caves before all this being helpful gives me a headache. Alrighty then. So let's see what we can do around here. First, I'll have another sign. Um, if you jump in the air and press circle, Patrick will slam down to the ground, damaging tiki's or pressing buttons below him. So we, we could just go ahead and boom, big thing. belly slam. Get rid of these guys as well. We're over 3,000, which is nice. And let's go into the cave. Not really anywhere else to go anyways. Ooh, scary dark cave. Whoa, there's lava balls everywhere. Can I pick Ooh. these? Oh, no, I cannot pick these up. <laughs> Gotta be careful. That is not good. Because we're already down to two health. Goes down quite quickly. Go, 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 go. We're fine. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and belly slam these in. Was that so a good idea? Shiny. <laughs> Very shiny. Can I make this jump? I oh, I almost could. Fits quite right. Well, I can give these a toss right over that way. Make the whole thing explode. That's cool. And then do the same thing for this side, just like that. And I'm guessing that I could do the same thing for, oh, whoa, <laughs> that's one way to do it. Just belly slam your way up there. Cool. Uh, remember, Patrick can throw a fruit, then pick it up and throw it again before it wilts. Yep, I'm aware. Right now, we don't have to worry about that for throwing these things over this way. That press the button. Oh, I can actually pick it up again and press that button. And I don't think I need it again, so I think we're fine. Whoa, scary spikes. Go, go, go. Okay, we're fine. And I can't do this one. That'd have to be SpongeBob, but I can still destroy them. Patrick is, you know, pretty versatile, even if he might be a little on the heavier side. Hmm. See, so yeah, I'll throw these over onto that cork. Because I guess we just have floating corks Ooh, around here. And, go. whoop. Ooh, wooden presents. Wooden presents, indeed. I guess they are wooden tikis. So can we just, oh no, that still hurts. That's okay, no taken. Ouch. Ow, that was just, Ouch. ah, being silly. There's a lot of time here, there's a little scary. Oh gosh, there's more of them. And right as I get past some of them, more of them pop up. This is bad, this is bad. Come on, lower quickly, lower quickly. Ah, uh, go, go, go. Get that, get that underwear. So what's going on around here? I can toss that right over there and then we gotta quickly go, quickly go, quickly go. Oh my gosh, this is intense. underwear fits quite right. Yeah, that's right. Why? It, it's SpongeBob's underwear. Let's read this sign. I know it's gonna say something about putting the watermel watermelon on there. Um, the weight of the throw fruit will also activate pressure plates. Yep, as we just saw there. Before we do that, though, should we also get that? I might as well. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Try that again. Toss it over there. What? Why did it? That was weird. Huh. Pick it up and let's give it a toss over that way. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Try it one more time. If it doesn't work this time, we're just moving on. Come on, come on. Ready? There we go. All just for a bunch of red ones. That was not worth the energy. Anyways, there we go. This door has been open and closing, open and closing. We got it. What does this say? Uh, Patrick can also jump on throw fruit to get to higher places. He may stack throw fruit as well by throwing a throw fruit throw fruit on top of another throw fruit. This will allow Patrick to get to even higher places. 
Interesting. Anyways, let's grab it. And we'll give it a toss. And I guess we'll do that one more time. Well, the problem is I can't. There's only one throw for it and the other one, yeah, it doesn't respond until, oh, interesting. What? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> it went up there on top of that one. Ow, okay. Well, I guess I just have to wait for it to disappear and actually to throw it onto this one. Because it won't spawn in a new one until the old one disappears. So you can't just make a giant tower of them. So this is where things get a little tougher, but we can make this work. Just get that over there, this on top of it, and we're fine. Doesn't look like we missed anything, but have I, I guess I haven't opened up the other side of that. Whoa, we're sliding! Okay, wasn't expecting that, but uh, let's grab some underwear. Better. There we go, we're good now. Gotta be careful of all the lava. Whoa. Oh, I can double jump still. Oh, these, do these hurt? Through. Yeah, they do. Um, but I get a lot of stuff for it, so it's worth it. Wow, ow, oh, not what I wanted. My gosh, so we could go through that again if we wanted to. I don't see the point of it, really, so I think we're fine. Oh, see, so yeah, Patrick can do something with these. This is a freezy fruit. Patrick can pick up freezy fruit and throw it. Freezy fruit would temporarily freeze goo. Patrick can slide on frozen goo until it thaws. Good to know. Will this freeze all of the water? It will, and there's a sock over here to get. Ooh, look at his little legs. Hey, this is mine! Yeah, it is. So let's grab as much as we can while the timer's still going. There we go. Okay, let's get back on here. Also to destroy some jellyfish. And these tiki's can do that before. So I could do that again, but I think I'll run over this side first. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Uh, should I read this? Um, if Patrick belly flops near robots, uh, he can damage and stun them. Small robots will simply be defeated by Patrick's belly flop. Larger robots will be stunned for a short period of time. Okay. So that's good to know. Okay. Watch it. There we go. Good combo. Oh, they're making more of them. That's gonna destroy it though. Grab some extra health. Fits quite right. And Ooh, again, got it. Again. Not too bad then. So now I can maybe, well actually let's read this. Patrick may also use throw fruit to defeat robots. Yeah, that's what I was gonna try. So if you pick these up, I can just toss it. Boom, you're done. But I can also go over here and just hit them like that. It's a little bit faster in my opinion. So I might just worry about that for right now. And there we go. Plenty more shinies, we're almost at 4,000 now. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and throw them into other robots. So we'll try that out a little bit. Oh no, ow. It's not really worth it sometimes when they're moving that fast. Oh, but I should have picked them up. Okay, hold on. Slam him. No, stop. There we go. Don't, that is, they're giving me too many at once here. Okay, so destroy that one because I know you're gonna throw another one at me. Slam, pick that up and then toss it over there. There we go. Get rid of you, and then quickly destroy you, oh, grab yeah, that, oh no, oh no. Okay, that didn't hurt me, <laughs> thank goodness. We're up to seven golden spatulas now, that was a little ridiculous, but I'm glad we could get it. Gotcha, gotcha. Phew, that was a lot to deal with. Okay, grab that, and what's going on over this way? Travel to the jellyfish lakes. Don't mind if I do. This area is going on for a while though. Really, I, d I didn't expect it to be this huge, but I like it for sure. We'll have to backtrack to where we were last episode to do the one Ahoy there. frozen thing. Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yep. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Okay. What are you waiting for, boy? Go get that king jellyfish. We'll do what we can then. So what else can we do around here? I can stand on this. Okay, this travels back to jellyfish caves. So don't have to worry about that too much, but, oh yeah, there's like a whole bunch of like sunken buildings Ooh, around here too. Everyone. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, we have some tartar sauce. Oh my. <laughs> so I guess that's showing them who to beat up. So it's Patrick, SpongeBob, and Sandy. Oh no. So this guy's a bit scary. He's got some ranged moves and everything. So we'll do what we can about that. First, I wanted to grab this one shiny right there. I'm a little afraid of this guy. I don't know how crazy he's gonna be. Oh no, oh no. Boom, got him. 
Hit him again. There we go. Well, it wasn't too bad, but definitely there's a bit of a threat with that. Hello. I wish I could talk to these guys. It just doesn't really do anything. Hmm. Well, what's up here? Aha! SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. The thing is, is that, is there a bus stop somewhere where I can turn in this SpongeBob? I guess not. I can get down this way, though. Huh. But why would I want to do that if there's other ways to explore to it? So, I'll leave it for now. We can worry about it. It's, it's a nice little shortcut, if not anything else. So, good to know. Now, back over this way, I do see some of these exploding tikis. Wait as a whistle. Okay, I still have some health to recover. I'm trying to be careful of that. And while it looks like I can hop over here. No, I can. No, wait, no, I can't. See, that's so weird. Why would you give me something there if I can't? <laughs> Maybe it was from the tikis. I don't know. Regardless, I don't think you lose any health for falling off like that. So that's at least fine. There we go. I don't think I can pick up the jellyfish, though. Over that's here, boom. Oh, it's Mrs. Puff. Hi, Mrs. Hello, Puff. Oh, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. Aww. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Ooh. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. <laughs> All right. Does Patrick know some, some, some slang, I guess? Okay. So let's beat up some of these robots. We need to stun them. We need to stun them, I said. Oh my gosh. Their attacks are tough. There we go. Pick it up quickly, and then I guess That's much better. do that. That was not what I was expecting. So if I could just quickly do that, pick him up real quick, and can I throw him over at that guy? I guess not. Ah, stop that. So that's nice and everything, I'm destroying these buildings, but I'm trying to destroy that. Okay, why did that instantly destroy it? Weird. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how to get over to him. I guess if I slam right on him, she it instantly destroys him. Stuff around. We got another one right over that way, though. And once again, that's not exactly what I was looking to do. So one more time now. Maybe at this one? So we can't get over from that way anymore. But that definitely didn't really do what I was looking for it to do. Can we get this over to this guy? No. <laughs> I'm so confused. Ouch. Yeah, I can't Wait destroy him. Whistle. Weird. Let me run back to Mrs. Puff and see if she'll give me any advice, because I don't think I can reach that. Did you get the golden spatula back from the robots on the island yet? Oh, um, I think, well, uh, no. No, okay, so she's not gonna tell me anything useful about it. Weird. There must be something more I can do. Anyways, this is a bunch of them. Ow, get out of here with that. I'm gonna get a lot of uh, things from, oh, maybe I can make this jump. Let's hope. No, I can't. <laughs> All right. What do I do about that then, huh? Oh, there's one, ow. There's one more right over this way I didn't see somehow. There we go. How did I not notice that before? And that's gonna drain all the water, and now we can get over to the spatula. Gotcha. And now the thing has disappeared as well. So let's go ahead and grab this oh, one then. Boy, oh, boy. We're getting quite a lot of them, to be honest with you. That's awesome. So, with that done, I did want to see our progress. Oh, so yeah, now, no, I thought I said we're in Industrial Park, we're not, we're still in Jellyfish Fields. Um, we missed one at some point. Navigate the canyons and the mesas. Oh, okay, that's where we still are then. But we're still top of the hill, but we never actually got the spatula for destroying the King Jellyfish and helping Squidward. I guess it's at the end of the level. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, for right now, though, let's keep moving and see what else we can do around here. It looks like we could get over this way, but I just don't know if there's much for us. Yeah, not looking like it. <laughs> I guess it's to travel back. Once again, a little bit of a shortcut if you need it. So, back over this way. Can I talk to you now? And there's a bus stop for if we want to play well SpongeBob. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> can I get a cookie? No. <laughs> Poor Patrick. Ooh, Anyways, no! Presents. That's not what I wanted. Whoops. Maybe I should switch over to SpongeBob and see if uh, there's anything else. Uh, Mrs. Puffles, I'm a little bit curious about that. So, swap characters. Oh, I love how that works. That's really cool. Hello. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. 
Oh my. Okay, so yeah, I like how much they reference the show, obviously, but <laughs> it's just cool to see. Uh, this is a shh tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. Uh, to sneak, hold down the left stick very gently or press, press the L2 button. Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. That's a very Patrick way to solve it. See how we can sneak like this? Look at this. <laughs> Boom, got it. Get that guy. And these things. Mega combo going on. And, oh no, oh no, hold on, hold on, go back. Destroy it. Jump up this like way, get some extra sponge. underwear. And what do I want to do with all this? First, I guess just do that. Back it up a little bit. We need to destroy, ow, that hurt me still. But it also destroyed that, so that's nice. Oh my, oh my, uh, this is a problem. I need to get over there right away. Destroy ya, destroy ya. Yeah, awesome. Get some Fresh, underwear back. Like a spring breeze. Now, is there anything I missed around here during all that action? I guess not. I'm a little curious about that way, though. Maybe I should have gone that way. Because it seems like there's a whole different path over there, but it might just be a little bit of stuff. Because I need to find all these socks if I can. Because that's the way we came in from. And then over here, there's at least a couple of extras. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to destroy these guys. Well, maybe I can just do it this way. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, not what I'm supposed to do. But if I don't lose any health from jumping off, do I, well, the, the Tiki should respond, so I guess I can go back as Patrick. I guarantee that we'll probably get like a, a sock or something for destroying all those, though, right, you would think? Uh, so let's switch back to Patrick. Might just be a good idea in general for right now. And destroy that jellyfish before it becomes a problem. And also grab this health if I need it. Luckily, I don't. See so yeah, it back over this way. I'm supposed to pick these things up and throw them at these guys. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Don't want them to end up hitting the pillar though, so try to be careful of that. One more time. Perfect. Or maybe that won't get me anything. Okay, it was worth trying though, that's for sure. Okay, so we're back over here now, and there's a lot going on, we get that checkpoint. And what else could we do? It looks like this way is sort of a bonus area, so we might as well try that out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what's up this way, except for a bunch of yellow shinies and some underwear if we needed it. Luckily we don't. Oh my, almost didn't make that jump. Oh, back it up, back it up. Yeah, okay, cool, so that one did a hit on him. These guys are tough to deal with, though. I definitely need to get rid of the mayonnaise, or the tartar guys, they're not mayonnaise. <laughs> the tartar guys first, then the hammer guys. Can't talk to you. Hmm, there's another box. I feel like a new sponge. I'm going to explode it that way, might as well. Yeah, I don't quite know which way is the correct way and Fresh, the incorrect like way to go. Breeze. Because this seems to lead to its own path, but so does the other thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, the combo, looking good. So let's get over this way then and try to figure this out. Size. Oh man, wow, that was close. Now if we could just run over here real quick and get rid of this guy before he hits me. Thank you, and the machine. Nice. So we're doing really well. I think I'm getting more used to the controls and how the different characters work. I cannot wait to get Sandy though. She's gonna be cool. Boom. This is a stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by thunder tikis. Okay, so let's get the, the thunder tiki to blow it up. I don't need the underwear, luckily. Oh, and that gives us a bunch of green ones. Very nice. And now we're here where there's even more of that stuff. And I guess, oh my, they're, they're throwing stuff at us from over there. I don't like that. Feel like a new sponge. Wow, whoa, that was so much. And we could also go back to where we were before. So what is this about? Oh, this opens up the door. Uh, so yeah, let's spend some shiny objects. That's not really too much. So let's go back then, because I'm cruelly missing some stuff now. Uh, first off, I see this over here. Can't quite make that jump, though. Huh. Let's try this way, then. Oh, my. The moment I go over here, the cork disappears. Oh, oh. It's gonna give me a purple one, though, which I would really like. Ah. Uh, well, sort of. There it is, and I made my way up here, cool. There we go. Nice. So I am a little confused here, because this is where we were before. This is where we got the checkpoint. And there was a different path somewhere, right? Yeah, where this yellow guy was. What was this about then? There's another mayonnaise, may not mayonnaise, or tartar. <laughs> I don't know why people think it's mayonnaise. 
Uh, here we go. SpongeBob should come back here later when he knows a cruise bubble move. So there's definitely different moves we'll have to come back for, even more so than already. Interesting. Well, that means I'll come back later. So I don't think we'll be able to get this area 100% done for right now, but we should be able to get pretty close, right? So that's what I'm just trying to do. Do whatever I can do is all I can really hope for. So back over this way. I guess we just gotta start off from where we came from. So I don't think I can make my way up there, but we could just go this way for right now. And it looks like that leads to multiple spots. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, we gotta be able to get up there. Gotcha, okay. It's all coming together, whoa. I don't like that very much. And there's tons to do up here, okay. First off, we need to switch back to Patrick. I hope there's a bus stop up here. Because if not, I'll have to go all the way around again. Which I just did that. I wish I could have gotten a heads up. There we go. Ow, rude. Grab some of this stuff though. Too pretty. Can't take it. <laughs> I agree, Check it is very pretty. Size. But I can't hit those because I'm not Patrick, so I mean luckily none of this is like mandatory, but it would be nice to get those extra sparklies. Oh man! Wow. Not good. Oh, oh my gosh. They're too tough. Get him. Wow, I hit one into the other too. Oh, I gotta get over here pronto. There we go. Boom. Explode these guys so that we can run away from it. Nice. I really like just being able to hit them into each other like that. Let's get this. But yeah, I guess the good thing is if we miss some things with Patrick like that, it's not the end of the world because it doesn't really get us anything besides sparklies. Fresh, like a spring breeze. So can I make this jump? I can. Oh my, oh my, and that's gonna get us a sock. Whoa, okay, there it is. Wow. Yes, he does. And that's just gonna launch us right back to where we started. Excellent. Hold on now. I need to sneak up on these guys. Gotcha, gotcha. They just don't even have enough time to react when you do that. And then here's another teleport box. I'm guessing yeah, that brings us back to where we were. So I wanna touch that thing, run all the way around, opening presents. and we're good. I feel like a new sponge. So, oh boy. Oh no. Am I actually able to Ow. get this guy? Ow. Ow, I tried to hit him, it just didn't work. See ya! Whoa, whoa, he's still there. Okay, I'm just running away. I don't wanna deal with that guy. Like a spring breeze. He's too tough. Let's grab some of that. And this is where we once again need Patrick. Oh, lots of blue ones over here though. Where would I use that? This freezy fruit. I'm not quite sure, I guess down there, but was there really a spot I didn't find with that? Hmm. There's more stuff over that way. There's so much to explore. It's easy to miss stuff for sure. There's another bus stop though. So if I do need to come back, I do have that option there. Oh my, oh my. Ah, I don't like that. That's really weird. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh my. So what's going on up this way? I guess I gotta stand on it like this. Almost there. Almost there. And then let's run, run, run. Quickly before it gets too low. Awesome. See, so what's the deal with all this stuff? We do have this. Don't know if I should I be like able to make sponge. that move or something. But it was mostly just health. That's fine with me. Huh. So I don't know if this is exactly how I'm supposed to do it, but this is the way I'm doing it. Touch it, there we go, run. And that should explode all of that. I wanna get that underwear, but I feel like I'm gonna get hurt in the process. It's definitely time to switch to Patrick though. Cause he seems like he's supposed to be useful for around here. Or maybe this is what I'm supposed to be playing as SpongeBob. SpongeBob can jump up walls when the symbol appears. Jump up against the side of the wall and press X to jump again. So yeah, I guess I am. I was supposed to play as Patrick for all of that and then switch back to SpongeBob. Oh well, either way we got most of it done. So we already read that. I do want to get this underwear, hopefully without getting hurt. Fresh, there we like go. A spring breeze. And I think that means we're good just to get up like this. Whoa, look at him go. <laughs> awesome. And can I get up that way? I guess not. Oh my, oh my, two more of them. That is too much. Ah! 
All right, over this way. Oh, and there's a golden spatula for us if we do it. Come on, get him. There we go. Another golden spatula. That's nine of them in total. So we're doing pretty good with that. Whoa. Oh, King Jellyfish, we're coming up on it. I wonder, yeah, I guess what's whatever is next. But we still have two more golden spatulas left to get. Wow, I'm a little worried about that. Drain the lake was one of them. What about the, oh yeah, and that was to navigate the canyons and mesas. Interesting. So yeah, let's go over this way. Travel to, to, to uh, whatever that said, <laughs> something mountain. I'm a little worried, are we gonna be battling the king jellyfish here? I guess so. Hello, buddy. Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, oh no. Bubble buddy. Okay, so let's go and fight the king jellyfish. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle king jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. As ready as I'll ever be. I feel we like a luckily new get some extra health here if we needed it, but we don't. Oh my, why is it jars of peanut butter? He's just taking a shower. <laughs> I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? He's jamming out. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, I guess we were sort of being a little rude to spying him in the shower. Run! Ah! <laughs> what do we do about this? Oh, ow! Oh, that was bad. I think that maybe when he's not electrified, we could possibly hit him. Oh, and there's a box over here. Might as well activate that. I can't. Um, so jump over that, please. Got him! Okay, that worked. And I get some health. Fresh Slap like him again. Come on. Oh, he's making a bunch of jellyfish friends. We can handle it. We can handle it. Ready? Got him. Oh no, oh no, he's getting closer. I can hop down there and get some more underwear though if I need it. Quickly. Oh, sparkly. oh, I don't like this. There he goes again. Slap him. Okay, he only has one bit of health left. You've just met the Sponginator. Ooh. I feel like a new sponge. SpongeBob means business now. Oh, uh, we got the blue ones out, which are a bit more risky, I think, from what I've seen. Got it. He's chasing me down, I don't like it. Yeah, getting rid of as many as I can. Jump over that and then give him a smack. Well, there we go, we got him. <laughs> All right, no more shower for you. Oh, there's the jelly. You know what we came for. <laughs> He's leaving too, he's got a suitcase. Well, thank you. I'm done with this. Well, that could have gone worse. Well, there we go, we get the jellyfish jelly. Awesome. And what about all these? Can I do anything with this drain? No. Well, I feel bad for interrupting a shower, but it's what we had to do, so glad we got it out of the way. Is there anything else over here? Oh, wow, there is. Whoa, it's a slide. Wait, 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 hold on. I never activated that box. Might be worth doing that. Right over this way. Um, you may use this teleport box once you open up the other side, which I'm guessing is at the end of the slide. So let's get to it. Whoa! So I can't I hit everything in one try, but I'll do what I can. Whoa, I missed a bunch of stuff there. That's unfortunate. I don't think I'm supposed to hit these. Yeah, not really. Oh, but there's like a different path. Oh, we should really try again then. Okay, note taken. Okay, I got most of those guys. There's no way I can hit these guys though all at once. Oh, yeah, it's so weird. There's like definitely more than one path here. I'm so confused about what we do about the sneaky guys. Whoa, we got it! Yeah, look at that! Awesome. So, spatula seeker, trophy earned. And there's a ton of jellyfish still around. Is she trying to catch them? No, she's just walking around. She gotta be careful. Without a net, we might get in trouble. Anyways, I definitely wanna do that again because there was more to get. I lost a lot of health like there, so breeze. gotta be careful. But if I see any path on, in which I can like jump off, I guess I should take the opportunity. You can see there's some stuff around, but I don't know where I jump from. Ah, not like that, that's for sure. But do you see it down there? How do I get to that? Or maybe, oh, you know what it is. It's one big loop, that's what it is. 
There's gotta be like another path though, because I thought I saw it all sort of come together right over this way. Whoa! No! <laughs> Keep sliding, SpongeBob Broadway! What are you doing? <laughs> what was with that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> A little weird, but we'll try again. Man, that was that was something else, wasn't it? Okay, so just gotta get all the way back over there again. Is, is the water running now? I guess so. so SpongeBob can take a little shower if he needed to. But we're underwater. Why is anybody needing the shower? Who knows? So once again, I don't wanna do that, I guess. That's weird, I wanna get these things, but it ends up hurting me. So when it comes to all that, I guess we'll be, we'll be over there in just a moment. I like how we can do a cool little sponge spin move, though. So yeah, jump like that. And you just, is that the wrong way? Is that the problem? I guess it is. So there must be some other way to go. Is it from down here? Yeah, okay, that's very hidden. But oh gosh, I can barely see where I'm going. Come on, whoa. And there we go. That, so that was supposed to be the exit, not the entrance is the weird thing. Odd. <laughs> but yeah, that was certainly something. And there we go. So there we go, that, that seems to be everything. We found another one of Patrick's socks. We can grab all these guys or take them out. So I guess that might be it for Jellyfish Fields. Don't know how much, oh, it's Larry. Hi, Larry. See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. True, for sure. I agree with Larry. He's such a nice guy. He's one of my favorite SpongeBob characters. Anyways, this is the exit. You can see uh, SpongeBob's house and everything over that way. What do we do? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was a little confused. So I guess we're probably being flung back to the beginning where we can give uh, Squidward his jellyfish jelly to heal his jellyfish wounds. It's been an interesting adventure so far, though. Hey, Squidward, here you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? <laughs> um, what if I just gave you... Oh, whoops, okay. There we go. So we got ourselves, I think, our final golden spatula here for the jellyfish fields. Awesome. So the only downside for right now, though, we got all the golden spatulas, but I did not get all of the socks. Now, some of them I think I could go back and get, but I will have to return anyways when we have more moves for SpongeBob. There were two different moves. I think the bowling move over that way, and then there was way down in the level, there was um, another one for whatever other ability, I forgot. Even though he doesn't look very healed right now, he is. I guess we can talk to him again. This is why I don't go outside, ever. Oh, poor Squidward. Anyways, let's go back to Bikini Bottom for right now. There's a couple of things we can do there. Now that we have Patrick, I'm sure there's maybe some extra stuff as well. But I know I have at least 3,000 of the shinies to trade with Mr. Krabs so that we can get a golden spatula just like that. And on top of that, we can go to a whole new area and start exploring that, that should be fun. Um, so far, the game has been a ton of fun to explore, so, uh, so I'm really enjoying it, excited to see what we can get to next. Uh, there are different areas to explore. Like this one requires five, that one's 15, and then I think the one down here is just 10? Yeah, so when we go into that one next, I think it's just the city, which is really cool. And I was just looking around, is there anything else we could do here besides the Mr. Krabs? I don't think so, so let's just talk so to him. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Yes. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Okay, so there we go. There is a golden spatula for us. That's our 12th one, so we could technically go to that other area if we wanted to, but I'd rather do, do it in order. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Okay, so 6,000. Uh, we should be able to do that. We're very close to that already, I think, right? Um, I'll turn over and collect some more. Yeah, 5,111, so we're doing pretty good. We should be able to come back soon and do that, but this is gonna be Downtown Bikini Bottom. Oh boy, let's go. So this looks like it could be a lot of fun, just exploring the uh, Bikini Bottom city, really, and seeing what's going on here. I'm sure there'll be like more boss fights, more enemies, more robots to defeat. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's a mess. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! <laughs> we have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? 
because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Oh, no. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. Ooh. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. <laughs> You're gonna have to earn that one. SpongeBob, we need those steering wheels. Now hurry! Okay, what is this? Uh, when SpongeBob touches this ball, he will change into a sponge ball. You can roll quickly as a sponge ball, but you cannot do anything else. Being hurt or pressing any button will change you back to your normal self. So what's the point of that then? I'll, I'll pick it up for now, just out of curiosity. Roll, roll, Whoa. Roll Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, note taken. I want to explore this area first before we leave it though. Let's explode this stuff. I love opening presents. Ultra combo. I like it. It shines. I don't see too much else going on around this way, but there's plenty of robots and jellyfish to beat up. I'm sure plenty of uh, sparkly things as well. Gotcha. There we go. So I guess we're trying to find the steering wheels. There was one right over this way. So we want to make sure we grab that. Boom. And I have to find 11 in total. So we'll be keeping uh, the search continued, of course, throughout Bikini Bottom, downtown version, I guess. So it's more of a town than it is a city, but it basically is a city. Oh my. Oh, another one of these cannons, but I don't think we can actually go out that far. So I don't know if we can actually destroy that one, but I can do this. Oh, awesome. Oh my. <laughs> They're throwing the kitchen sink at us. It really, they really have thrown everything then. Huh, I wonder what I can do about that. Maybe I can get them to launch it like that? Would that do anything? No. <laughs> okay, note taken. Because if I go out like this, yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't. Weird, how do I knock these things over? Maybe I'll need like Patrick or something? We'll come back. For right now that there's some more jellyfish, there's one of the Tartar robots over this way. I don't like dealing with these guys, but we gotta do it. Oh boy, watch it, watch it. Got him, got him. Oh, that hurt. But we get a sock. That's our 10th one. So I think if we go back to Patrick now, we can actually get us, ourselves another like golden spatula sponge. too. So that's good. Hmm. So once again, another dead end. But I'd rather sort of, you know, find all the dead ends first so we know where not to go anymore, you know? So that's good. So we should be able to reach the, the 6,000 for Mr. Krabs pretty easy. But yeah, it's cool seeing more SpongeBob things that like we've seen in the cartoons, but sort of fully realized here in the game now. And you can just explore them. Lots of fun. It'd be fun to see if they ever make a sequel to this game, now that they're doing the remastered version. We got that uh, steering wheel. So let's switch back to the, the rolling sponge. Yeah, you can't even jump very high. It's a very weird power-up. But we're just gonna go over here for right now. Whoa. Uh-oh, what is this thing? Oh my gosh. Oh no, watch out. Is it gonna like abduct him? It might. Oh, behind you! Oh! Oh no, poor little anchovy guy! Oh. Hey! There's Gary! He's so strong to knock something like that over, wow. Alrighty then, so we'll have to, is Gary still up there? I don't see him. We'll have to sort of figure this out. I guess there's new robot enemies to take on. Starting with this guy. Am I just supposed to jump on him? No. Okay, that doesn't work at all. Weird. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, I, I probably have to slam on it. Don't forget our other moves, after all. So let's try that again. I'll get over there and I'll just try to slam on him. Jump, jump, slam. Yeah, there we go. That told him what's what. All right, well you're saved, Mr. Anchovy. I think they're anchovies. They're from the first episode. Uh, but let's get some of these as well, or not. Why doesn't that work? There we go, I gotta jump into it. Very nice. Okay, that's a combo. Oh, this is hot sauce. Gotta be careful of that too. You know, what does it say? Uh, volcano sauce, hot. Very cool. So can I sneak in back here? Not quite. All right. And what about this way? I do see this. Fresh, okay, like run, run, breeze. run. Yeah, nice. And then we can also grab this one and these guys. So we're doing an okay job so far, I think. So I guess the idea is that we press this button and then we gotta get over there real fast with the rolling SpongeBob. Yeah, not bad, not Feel bad. Like a new sponge. 
It's weird because it makes a buzz noise as if you did it wrong, but you actually did it correctly. There we go. Oh, and that breaks open. Oh, that's perfect. So now we have like a bit of a shortcut, I guess. Can't destroy that though. So maybe not too much this way. That's fine. And then I can go and grab this blue like one. It really isn't too much, but it's something. There we go. And what was this way? Oh, there's another steering wheel. Definitely wanna grab that then. And there's this guy again. I'm ready for you though. Boom. That's a lot of fun to do. Number one in the Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. Well, that's very impressive, SpongeBob. I, I didn't realize there was a Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt. I wanna do that. That sounds like fun. Maybe that's foreshadowing. Yeah, let's go this way for right now. Oh, checkpoint, nice. See, once again, we can explode this. And that should open up that fence. I don't think I need this, but yeah, I just wanted to try. Oh, and isn't this the first nautical bank? Isn't this also the joke shop in one of the episodes? I thought they used this building for a couple of different things. I don't know. Anyways, what can we do about this? Oh, I see. Touch that, let it all grow back, I and we'll explode all of it. Presents. Oh, it won't. Oh. Okay. So there's a limit to that I gotta keep in mind. But there's more of these um rock ones that I just can't quite do anything about. There must be a new ability we're getting soon, I would think. But who knows? Let's get rid of this jellyfish. I'll explode that guy. Bringing it around town. And then that guy too. Hmm. Well, at the least, I can sneak over and do that. Bring it yeah. around town. So I think I've done everything I can in this area. We can keep moving forward. I gotta press that button and then go somewhere else. I guess down this way. Oh yeah, here's the where the huge crater is. Oh, whoa. Oh, sweet, we get to make a big jump. Oh, oh man, that was cool, that was really cool. So let's fight some of these robots. Yeah, we're getting better with the combat, that's good. Clam sickles, ew, that doesn't sound very tasty at all. Oh, this poor guy's getting chased by a robot. Get him out of here. There we go. Anything else up here? Not looking like it. See, there's a lot to do here in downtown. Let's try this one. It closed the door, or the window. Was that what I was supposed to do? Was I supposed to go in there? Did I just mess something up? I don't know, that, that was weird. Um, okay. Well, over this way, we got some stuff we can explode. Uh, there we go. Whoa, monster combo. And that leads all the way back over here. Okay, so let's destroy all of that. It'll all fall down, and that immediately exploded. Okay. See, I guess now that this is open up, maybe I'm supposed to do something with this one? I'm not really sure. It's definitely a bit weird, but we can grab I some underwear like back. And I guess I should go down this way. There is a couple of little sparklies to get, not too much. And I think that's about it. So that might not have been the best idea. Can I make this jump though? Yeah, okay, so I actually don't really need to. Actually, now I do, okay. Good to make sure, though. So back up this way, I'll have to go into the ball form. Yeah, the ball form is like, has SpongeBob ever done that in a game before? I don't Bring know, but I guess he has also hasn't done that, in a, or not in a game, but in an episode. He's done it in this game. <laughs> oh man, there we go. Well, there's a lot of stuff I feel like the different moves he has aren't always parts of specific game, or episodes. I'm getting the words mixed up, apparently. Oh, it's, it's Bubble Buddy. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm still not sure how we would get in then. I would think it would be through this window, but we closed it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Maybe I'll have to come back. Well, for right now, we can bounce up this way. Whoa, these are floating. Oh man, that was weird. Okay, try that again. Going up. Oh, there's a sock waiting for me. There it is. Hey, nice. Patrick now can I laundry. make this jump? No. How do I do that? Maybe I need a different character for that? Who knows? Or maybe I can just jump up with this. I don't think so, but I'm certainly gonna try. Ooh. Okay, it, it doesn't work though. Uh, that would've been cool. So it looks like we're on the other side of downtown now. And I guess I'm supposed to jump through this. Whoa! I did it! Checkpoint. That's cool, but I need to open this back up now. Oh, that did it, nice. Okay. Oh, did that Hi, hurt? Gary. Yeah, it did. Hi, Gary! Meow. 
Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done? Doesn't that mean... Meow. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha, uh -huh. there's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. Oh my. So I guess we gotta get over there. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? Pfft, I can get through this. Oh, well, let Sandy help. I'd like to see her. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Okay, so I guess we're getting Sandy's help. That's cool, but we want to keep exploring around here first. Just try to find whatever we can find, like what's behind this building. Apparently a bunch of nothing, but there is another uh, steering wheel up there, so I'll try to keep that in mind. But boom, got it. So, so far, so good with exploring everything. Just gonna keep up the good work, I guess. There we go, get all that. Oh, I like the big chain explosion. That's my favorite. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Yeah, we're getting quite a few of the sparklies today. Already up to almost 7,000. So how do I get on top of this? Just like this? Is it falling over? Hmm. Whoa. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. I don't think so, but it's what I did. All right, well, You'll one way or another, we figured it out. And then, ooh, what is this about? If we spend 2,000 shiny objects, we can open up this door, which leads to the sea needle. Is the sea needle its own thing? No, this is just like its own, okay. Um, interesting, for sure. Uh, for right now, though, I did want to check the details. So we still have, you know, three things we're trying to get here, but there's still on top of that five more that we can run into. So we'll be keeping up with that. Let me finish exploring this area specifically at the least, and then maybe we'll go out to the sea needle. I don't really know if that's what I should be doing right now. I don't know. Seems a bit of a, a tangent. So maybe I'll leave it. How do I get over to there? Must have missed something. Huh. Okay. Ow. Ow. Maybe not. Maybe that's something we just go up to with Sandy. Yeah, I don't see any way into that, so I'm gonna leave it for later. We will grab this like underwear. Sponge. And let's activate that box, yeah, good. So yeah, we're good to get up this way and play as Sandy, this will be a lot of fun. Yep, go to the bus stop, and then, ta-da, Sandy. So can I play as Patrick in this level at all? If I go like this, I'm just curious to see. Nope, it's just SpongeBob and Sandy. That's interesting, so what if I left with Sandy? Would it just turn me back into SpongeBob, maybe? Anyways, here's Sandy. Take that. <laughs> I like how there's like no plot reasoning on why she's here. Uh, it's up to the top of these steps. Uh, Sandy can glide across the gap of the next rooftop by double jumping and holding X afterwards. Okay. So if we go like this. Whoa, she uses her lasso, that's so cool. Okay, Sandy out of, out of the three, SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy, I think she's my favorite. Um, I just think she's a cool character. She's just a go-getter, very active. Very expressive. Of course, all of the characters are very expressive, but you know what I mean. Anyways, Someone I guess we'll... better make good use of all these. Whoa, whoa. There we go. Oh my gosh. Very cool. So we can explode that too. She is really powerful. Anyways, we definitely have to do more earning of the uh, sparklies. We want to get back up to 6,000 now that we spent some for the sea needle. But I guess we got to run back over this way now. Well, I love her karate chops and kicks. She has her lasso ability. I don't know if she has anything else she can do, but we'll find out along the way. There's our checkpoint again. I'll just get up here real quick. And let's try that again. Cause I sort of went to like a side path so that I could get whatever was extra. But now that we have, should be able to get over to here no problem. And indeed we can. Awesome, but I would love to hear which one of the three is your favorite. Um, SpongeBob, uh, Patrick or Sandy. What does this say? Uh, Sandy can do a chop attack by pressing square. If you chop while in air, you can perform a karate kick. Cool, so, yeah, I like that. Wow, so you can destroy these super easy. And I think that, yeah, there was another one of these over here. I don't know if this is a good idea to go and get, because I don't know if I can go back the way I came. Yeah, I might have to go the long way around, but I might be able to get up here. Yes, I can, very cool. And that'll get us another sock. I didn't even see this before. 
Whoa, I really okay, I thought that was a... Patrick socks. Yeah, unfortunately. But I thought that was a, a line of uh, red sparklies, but it wasn't. It was, uh, I guess, just the dotted line on where we cannot return. So I don't know if there's a way back up. Yeah, I can't quite do that, so I guess I gotta go the long way around. Yikes. Or maybe I could... Whoa, there we go, that's helpful. Nice, all right, never mind. We're back on track. So yeah, we were, no, well, yeah, okay, I was gonna say. Do I have to get over there? I can't get over there from here. We gotta get over like this, though. And, yeah, I guess just go over this way. I don't know what's with the, the flying Texases. <laughs> that's a little weird. Guess we'll have to see what that's about. Uh, you can lasso the object by pressing circle. All right, whoa, and just destroy them all. So we got some long distance action with Sandy now. And what does this one say? Uh, Sandy can swing from a swing hook by pressing circle. Whoop, whoa, okay, be careful. That's awesome, this is really, really handy. Uh, Sandy can lasso a robot by pressing circle. We'll do that in just a moment. Is there anything over here? Not really looking like it. So we already actually lassoed a robot. We did that before, but we're doing it again. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. Where did that come from? Up there, so let me quickly take that guy out. Can I lasso this? I guess not. That's fine, I can just karate chop it. Watch out though, it's gonna explode. And is there anything extra I can reach right now? I'm sure that if we tried, we could get to the golden spatula from here, but I do see another sock. Huh. All right, I'll try to get to that soon. For right now, I guess swinging would be our best bet. There we go. One more time. Got it. So there's another, okay, no, I thought that was another golden spatula. That is another um, steering wheel. So I guess we'll go this way for right now and destroy this. That was good. I don't know where that was gonna go anyways. Huh. So what can I reach? I definitely can't reach the sock from here, but I guess what I could do is I could go back over to the box and jump over super easy like that. So we have uh, some space to experiment then, that's good. Going down. Hmm, how do I wanna do that? Cause can I turn? Oh, I can, excellent. Ready, and jump. Whoa, I think we can make it. Yeah, no problem. So here's another sock for us. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Which is good. I don't see too much more about what we can do around here. Like we can go on top of the, the first nautical bank, but there's not much to do here. So I guess we're good to hop down and then actually get over and get that golden spatula. What happens if I touch the, the little SpongeBob rolling ball when I'm Sandy? Nothing. That's a little bit of a disappointment, but okay. So we will go to the Sea Needle at some point, but I don't know how much of a side area that is, so we'll probably tackle it a little bit right now. Whee! There we go. So that is our 13th golden spatula. And I think our first one for this area. So still lots to do, but for right now, let's go into the rooftops. There's a real loud motorcycle outside, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, what's going on with all this then? It seems like there's a lot of hey, places Larry, to go. What's shaking? Sandy, boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That bear antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Oh, no. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. <laughs> the robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? <laughs> You're great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, do I have to pick this up or anything? I guess not. And there's a little box, I'll have to find out where we need to crew. connect that to. But let's look behind the entrance of this level, because we could go back to the downtown streets, but there's a button to press. Uh, can I just stand on it? Yeah, oh, Sandy doesn't have like a slam move, so I can't hit this button at all. But there's a bus stop right here. So let's switch back to SpongeBob real quick to see if we can't figure this out. Just get over this way and slam. 
What did that do? Whoa. Um. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! Wow, that was a lot. And what's going on up here then? There is a sock. That was cool to find. Glad to have this back. Mm-hmm. So there's sock number 14 for us. If we go with this right, we're gonna be able to get two golden spatulas out of Patrick. And is there anything of interest up here? There's an another box. But this is a different box than the box that that one leads to? If you say so. Uh, let's switch back to Sandy though. I think that's who we need to actually get across to everything. But we'll keep an eye out to see if there's anything SpongeBob can do. Hello. <laughs> um, Bikini Bottom Motor Company. Okay, so I guess that's for all the boats. What's interesting is that, I you know I've talked about the fact that I've never played this game, but that's a giant SpongeBob shirt. I mean, for everybody, just giant clothes for everybody. Interesting. Um, uh, reminder, Cindy can cross large gaps by jumping and pressing X afterwards. So we can do this no problem. Alrighty then. Oh, hello. Watch out. Oh, not another new robot. Oh my. Jump out of the way or do something. Oh no. Oh no, where'd she go? She got turned into bubbles. Oh, there she is. Yikes. Not good. Hello. So I guess we gotta take that on now. I will in just a second, I'm gonna explode these two. But what I was saying is that I have played other SpongeBob games before, really only one in particular. There was one for the original PlayStation. Um, I forget what it was called, it was just a SpongeBob game on the original PlayStation. It was more of a side-scrolling platformer than a 3D one. And that, that game was really fun. It was really tough, I never beat it. But Sandy may defeat Robust by pressing square. Not as good uh, as Texas barbecue there we go. Sauce. Ah, but I remember in that game you could go to Sandy's house and uh, there was like a big jellyfish battle in that one too. All right, let's get across to here. Nice. Toasted tiki Texas style. Okay, so that was pretty good. Can I go inside of here? No. Hmm. So I guess we're just going up this way then. Just trying to look out for secrets at every chance I can get. Oh, is this like gonna be a teeter totter? I guess so. Gotta be careful. Karate chop my way through all this. Run, run, run. Oh man. Everything explodes in this game. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything else, so I guess we're good to lasso on over here. Oh, Kelpo! <laughs> That's funny. There we go. So I guess it's like some kind of cereal. Nice. And I might be able to get up there, actually. Whoa, I, I don't like how far down I fell from that. So I can get up here, but there's, there's not much for me, I think. She really does have a lot of platforming ability because she very slowly descends when she's doing that. So you can get pretty far. Wow, we've just been a bunch more of these now. And where does this lead? This one, oh, this one is the one that leads back up here. Weird, but okay. Um, so 2100, 2100 shiny objects. And what is this one? Ooh, secret area. I like it. No, wrong button. Whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so let's try again. This time, actually press the button to, uh... Why is it not working? There we go, I gotta get a little bit closer is all. Oh, we gotta get across quick. Oh! There it is. And then over this way. We have 20 seconds remaining. I don't know where we're going is the problem. It just seems to, no, not what I wanted. I'm glad that worked, but that was scary. Wait, it's leading back here? Oh, I see, I see, all right. I hope we can make it. There's a golden spatula up here. Would you look at that? Awesome. 14 golden spatulas in total. How many have we gotten in this area specifically? So we found Learn Sandy's moves. We still need to do End of the Road, uh, Tiki's Go Boom. Yeah, I didn't figure that one out. That one was a little weird. Uh, across the rooftops we're working on and there's three more. Cool. This really does have some you know, Mario 64 vibes in some way. <laughs> I like it. So yeah, what's going on with this one then? This is where we gotta go next. Not bad. Uh, and I will lasso you before you get me. Just don't want that to happen. Oh my, oh my, now this guy I forgot to lasso. <laughs> I, I don't know, that was weird. I'll try again. I was a little too more focused on seeing if I couldn't lasso him. Cause you can lasso some enemies, but not all of them. It's a little weird like that. Okay, we're just right back here though. It's not gonna be no big deal to Get back over there. Gives me a chance to get slightly more sparklies. Just like that. Okay. 
Now, this guy I'm trying to avoid. Ah! Uh, okay, he didn't hit me. No, I can lasso him. Oh, but his friend attacked me. I don't like it. Feeling refreshed. And, oh, there's another one right up there. So, oh, that's not what I wanted, though. Maybe I could beat these guys up. There's a lot of platforms above me. But more importantly, I should just be able to glide back. It's another Bikini Bottom Motor Company. They're all over the place around here. And what about back here? Uh, not much. Gotcha. I wish I could just lasso that from here. I don't think that would work. No, it doesn't. Okay, turn back before we fall. Ah! Okay, we're fine. So. Still can't reach that from here, I don't think. What does that say? Eat at Joe's! All right, I will soon. This is a lot of fun to explore, though. I really like the downtown area. A reminder to get across large gaps, use the lasso swing. I know, I got it, don't you worry. Is there anything in here? No. We were already down that way, right? Yeah, that's where we were before. It can get a little confusing once you die because it's like, okay, wait, where was I? Where have I been? Where have I not been? Oh no, was that what I was supposed to do? That one seemed a little weird. I guess so, huh? Okay, we got more robots, so I don't like it. Come on, come on. Got it. Run, run, run. Ow, not what I was supposed to do. There we go. He's dancing too, he's so happy. Ooh, what does this button do? Yeah, I appreciate it. So over this way, I probably want to lasso these guys before they notice me so that we can destroy them. But I gotta do that one at a time. Whoa, he's launching. Was that it? I guess so. Not seeing anything back that way. Huh. So yeah, let's just jump up for right now. Whee! Whoa! Okay. We keep going up and up. Better. And now we're up here. There's a checkpoint for us, so that's at least good. Can I hop on top of the sign? And then maybe get up this way? I can, whoa! Am I supposed to be up here? Doesn't seem like there's much to get, but this is cool. Hmm. Can I use this to my advantage anyway? It doesn't seem like it. I'll just head back to here for now. Ow, that hurt. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Yeah, that is a little weird, isn't it? What does it say? Coral Cola. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that one before. Hmm. Because we're still trying to get to that one sock. It was right over that way, so we're almost there. Whoa. Whoa. Try to be careful. Yeah, I think we could get there from here, but then I'd have to go all the way back around, which might be a bit of a pain. Might as well get out of the way now, though. Oh, actually, no, maybe I shouldn't, because it looks like it loops around anyway, so we'll keep with this for now. Oh no, oh no, watch it, watch it. And there's another steering wheel. Okay, can I just lasso it? Not looking like it. Oh, that was risky. That was super risky. Oh, there's a purple one. Okay, I don't know if it's worth it for the blue one. I just wanna keep going. Whoa, oh man. Oh, I love the combos you can do. That is so much fun. So yeah, Sandy is definitely my favorite character you can play in this game. Alrighty, she's great. So we were already down that way. That's where we came in from before. I'm getting dizzy and oh, that combo is so good. Punch that thing, destroy this, ow. That was a little rude, but you can only do so much about it. So yeah, let's be careful if we fall. It's a long way back, but you can still see Squidward's house and SpongeBob house on top of each other? Oh no, we're seeing it from the side angle. I got a little confused there. It looked like they were on top of each other. Hmm, is there anything over there? Not looking like it. Okay, one of these robots going down. Okay, well, did what I could about that. So yeah, I guess this is just gonna, whoa, it's a slide. Ooh. Not much of one. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? Yes. Okay, so there we go. I guess we get to do it again. So Sandy can slide slopes with her shell. That's so cool. I love that. I don't see anything else that we might have missed. So I think we're good to move forward. Whoop. And let's destroy that. Very good. This game's a lot of fun. I really like the variety of being able to play with multiple characters. The levels seem to be pretty varied as well. Watch out for that. Yeah. And there is a spatula for us, number 15. So we can go to that new area whenever we want, but like I said, I wanna keep going with things in order. So once again, only SpongeBob can slam this. So let's give this a go, if I can, ready? Boom. Then we'll switch back to Sandy, because I think that'd probably be 
overall a better move. Yep. Can I open this door? The, well, I can travel to the lighthouse right there. And I'm guessing that this leads back to the beginning. It does. Hey. Oh, thank you. I can finally watch those reruns of the Rockfish Files. <laughs> okay. I hope that it's interesting. Not really a big fan of reruns myself. I like to watch new things if I can. There we go. And well, here's another sock. I it'll make Patrick happy. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, is there anything else around here? Not looking like we did a great job exploring everything. We're making good progress. There's only two more socks off to find, and we're still looking for three more of the steering wheels. Okay. Well, right now, to the lighthouse. And I guess we're off. So, whoa, are you ready, kids? Sure, set, go. What do we do? Um, are we just fighting? Can I destroy this? Yes, I can. Yeah, what is going on with this? Was that it? Whoa, oh my, it's like a battle tower. So just immediately destroy it if we can. I can't get that though. Huh, maybe there was a better way to do that. Or maybe there isn't, I'm so confused. Messing with Texas. Oh no, oh no, hey, watch it now. Okay, that's better. Okay, so where is it now? Oh, here it is. Just trying to be quick with it. As soon as we can destroy it, the better. So where Someone is it this time? It's over this way. Ooh, I'm got it. Getting dizzy just watching. I'm sure more than one's gonna start showing up soon, so gotta be careful. Ooh, ooh, okay, ready, set, go for it. And here's the other one. Run Whoa. quick, run quick. Yes. Out of the way. Bam! Super monster combo. Wait, did that knock all of them out? Yeah, that's a little weird, but I guess that worked. Oh my. I can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. I know, underwear. Come on, keep going. Ow, this guy keeps getting me over and over again. Not what I wanted. And that was it. Okay, that got a little scary, but there's a button to press here, so if we come back with SpongeBob, I guess there's something else we can do. Note to self, make sure to do that. Okay, that's better. Okay, so well, for right now, Let's grab this. It's another golden spatula for us. Pretty cool. But let's go through the store, and we're gonna be back downtown. Oh yeah, that's right, this is a one-way exit. So I actually should be able to get back to that one spot without too much of an issue, I think. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, we're doing fine. Uh, hey. Hey you there, Sandy. Howdy, bubble buddy. I like how they know each other. I don't think she was even in that episode, but that's cool. So I want to get back over there before we go to the, the sea needle. There we go, got that. Because, like I said, there's a button that we can press only as SpongeBob, so we want to make sure that gets done. Oh boy, run, run, run. Oh, we can talk to Gary as Sandy. Hey, Gary. Wow. Exactly the conversation I expected. So let's get down this way and make this jump. Perfect. Go back in, and we're just basically gonna go over, go into the box, and I guess get to the bottom of that with SpongeBob. I don't know if we have to do it again. We might have to. <laughs> so I guess I'll be right back once we figure that all out. Okay, so I have no clue how I can get to that at this point. Oh no, that worked. Okay, awesome. I feel like a new but sponge. we can now go and do this. What did that do? Oh, did it make this? Oh, I guess it did. So what is this about? Oh, I'm curious. Whoop. Come on now. Whoa, <laughs> be careful. Hold on, hold on. Try that again. There it is. Is there gonna be a sock up here? There is indeed. Boom. So there is another sock done. I'm glad I went out of my way to do that then. And let's just slam down for now. Wee. <laughs> we are just going to head out of here and I guess just go to the next area, which should be that sea needle. So that should be fun. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here. Been super intense so far, but I think we're, we're doing a good job. Okay, so now that we're back out this way, I'm just going to grab this sponge roller. And we're just gonna roll size. out to this way. This is the sea needle. So I don't know how many more spatulas we really have to get here. I'm, I'm sure there's more of the wheels, unless we missed some, which I don't think we did. I've been trying to be very thorough with that. So we'll have to wait and see. The sea needle. Wow, it's totally destroyed. Are we already at the top of it? I'm, I wonder. Lots of enemies to defeat here. And there we are. <laughs> Hello, sir. Why are there still so many people here when it's just like totally dismantled? Oh, hey, it's there Mr. Krabs. You are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. 
That's horrible. The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Ooh. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. <laughs> That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them I shall. You've got a deal. I mean, you've been breaking them the entire game anyways, but yeah, let's get to it. There's different, uh, I guess, directions, north, east, south, and west. We can only go west for right now, so let's try that out. I could change to Sandy here, but maybe I'm supposed to play as SpongeBob, I'm not really sure. Oh, so yeah, we're just gonna hop on that really quickly. And, whoa, whoa, here we go. So I to destroy as many of these as I can, preferably all of them. Wow, they're tough though. Hold on now. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, that is like really weird to control, so <laughs> this might take a couple of tries. Fine. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, I got a couple. But not all of them. That is super duper weird. Come on, I got another one. So that's all of those ones, that whole row of them. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't make any noise when you break them, so it's a little weird, but get back down there. Wait, did I break it? I guess I did. Okay, cool. So there's one last yellow one to grab. Okay, well, I, I missed it. You know, I don't think it's worth it, but I'll try one more time. Nice. Okay, now we can leave. Wow, everyone looks like ant fish from up here. <laughs> I guess so. So we can't go that way, at least not to SpongeBob. Oh no, here comes this guy. Dodge all that stuff and just show him who's boss if we can. There we go. But there's another one. Got him, and got him. And there's another checkpoint for us, and another needle. I do like doing this part. This is one of my favorite parts of the game so far. It's just, it's also a little difficult. Oh wow, and I missed so many. Whoa. Um, I don't know why I'm going so slow now. What is going on? Ow, Ow that hurt. <laughs> okay, it I don't know shines. what I'm supposed to do about the ones that hurt. Whoa. Okay, it's about to explode, so there's all that done. Whee! Come on. There we go. But there's still, are they falling? No. I can't quite reach that one. One more time, one more time, ready? Uh, yeah, there we go, we got it. No problem. And all those are going over to me, so just gotta grab these now. And then one more time for this row of them. The camera's a little weird, but I got it, I got it. And there we go, that should be it. Nice. Ooh, and there's another steering wheel here. I really need that. Gotcha and gotcha. So that's 10. We're looking for one more steering wheel somewhere around here. Maybe it's over this way. I'm not really sure. Let me press this button. Yeah, because this will open the door, right? If I had to guess. There it is. So that's worth doing. I'm not afraid of heights. I know, I know. Afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. Oh, I can't quite reach him. No, there I go. This took a second. So there are some more tiki crates to hit, I'm guessing, from this needle right over here. Shouldn't it be too bad? So let's give this a go. Whoa. So many to hit and I missed every single one of them. And once again, we go up very Boing. slowly. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Huh. Yeah, it, that's really weird. I mean, maybe I'm just supposed to fall slowly. I there we go. Got presents. a couple that way. <laughs> that is so weird. Whee! All right, ready? Go for it. I'm trying to hit him. <laughs> Easier said than done. Boing. Okay, I got a couple that way. And then, oh, they're like falling on top of each other. Some of them are falling all the way down. I really hope that's not a problem. <laughs> that they're falling like that. I don't think so, but it's, it's really hard to tell. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Ow, that hurt, but Ow. hey, I guess it worked. That is so weird though. Oh, and I keep missing them. I'm going back down. 
So you can't destroy the stone ones, but maybe if they fall like that? No? I mean, they're gone. <laughs> One way or another. I hope that's fine for Mr. Krabs. Because if not, I don't know how we're getting this golden spatula. It seems like it's too late. What is going on with this? Ready? Yeah, I don't know how we explode these guys without getting hurt. <laughs> or does it explode them in general right now? That seems to be a challenge either way. Okay, come on. Oh, we got him, but once again, I gotta take damage for it. Boing. Come on, there we go. Well, I guess it's sorta kinda worth it. Anyways, be careful this like guy. This is the last sponge. steering wheel too. Gotcha. You just met the sponginator. All steering wheels collected. Awesome, so we still have one more way to go, I think. Well, I'm glad that we got all that figured out. Or not. Huh. So did we do them all? Let's see what Mr. Krabs has to say about it. Because the south one is not Good open. work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. Thank you. So there we go. We got a golden spatula. And that's 17 in total now. We're doing some great work with that. But this door is still not open. And that has me curious, why is there a boat up here? <laughs> but also, is there a way to get over them? Maybe with Sandy there is. Can Sandy do this, by the way? I am curious about that. No, she can't, no, she can't! No, Sandy! So there must be a way or something to do with Sandy if you can switch her up here, right? I mean, I guess it's just if you came up here without Sandy, um, there's there's something to do, maybe, about it. You know, you can switch back. But there has to be a way to get to, to the south part. Let me look over here real quick. I mean, maybe? No way. There's definitely something, maybe from the other side then. Because I haven't tried that side with Sandy, but it's a little weird, isn't it? I'll definitely throw out this lasso to get rid of you. And let's give this our best shot. No way. I mean, you can see that there's something, but I don't know if it actually leads to anything. It's so weird, isn't it? Huh. Maybe I can't get over there. So I looked around, I couldn't find a way over there. Maybe it doesn't lead to anything. Who knows, but there we go. You know, it's something. So that might be the sea needle done. We got a golden spatula there. So there's still maybe a couple more we can find, but we did get all of the steering wheels. We should go and get the golden spatula for that as well. Oh yeah, hi Mrs. Puff. Well, if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. Howdy Mrs. Puff. Oh, I don't think we can give it to her as Sandy. So I have to find a way or a place where I can switch over. That's a little weird because I'm way out here. I'm pretty well, sure. If yeah, because if we take a look right now, we have all 11 of them. So basically, end of the road, Tiki's go boom, come back with the cruise bubble. What is the cruise bubble? Wait a minute, there's, so there is still something I can do there. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, let me go figure that out, I guess. But you know, while I'm here, maybe I should try this with Sandy. There we go. And, oh, here we go. Oh, see now there's buttons to press around here. See, this was worth it and then try this again right over that way. I will once again have to come back with SpongeBob. I wish that there was a bus stop around here that would make things more useful. But now we're starting to figure it out a little bit more. That's at least good. I'll lasso you up. And I think we just gotta walk all the way down. Sandy does walk a little on the slow side, unfortunately. Uh, I think we need to make him do that. I don't know if that was worth it or not. There we go. Okay, there, there are some of the scared guys. Sometimes they disappear, sometimes they don't. Okay, do that, and then we're almost at the bus stop, right? It's somewhere around here, I think it's up here. Yep. So first off, swap characters. Thank you very much. And then right back down this way, we'll just take the sponge ball if we can. Because I've pressed this button, right? Oh yeah, that makes it jump, okay. We've seen that, we can skip this. Roll, go, go, roll, go. Roll Whoa. The sponge. And then right over this way then, we have all these buttons we can press. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, push, Indeed push, push. So we're almost there. Got that one, and then one more right over here. And what will that do for us? Oh, see ya! And look at that, right up there, there is a spatula. How do I get that? Can I just jump up? Also, what is this supposed to be? He's like running away from a saw or something? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, 18th golden spatula. There's still two more to get though. One for Mrs. Puff over here. So if I could just go over to her and see what we can do. 
And then I guess I'll go back to the sea needle and see what I did wrong, because I'm a little curious about that now. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there was I don't know why she stopped talking. I Sandy, and the lighthouse was. Okay, okay. Sorry, I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no, you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? <laughs> That's a library card. A library card. Oh. All right then, so yep, another golden spatula right there, uptown and downtown. So like I said, there should still be one more thing left to do. I'm a little confused about this one. Come back with the cruise bubble. What is the cruise bubble? I guess I can travel over to it. Yes, please. That's such a useful feature. That's my one of my favorite things about this game is that I don't have to walk all the way over there. Maybe I should have kept that in mind when I was doing everything else there, um, but that's fine. So yeah, let's try to figure this out. The cruise bubble. Oh, so to get over to there, I need a new ability that I don't currently have. That's what it is. Gotcha. I think I understand now. So can't do that one just yet. That's fine, but that means that we are all finished up with um with you know bikini not bikini bottom, but uh downtown bikini bottom for right now. So that's a lot of fun. I might as well go back to uh Yeah, just go back to here. Just travel around, go back to bikini bottom and see if we can't exchange some some Shinies for more golden spatulas, that would be awesome. We should be able to get another golden spatula from Patrick as well, so there's still more stuff to do, and that's awesome. Uh, but we're almost wrapped up for today's episode. We'll go to a new area next episode as well, but so glad that we could uh, explore downtown Bikini Bottom and play with Sandy. That was cool. I love Mr. Krabs. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Yep. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. And there we go. So let's grab that. And that's gonna be our 20th one. Wow, we're really getting through it pretty quick. And what what, what, what does he need now? 9,000, so it seems like it goes up by 3,000 every time. So we'll definitely try to keep that in mind. So there we go. We'll need another like about 10,000, 11,000 ish, or no, 10,000 or 9,000, wow, sorry. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. We get 21 golden spatulas now. This is sort of like, if I remember correctly, sort of like the beach. I mean, obviously it's all the beach, it's underwater, it's the sea, but this is sort of the beach of the beach and that's where the goo comes in. The, the goo is just, I guess, just water in water. It's it's always so weird how they try to explain it, but. Ah, uh, goo lagoon a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. Oh no. So what's going on? Oh, I guess we're just starting then. All right then. <laughs> um, yeah, that sort of seems weird. I, I figured he'd explain what's not well. Do not cross. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna go this way then. Got a robot to destroy. This level's actually looking pretty linear so far. Uh, let's Too talk pretty. to this sign. Can't take it. Uh, you can use the bubble bash to move things. Uh, stand under the platform and press triangle to flip the platform over. Okay, so if I do that, it goes across. Pretty cool, I like this area so far though. I just, I love being able to look out and see some of the other areas we've been to. That's just so cool. I think I did that in Mario Sunshine as well, which came out all around the same time as this game did, I think. Around the same time, like within the, like, the same like year or two. Anyways, welcome to Goo Lagoon, we're here. That's a checkpoint, uh oh. Watch out, <laughs> here comes an umbrella robot. He just doesn't even know. Oh boy. Watch out, I, she sort of wished he had an umbrella, didn't he? Yikes. That doesn't feel good. The poor guy. This robot is called Monsoon. Watch out for his, his lightning attack. Alrighty then, so we'll do what we can about that. Uh, oh, that's what that says, okay. So let's get, just go ahead and beat him up like that real quick. That worked out pretty well. And then over this way, we got a couple of these tiki heads. Combo, cool. I wonder if we'll be able to play as Patrick or Sandy in this level as well. Who knows, can I jump on top of this? I mean, I can, but it doesn't like bounce me or anything. Is this a pit? Oh, oh. Is that supposed to hurt me? 
I'm a little confused. Huh. Weird. Anyways, um... SpongeBob, oh. do I look burned? No. Well, you do look a little red. <laughs> Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Ew. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. Huh. But I, uh, okay. can't swim. Alright, so we gotta be careful. There's a lot to do here. Look at all the baby clams! Oh, they're flying away. They're so cute. So we get another checkpoint already. There was just one right over there, but okay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hit this button. Was that... Well, I guess we have to do everything else first. <laughs> okay. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. I guess he does, and he has quite a few of his own. So I don't—I just don't know where to go first, because you can see there's more of these. Oh, here we go. Ah, all right. So that worked, and then that reflected it where exactly? Over there. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if that's exactly what we want to do then. Get rid of you. Get it. And then, boom, that should turn it the other direction. That's not correct, though. You can see one. And it's going right into the ocean. So I guess this is the correct way then. So we'll skip this. We've already seen it. So we'll have to get up there at some point or another. But for right now, we can destroy some other stuff around here. And it did seem like we had the bus stop over there, so we could go switch characters and stuff. But I just don't know if that's what we want to do at the moment. Dude, this checkpoint's all over the place. So this one doesn't matter too much because we don't actually have it over here just yet. Oh, can I jump? Once again, I can do this. I don't trust myself. I don't know why I'm doing all this, seeing how I already have, uh, I already have full health, but whatever, I got myself some sparklies for it. This guy is just chilling out on the water. I can bounce off of him. Cool. And once again, I, I guess I don't have to worry about going over here too much, but, well, actually, maybe I can. Uh, yeah, that works. Oh, okay, so maybe it's starting from over there? I guess so. But I'm a little curious, what if we do it this way instead? What will that lead to? That'll lead just into the water. Okay, so don't need to worry about that. It seems like there might just only be one correct way each time. Let's sneak over this way and get this guy. And let's try this again. Oh, please make the jump, there we go. Oh, and there's a little bit of extra stuff over this way. Once again, we have another underwear. I'll just get these ones for now. I'm sure there'll be lots to do in this level, just trying to keep up with it all. So we gotta get up to, actually no we don't. I always get that mixed up. Uh, do I wanna do this one then? I suppose so. Yeah, that led right over that way. What I'm a little bit curious about though is, it looked like, yeah, there's something up that way. I don't know how to quite get over to that. That might be something I'll have to get back with Sandy. Okay, well, for right now, there's plenty Time of stuff to do with SpongeBob. Oh no, here we go again. Get rid of him. <laughs> Explode this guy. Oh yeah, these are the little booths where you can change your clothes in some of the episodes. Yeah, SpongeBob rips his pants and everything. That that was a big episode. A lot of people remember that one. Okay, so plenty of robots up this way. This is where everything starts, really. There we go. Got rid of that. Run, run, run. Oh, he made two more of the hammer robots. I'll get him. There we go. So is there anything else to do up here? Oh, so we can do some stuff with Patrick. Gotcha, so I'll have to come back for that. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there with Patrick. But for right now, we just gotta go over this way. Okay, let's get to it. So, which way do I have to hit this one? I don't think it's this way, but I might as well try. Yep, that's wrong. So instead, go over this way. And that goes right over to this lifeguard thing. So we're getting there. Uh, here's another checkpoint as well. Uh, so what do I gotta do here? I think I gotta break that, oh, and make it fall onto the other stuff, but it didn't quite work out that way. And this is the way we were already going, okay. So yeah, I guess we just have to hit these buttons, don't we? 
Oh, and there's a little uh, sign over that way too. So this is incorrect. Good to know. Let's hit this one. And it'll go way over there, wow. Hello. You can get to the island from the pier on the other side of the sea caves. Sea caves, huh? We haven't gone to those yet, so seems that there's still some more work to do with that. It does make me want to backtrack with Patrick, though, and try to figure out some of that other stuff. So the bus stop is right over this way. Might as well get that done then. So yep, swap characters. So I wonder maybe starting now we can just swap from you know all three of them, or is it only specific levels where you can either play as Patrick or Sandy? Okay, now it's about to SpongeBob. Yeah, that's so weird to me. Okay, so we'll just play as Patrick then. And we have to get all the way up there. Well, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So can Patrick destroy these? No, Ooh, he can pick them up. up we go. And <laughs> that doesn't do much, does it? Okay, note taken. So right up here, if we hop on top of this lifeguard stand underwear fits quite right. and give it a toss. Oh, whoa, okay. Floating beach towels. That's weird, but I'll take what I can get. Toss it over that way too. Oh no, now they're moving all over the place. Well, this one's a lot tougher, because I have to do it within a time frame. A little tough to pull off, but we made it work. Now this way, oh, now they're spinning, which actually isn't as bad, because if I just stay to the center of them, I should be fine. There we go, we did it. And toss. Gotta keep going then. Now we're back to these. Oh, this is a bunch of stuff, isn't it? Oh, this one's moving and spinning now, Patrick! Oh, come on, that was not good. Okay, so we have to be patient about this because that eventually stops, I guess, but we had to wait for this one to come back was the hard part. And as you can see, oh, boom, goody, another one. for all that, we get ourselves another sock. So we only need two more socks before we have all of uh, well, all the socks we need for another golden spatula, so that's at least good. Um, but yeah, with that being said, we're good to move forward. I don't think there's anything else we can do in this area. I don't know if we should be playing as Patrick exactly right now, but we'll try it out. And Maybe I actually shouldn't. Maybe I should actually go back to SpongeBob, because it sort of seems like there might be some SpongeBob world of things I could do here. It'd be cool that instead of like having random bus, spot, bus stops, it'd be nicer if you could just have every checkpoint change characters, but I guess I'll be running all the way back for now. We're almost there anyways. There we go. Switch back to SpongeBob, and we're good. So now we should be fine with just going and doing what we gotta do, which is right over this way once again. But yeah, we can save that little kid with the balloons, and I think we can talk to Mrs. Puff, who's looking very worried. Okay, ready? Number Boom. one in the Bikini Bottom scavenger hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. Yeah, you said that before, but I guess we have five of those people to save. There's another one right over here. It seems a little weird. Um, oh, I guess this is, because maybe if we didn't, we wouldn't be able to reach him. Okay, well there's two. Let's get rid of you, thank you. And what else do we have going on around here? Don't need the underwear. But there was something up this way. Whoa, where did you come from? I did not see you before. There we go, you're gone. So I am also trying to get 9,000 sparklies. Did he try to jump and he donked his head? I think so. There we go. And I move this over like that. Ooh, that worked out quite well. And then there's another one of the kids up here, okay. Because I think that normally, like that's just not high enough is the problem. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Try that again. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Oh, there's a robot spawner up here. Okay. So I might want to get rid of that first. Get rid of you. And that oh that ran right into him. And will this move oh, right over where it needs sparkly. to? Aha! There we go. Three out of five. And what else do we got going on? There's another sock. Maybe I should jump down to get that, or maybe I should I do this love first. Opening presents. Nice. And then there's yellow one. Oh, okay, we can we can make the jump from here. Hey, Boom. You. Sock number two for this laundry. area, but sock number nine for the uh, total right now, so that's nice. Boom, slamming on you. And let's make extra sure we get some of these too. So I think what I gotta do here is explode some of these so that when this explodes, it gets rid of that too. At least that's good. 
Now for these guys, I don't know what I do. I guess I gotta switch over to Patrick. But did I miss anything? It feels like, oh, you know what? That's where I return to. Well, I do wanna go back either way because I never talked to Mrs. Puff. So let's go and figure that out real quick. I thought that this would be more of a side area, but it turns out this is the way you're supposed to go. So Mrs. Puff, since I haven't said hi oh, to no. you, how are you doing? The children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. Alrighty, so I guess we're supposed to be doing that. That's what we've been doing the whole time. What is this? This is the juice bar. Can we go inside? Oh, we can't. That would be really cool if we could. But we can't, so that seems to be everything in this area then. We'll be coming back to here because this looks like you gotta return from that. So I guess we might be going into the caves. I get it. There we go. So yeah, for right now, go back the way we were. And I can already see, I think the entrance to the caves over there. So this level still has a while to go, still. Well, let's get to it. And what's up with this? Um. Okay, this is certainly something I think we go back to again. <laughs> There's a lot of that, isn't there? But we can switch over to Patrick. Maybe we should take that opportunity. Oh, you know what? I think I know what I do. I think I need to pick these guys up and give them a toss over this way and then we can stand on them. Let's find out if that's the case. So get this over here, give that another toss, and then one more time. Let's get this guy. Uh-huh. We should just be able to toss that on top of these two as well. Okay, not what I wanted. Gotta carry a lot of stuff around. <laughs> okay, come on. It was showing it for a second. Aha, here we go. Really, does that just not work? Okay, we didn't need it anyways. So what is this way then? There's like a whole detour. Uh, well, I guess we'll spend all these shinies. Don't have too much left, so hopefully that was worth it. What is with these little dragon things? Yeah, what are these supposed to be? I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> we got the little pool floaties. Okay, these don't bounce. I don't trust this. There is a lot going on right now. <laughs> Exploding beach balls for whatever reason. There we go. Yeah, you can get a little bit of a uh, speed boost if you do that. And boom, got it. So there we go, we got a golden spatula from all that. I guess that was a worthwhile detour. Now it's sort of a dead end, so the the hard part here is we gotta make our way back. Oh boy, I mean, I guess if I died, it would just get me a checkpoint, so maybe that's worth it, but I don't know. Well, we might as well dedicate the whole way through, since we're most of the way there already. But that was a cool little thing to do. Always gotta keep my eye out for secrets like that. You never know where you might find them. Hopefully, you know, it's overall worth all those sparklies in the long run. But yeah, I guess at this point, we can just head back down this way. And for right now, I'll continue the levels, Patrick, just in case. Got a little volleyball net. Weird place for it, but boom, gotcha. That was good. And what exactly, which way do I wanna go? Cause that way leads back there, which is great, but that's the second to last balloon guy. This, well no, yeah, well this guy's the last, or second to last, and then the other guy's the second to last, okay. Or no, I'm getting it mixed, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, come on, ready? He's gotta pop up here. Well that's right, I can't save him as Patrick. I keep forgetting that, so I do gotta go back as SpongeBob. All right, almost there, Number boom. One in the Bikini Bottom scavenger hunt. I know, I know. They do repeat themselves quite often, which is not always the best, but if we go over this way, and I guess that doesn't connect to that at all. Yeah, now that I see that, it can be hard to tell all that stuff from a distance, but you are who we're supposed to be focusing on. The problem is the, the platforms will start to go down into the water if you stand on them for too long. It's very scary. Come on, come on, right there, all kids rescued. So let's get back this way then. And we'll talk to Mrs. Puff, and that should maybe get us another golden spatula if I had to guess. Uh, where is she? She's right here. My Yay. hero, you've saved the children. <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward. Thank you. Alrighty then, so here's another one for us. That is gonna be 23 in total. Pretty cool. So, yeah, how are we doing with this whole area in Gulagoon? Um, we've gotten two so far. Obviously, connect the towers we're working on. The next one is pretty far off. Um, and then there's five more to get beyond that. We're gonna keep working on it. 
But I gotta get back all the way over there now. Okay, so here we are again. I can go with this with confidence that it's the way I'm supposed to go and that I've explored everything else so far, as far as I can tell. So let's take a look around. So we have the bus stop over here if we really need it. I don't know if we need it just yet, but I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. Oh, there's a uh, Bubble Buddy. Bob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yep. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. Ooh. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. <laughs> um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. All right, well, I guess we will. Right now, though, there's still more stuff to explore around here, so first, rain, destroy rain, that. Yeah, get rid of all these guys, and I guess, is that supposed to lead somewhere? So just, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 there's a sock up there, oh darn. That's really tough. And here's more of the sandcastle contest. I can't like destroy him or anything, okay. Um, but I guess we should do something with this box. And can I maybe use this box to get up there? No. I bet you there's a way we can sneak up there. There has to be. Hmm. Ah, uh, <laughs> if I could stand on top of this. So I guess the only thing I can do at this point is fall into the water. But that actually doesn't damage us. It just makes us fall off. What happens if I do that from like over here? Now we just fall back over. Weird, so I've sort of missed out on my opportunity to get that for right now. Yeah, as far as I can see. We'll come back for it though. I feel like we have to backtrack most of the levels for socks anyways. So if it doesn't work out this time, that's fine. It shines. Oh, there we go. Huh. So I guess we gotta Water get that way. Rising must get Oh, is it? Higher oh no. Ground. Oh no, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Keep moving, SpongeBob. I guess I'm going over here. I don't know if that was the best idea, actually. No, no! But yeah, I, I think that right now my main goal is just to get all the golden spatulas. If we miss out on socks, that seems to be fine because we have to relearn certain things anyways, or have to relearn. We haven't learned them for the first time. But once we learn them, uh, we'll, we'll bring up our abilities at those places we've already been, I guess. But I do have a second chance here if I do want to try it again. I mean, I might as well. To destroy that. And once again, the idea is just to be quick with it. There we go. Awesome. And Gosh, there we go. Glad to have this back. So we got up to 10 of those, which is awesome as well, because that means that we have enough for another golden spatula. Will those be able to go through? Yeah, they will, no problem. So this is just tough. A really tough situation. Or is it? Yeah, it is rising. Okay, let's keep moving then. Okay. I hope I'm doing this the correct way. I, mean, I don't see any other way to do it. Just gotta go over here now. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Hit the hammer guy. I get it. You oh no. Met the Whoa, I don't know what's happening to the water. Was I supposed to play as Patrick the whole time? Oh no. I guess I could have gotten that sock over there maybe? Oh, but the water's lowering now. Huh. Okay. Even then, I don't see a way I could have gotten that exactly, but maybe if we have to retry it or if we go around, we'll figure it out. But I can walk onto this, for better or for worse. There we go. Time for a oh little my. sleepy Got sneak. Him. And let's also get rid of this because I thought that'll make everything easier. Get out of here. <laughs> I love how easily it just gets totally destroyed. And you, got a couple of those. There's another cannon firing at us right now. Was this actually the way I was supposed to go? It might be. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> you're kidding. And the door is still locked, so there's no way for me to go back. So I guess my best bet for now is just to run all the way around again. Okay. Because if I could, I'd go back with Patrick right now, but I can't. Oh no, gotcha. At least we have plenty of underwear to pick like up, so any any breeze. damage we take isn't that big of a deal. I just gotta be a little bit more careful, but this also gives me a chance to explore this area a little bit more. I mean, I guess that was real yet. I don't know why I thought I could get over to that way. So I was going the right way the whole time. I was doing the right thing. No need to stress about it. 
very bright though. The sand is very, very bright. There we go. And we had gotten almost to over there, but then the, the, I think it was the volleyball knocked me off, which wasn't good. Oh my, ready? Gotcha. <laughs> See ya, he just went flying. And got it. Why doesn't that give me anything? You'd think that would give me something. Now with these, not the way I'm supposed to do it, but it might as well be what I do. So I guess this is where we find the sock, right? Or no, it's under the other one. Yeah, that jump is definitely a little too tough to make. I don't think I wanna try it. All right, boom. And there we go, golden spatula number 24. Pretty good. So with that out of the way, I guess I could go this way too. What is this about? I'm not sure. Whoa, whoa, there's another sock right up here, which I gotta quickly grab before the, that all explodes. Oh my gosh, I gave us like four or 500 of them. Very nice. So I guess with that out of the way, we can hop back down here and we can go this way instead. This game's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Will that actually explode these guys? It will. Getting tons of sparklies. Don't think I can go that way. So it looks like we're going into the Goo Lagoon Sea Caves. Sounds good to me. Hello, Gary. What's new? Meow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. <laughs> Meow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. Okay, so let's go off to the golden spatula. There's a golden spatula at the end of this cave? Meow. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> I love Gary. He's probably my second favorite SpongeBob character like this, and my favorite one is Sandy. But then I, then I think after that, it's Gary. There we go. So we're doing an okay job with this. Luckily, you know, if we land in the water, it just knocks us back to where we were. Oh wait, no, not this time. Last time, yes, not this time. Never mind. I spoke too soon. So we're back here now. Oh, yeah, actually, I activate that box. And I could switch over to a character now. I just I don't know which character to play ever. <laughs> Seems like whatever character I choose ends up being the wrong one. I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep with Patrick for right now. It doesn't seem like it matters too much if I don't get those. Got it. And what else is going on? See, I needed SpongeBob. <laughs> Why do I always mess this up? Okay, come on. Be careful. You can do it, Patrick. No, we were so close! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I'm back with SpongeBob, and we are just going to, boop, press that button. Oh, and that made that whole thing over here fall. So we couldn't have possibly progressed with Patrick. Isn't that weird? So activate those, back it up. Get that super combo. And it seems like every time I get closer to getting the 9,000 sparklies, I need, uh, oh gosh, and you can't do that. <laughs> that is so weird. I think, yeah, the, the water just raises and lowers. The, the thing I really don't like is the loading screen you have to sit through afterwards. So we already pressed that button, don't have to do it again. But, yeah, every time we get close to 9,000, I end up having to spend some more, so let's hope that we can just earn it up this time, that hurt. I think I'll just wait right here for a little bit, wait for it to raise and then lower again. It sure takes its time. Oh, I like the picture of old cave Patrick. Why, really? That was a little deceiving. Okay, this time, I'm doing it. There we go. So now that we've done that, there's more than one way to run off to, and I guess that this way might be the extra path. It doesn't seem like I could reach anything from there just yet. So I guess we'll just do this for right now. See how it goes. Cause I don't know, that's sort of like a dead end. It's not weird. Maybe we'll get back to that place sometime later. Watch out for the puffer fish! I, I don't know why that looks closer than it was. I mean, it looked farther than it was. I can't speak correctly today, I'm so sorry. There we go. No, 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 wait! No, where are we gonna go? Oh, this is getting tough quick. Challenging the games is sort of really jumping up. Okay, well, we're back here, so it's no big deal. Right where we started, so. Just gonna try to avoid the puffer fish. Don't get the extra sparklies here, because I ended our doom. What did that do? Okay, that made that fall. If you stand on these platforms for too long, they start to teeter over, and that's not fun. Got a couple of the hammer robots. And what else do we got? Oh, this is gonna raise. Okay, really? Oh no, I'm really not doing so well. 
But yeah, you can see all the different pictures of SpongeBob and Patrick from the cave episode, which is pretty cool. A little throwback there. That was one of my favorite episodes when they go, when Scooter goes to the future and the past, there's the golden spatula, which we can't quite reach at the moment. There we go. And then over this way, you are kidding me right now. Jump, jump, spin. That is such a tight little jump you gotta make. I mean, luckily it doesn't make you take damage, but it's still tough. And what's going on down this way? There's just a purple one you can get. Might as well take it. That's 50 of them, after all. Whoa, come on. Nice. And what will this button do for us? Make another platform fall, of course. But what about this one? There it goes. And that made us go full circle. And it made that one fall. But the question still for me is how do you get up there? I'm really not sure. It might be something we have to come back to. But now we should be able to flip this back over like that. So I guess there was no reason to flip that one in the first place. Oh my. Let's get rid of this guy and his friends. I can't quite reach him. Oh no, oh no. Don't hit me with that thundercloud. I have actually not seen this yet. Oh, you know what? I could have just done this move. I didn't, because I'm silly. But no taken. And what will that button do? That's raising all of the water. Whoa. So I guess if we, instead of go straight for the golden spatula, let's go to the right, and we can reach that one area now, I think. Seems like it, at the least. Gotta move quick if I don't want these pufferfish to get me. Or I can just do this. Oh no, this is, oh, that's so tricky. It's so hard to tell what's going on, but we made it! Awesome, that was so tough. Okay, so let's let all of that, ex that stuff explode right there. Yeah, we're over 4,000 with the shiny sparklies, whatever they're supposed to be. Were we supposed to be Patrick? Oh no, well I guess we weren't, we don't need to be. Boom, that got him. Yeah, and then we just get this right here. And then there's another sock right down that way I never saw. Okay, well now's my chance, I guess. Oh no, the water's raising, the water's raising. Ah, ha ha, no wait. Wait, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We can just stay here. Can't believe I missed this sock before, but I'm not, not gonna go on without it. Boy, okay, I got glad it. To have this back. Okay, so actually, if we get taken out, this might warp me back to the checkpoint, which honestly would be quite helpful. So there we go, two socks in a row. Wait, where are we now? Ah, oh, no, we're back here. Darn. Okay, so there we go. There's our golden spatula. And that is trophy earned super spatula seeker. And this this uh, box, I'm guessing, sends us back to the beginning. Yes, it does. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that too much for right now. But good to know it's there. Actually, maybe we should. If there's the ice block here, that means I can turn a lot of stuff into ice and maybe get to something else. Is there some other secret around here maybe? How many, uh, there are 11 socks in total to find. So I wouldn't be surprised if there were more that I missed. Or maybe even a spatula. So let's pick that up. Toss it into the water. That didn't work. Try again. Ooh, up we go. All right and give that a toss. And the whole thing is gonna be icy. The thing is, is that, what does that really do for me around here? I don't know. I don't see anything. Aha, here we go, here we go. Come on, almost there. Ooh, Got it. I don't see any others around here, so I'm going to assume that's it. That is tough to get to in time, though, for sure. Hey, what just happened? I don't know. Um, So, I guess we'll keep playing as Patrick for right now. You never know. You never know with this game. But I think that's gonna be good enough. Let's keep moving and travel to the Gulagoon Pier, which should be where the uh, ending of the lighthouse thing is gonna be. Or the, yeah, it was sort of like a lighthouse thing with the lifeguard. Oh, wow, no, 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 not quite. So this is like a proper pier with like amusement rides and stuff. Awesome, I like that. Yeah, I don't know the episodes that have this. Oh, and there's Mr. Krabs, but first, I'm gonna explode that. I'll probably switch to SpongeBob real quick. Might work a little bit better. Hi, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. Or not. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and switch again. <laughs> so we're back to being Patrick. Hi, Mr. Krabs, again. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. <laughs> is that all he had to say? <laughs> Pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no-good robot, I'll give you a big reward. 
I just love this idea that Mr. Carver's like, SpongeBob, I need you I need you to tell Patrick to come to the Goo Lagoon Pier. Specifically so I can tell him to go away because it's closed. I know that's not what it was supposed to be, but it's really funny. Anyways, let's go ahead and get some of this. I am, oh actually, oh wait, can I maybe, boom, do that. Pretty that did not work the way I wanted it to. What happened to the other guy? I don't know. I just wanted, I wanna stun you. <laughs> Why aren't you letting me do that? Can I pick him up? No. It, yeah, it just won't let me stun them. So, can't break that. That's a little unfortunate, whatever. But I can, uh, uh, try to do that. There we go, get him out of here. And now that watermelon is stuck. That's much better. So with this being all closed, I think I'm supposed to pick this up and give it a toss over that way, right? No? Huh. What exactly am I supposed to be doing then? I actually don't know. I'll get rid of these guys again. It doesn't really do much because still can't move forward. Isn't this weird? Yeah, that's definitely not gonna work. Maybe I could just throw it at the ticket booth. I might be overthinking this. Aha! There we go. Problem solved. And I guess it's gonna open up all this too. Oh, nice! No, we know the Ferris wheel. I was gonna say we can ride that. Oh, we might still be able to. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we're just going this way for now. All right, Patrick, let's go on one of the rides, even though it might be a bit of a safety hazard. Let's destroy this too. Getting that out of there might be a good idea. Ooh, a present to everyone. Yeah. So what will this get me besides a bunch of sparklies? I, I guess there might be something at the bottom. So I guess we should be looking for that. Oh my. Just trying to grab all the shinies while I can. Shinies, sparklies, whatever they're supposed to be. I don't think they're really much more than the cloud formations you see in the sky. And that's really it, okay. I don't see anything else around here, so I guess there really wasn't a sock to find. That's a bit surprising, to be honest. Whoa, this thing is teetering over. Okay, so back over this way then. What else do we have going on around here? There is, ooh, I can get down that way and freeze the entire ocean, it seems. I'll have to figure that out sooner or later. Wakatiki. All right, let's see how this goes. Do I go in there? I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I can. <laughs> Is this cheating? I don't know. Let's work it out quite well. Ready, boom, boom. Wow, this gives me a lot of sparklies too. That was awesome. And we get a sock for that one. Imagine going to the, you, you the carnival. Out there all alone? <laughs> and winning a game, and what you get is Patrick's old sock. Who thought of that? Anyways, anything over this way not looking like it. Could I do it again and just get more sparklies? I can do it again, but none more pop up. Okay, gotcha. Let's get rid of this guy if we can. And the timer's still going on. There's a golden spatula over there too. So that's probably how we get it. Hello. Uh, whoa, watch it. And I guess that might be the best way to explode him. There we go. <laughs> the timer is still going down. Coral candy, that doesn't sound too good. It'd be very crunchy. And it doesn't really matter what this two things I want to think. There's nobody in it. Okay. So is there too much more I can do here in Teacup Madness besides get a bunch of sparklies? I'm not sure. I'm trying my best, this is making me dizzy. Oh boy. There we go, I got them all. That really didn't do too much. That's fine, better to figure it out now, right? So what's going on over this way? Whoa, yet another golden spatula. Hmm. I wonder what the best way to get that one is. I gotta keep in mind that it's there for now, and we'll just sort of keep moving. Whoa, look at this, oh, this is ski ball I love ski ball cool. Uh, SpongeBob needs the bubble ball power to play the ski ball game. So we don't have that one, that's sort of a shame. And there's a little bus stop here if we do need to change our character. There's another checkpoint. I wonder when we get that bubble ball move, because now we need it for a sock in uh, Jellyfish Fields or whatever it is, and now we need it also here. And what is this about? Oh, you know what? We gotta pick this up and then toss it at that guy, I think. Out of my way, out of my way! Oh, 
Watch it, watch it, watch it. Uh, toss. <laughs> it worked. That was crazy. And what did that get us? Another sock. Up to 16 now. So how many socks were in total? So, yeah, I guess we were just only looking for two more socks. Ready? Boom. Gotcha. That sent him flying. So waiting right here. This thing is moving like crazy. What makes it move that way, I wonder? Is it just the tides of the ocean? Of the Goo Lagoon? And have we been here? Toss a clam. Huh. And it prizes games. Don't you mean like game prizes? Weird. Uh, hello. Madam Fishy Fortune Teller. Ooh, that's fancy. And then we have to pay 2,200 shiny objects for this. So we're back down to 3,000 again. <laughs> Come on. And where will that lead? We'll find out in a moment. Wanted to make sure we're not running away from anything else. Like this, is this a slide? Whoa, here we go! We're sliding as Patrick this time. I don't know how we were sliding so upwards like that, boy. but oh, so that's not what I want. Oh boy, watch out. I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh, we're about to get taken out. That's a problem. Oh no, dodge these guys. And almost there, jump, jump. Yeah, super combo. So that wasn't too much there. Yummy. Just a That's bunch of sparklies. But that was fun, for sure. And let's get another checkpoint, I guess. And what's this way? This is like a whole different direction than whatever that is. I don't know which one we should do first. Oh, you know what? This one's sort of a dead end. I think there's a, um, a little needle thing there. Or hook, I think it is. Whoop! Oh no, oh no, that wasn't good. Oh, so that's how we get this golden spatula. Gotcha. Well. Maybe not from here. Will this work with Patrick? It won't, it won't, no! Oh, that doesn't count either. So I gotta switch back to SpongeBob and then hop on uh, the hook. Okay, so let's try this again. And now we can get this, no problem really. And we don't really need to worry too much about the uh, other stuff, but there we go, a spatula, hooray! So how many spatulas are left then? Because we know one at the bottom, and what is this? Clean out bumper boats. And then we have not received that task. So, and the connected towers will do once we leave the caves again, whenever that might be. So we're really doing a good job getting all the golden spatulas so far. Where is this one supposed to lead me? Am I just supposed to bounce my way down? That's a little weird. But I'm a little curious to see where it's gonna go. Is it just gonna stop? Huh, you'd think you would just jump off of it, but is it still lowering? It's hard to tell. No, it's not, okay. Well, there we go. So I guess it means we only have one more place left to go, and that's over this way, where we have to do something else as Patrick again. Okay, there is another bus stop there, thank goodness. I didn't like all the backtracking I had to do. So let's go ahead and swap characters, back over to Patrick. And we will grab this and give it a toss. Hmm. Oh boy. Ooh, again, again. Nice. So we're doing well so far. I like all these bumper cars. Oh, they electrocute me. That's not good. Get rid of this guy. Bumper boat's cleared, so that should be Mr. Krabs happy with everything, right? Wait, a whistle. Oh, and there is another box. So I guess I'll take this back to the beginning so that we can talk to Mr. Krabs and maybe get a gold spatula from him. Is, is that is how it your works? Reward. Yep, all right then. Thank you for the gold oh, spatula. Boy, oh, boy. And we're not quite done in this area. There's still at least one more thing left to get. Like I said, it's on the bottom way down there. Don't exactly know the best way to get to it, but I think we're about to figure that out as we lower ourselves. Yep, I already see it. But what is, oh, okay. Uh, use Patrick Teeter-Totter, or use the Patrick Teeter-Totter to go to the island in Gulagoon Beach. I'll be doing that soon, but definitely not yet because I would like to do this first. There's a checkpoint. And this might be a bit tough, but all we really have to do is that, skate across as fast as we can. I think doing the belly move actually helps us go a little bit faster. That was pretty good. I'm trying to keep an eye out to see if there's any other like points for getting socks. I like how it literally does freeze the entire ocean, the entire lagoon. All right, ready, and got it. So it'd actually be faster when it comes to getting back instead of just riding the ice all the way back. We should probably just fall into the water and get taken out, if that works. No, does it not? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's sort of picky, so I guess I do have to go all the way back. 
Alright, might as well figure that out then. But yeah, we can get there pretty quick. But yeah, now all we have to do is get the final gold spatula, and we're good. So as long as we can get as many gold spatulas as possible, that's all I really want. I don't know if this is gonna work, if this was a good idea. Will this reset the timer? Oh, it will, okay, cool. We're fine then. See, I wonder if you could maybe do that and get out super far. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Anyways, we don't need to worry about it. We are just gonna rush all the way over here. <laughs> I love how far he just flies in the air like that. Patrick is so graceful. This level's been very long, but very fun. Honestly, the le levels are a lot more jam-packed than I would have expected, so that's pretty cool. We've gotta keep going. Um, and here we are, so I guess we have to switch back to SpongeBob. Ooh, what is that about? I guess that's how we get back. Good stuff. So quickly, let's switch back to SpongeBob, uh, just like that. And we are just going to, first off, destroy this guy, and then this thing. Would this be the right direction? I suppose not. Um, why is the button not working? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it was just being a little picky. And that should get rid of this guy. See ya. Serves up. Okay, so can I get over to those boxes? I guess not. We <laughs> are being sent all the way back, right in front of Larry. Hey, buddy. Congratulations, SpongeBob. You're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spatula. Awesome. Yeah, that was all the uh, sunscreen in those boxes, I guess. So there we go, golden spatula number 29. Doing really good so far, and that should be every golden spatula in the Goo Lagoon. So we did a great job in today's episode. Like I said, we'll one day return with um, more abilities so that we can get more of these socks. Uh, but yeah, we've done a great job with most things. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can't get any more at Bikini Bottom. I don't think there is, but yeah, I guess we can just uh, travel back there for right now. That's probably the quickest way to do it. So let's get to it. Take the taxi to Bikini Bottom. Next episode, we'll be going to, I think it was called um, Poseidon. So I guess it's something with Poseidon. So that'll be really fun. But yeah, that was, that was great. We haven't run into as many boss fights as I was expecting. We've only done one so far, but I'm sure as we keep pushing forward, we'll find more cool stuff soon. And here we are. So where is Mr. Krabs? He's right here. We don't have enough for him, actually. Darn, all that entire level, I was earning up uh, different shinies, and I still was not able to get even halfway there, just because there were so many things that required my, my shiny. So I'll have to keep up with it, and hopefully we'll get there soon. But I do have enough socks for well, Patrick. SpongeBob, you found some. Now yep. they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't so, speak Italian. So he just says the same thing again. Boom, there is our 30th golden spatula. So the only one we haven't gotten was one that required, I think, a SpongeBob ability that we didn't have. Um, back here, come back to the, with, with the cruise bubble, which we don't have. Uh, and we got as many uh, things as we could. Now we're going to be doing the same thing over this way. This is the Poseidon. Now this one I think I remember from one of the movies. I, I, I don't know. I'm sure that as we get farther into the game, there'll be some more obscure SpongeBob stuff that I've just forgotten over the years. But hey, it's Poseidon. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. <laughs> My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. Oh, my. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Yay! And his challenger. A huge Whoa. robot shaped like a squirrel. It's a giraffe. No, it's Sandy. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Oh my gosh, so it's just a battle. Okay, wait for the bounce. Um, okay, if you say so. So we got a giant robot Sandy like for robot some reason. Can I jump on her head? Robo. No, uh, now what do I do? Okay, so I could have attacked her during the bounce, but. Looks like the oh, you know what? Left itself wait, oh, there we go. Right, nice. Reef. Oh gosh, keep running, keep running. Sandy's using her karate chops against me, and then slam, boom, the right again. taking a beating out there. Cool, so you see Handy, uh, Sandy's health in the bottom left. Oh boy, just gotta keep running. Is this just like a Sponge boss Bob fight arena though? Are we gonna but just fight different bosses here? 
Oh man. Whoa. Major destruction. <laughs> okay, so bounce and throw the head. So I guess at this point, I guess we have to do that once we get bounced again. We'll have to see, but phase two of Sandy's fight. Oh, watch it. Oh my. Okay, come on, come on, come on. And then slam, boom, like that. We got to pick it up. Hold on, hold on. Give it back, give it back. Uh, press circle to pick up, and then where do we throw it? I don't know. Do we just, okay, we throw it at this. What a boom. shocking takedown by Patrick. Yeah, I can't even say any witty one-liners. This guy steals them from me right out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm not as witty as he is, though. I'm just trying to take some extra credit. Okay, let's keep going. Jump. What is with that picture of Patrick? Oh, it's with Sandy. Yeah, that, that one episode where she's angry. Boom. Wait, that didn't work. Looks like Patrick oh, no, did. That's mine. Here. Yes, we do. Pick it up and give it a toss. Oh, Boom. nice flying uh, head. Thing move by Patrick. Indeed. All right, come on, let's keep going. That's a pretty intense way to start off today's episode. I like the Poseidon so far. There we go. Of course, Poseidon was a character that was in some of the episodes, but I'm pretty sure he got his start in the main first the ever SpongeBob movie, head. if I remember correctly. By the way, we're picking this up. Stuff around. Wow. Yep. I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh boy. So what's going on now? Bounce and bash the head. Oh boy. So once we get bounced, I'll slam back down and we'll sort of try to figure that out then. Spring, the oh my, here we go. Can't jump too high, but not too low. Ouch. First I'm taking damage though. Come on, we can do this. They're gonna do the booty bounce again. We're gonna bounce That's right back down. Bash opportunity if ever oh, I've seen oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, Boom, nice. Come on, keep running. Watch it, don't karate chop me. All right. Ah, oh, see, that's too high. That's a little awkward, I but like a new I think we'll be okay. Come on now. You're gonna do it again. That's a bubble bash opportunity. All right, there I it is. One. Nice move by Sponge Okay, they're gonna attack this one more time. Dropping the elbow, over. wow. So let's try this one more time here. Ouch. Oh my gosh, that's tough. Maybe I'm not supposed to jump at all. Like a little a weird. Either way, it doesn't matter much, because we're about to slam down. Did that work? Yes, it did. And got it. Is down and staying down. What an upset here at the Poseidon. SpongeBob and Patrick win. <laughs> that was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula. Oh. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Wow. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Aww. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. <laughs> so maybe we can come back here at some other point and... Uh... Get some more moves, but yeah, we just unlocked a brand new move for doing that. Apparently the bubble bowling, which I know we can do at least in one spot to get a sock over at the jellyfish field. So maybe we'll go over there just to try that out a little bit. I'm not really sure. And I think there was another spot as well um, in the the pier hey, last episode. In. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Mm-hmm. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. <laughs> SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Aw. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're <laughs> the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. All right, well, Plankton's still pulling some tricks, but I guess that's what open up, opens up this area, so that's pretty cool. Um, so let's talk to him Not again. thinking. Not thinking. Not thinking. Hurry up, I've got big plans to proceed with. Okay, well, that's interesting. 
So we can uh, tippy toe around maybe and destroy these. There we go. Because we still have plenty more of these sparklies to get. So is Mr. Krabs and stuff still over this way? I guess not anymore. Oh, that's nice though. They actually give us um, a little speed ball here so we can catch up to some things. So I guess that's why we weren't able to get everything roll, in Bikini roll, Bottom roll, before. Sponge. It's because we still had more of it to open up. So I didn't realize that before. That's actually a pretty cool, nice little touch. So definitely, I think we'll spend the rest of today's episode exploring more Bikini Bottom, getting some more sparklies. It shines. Shady Shoals Rest Home. Oh, this is where um, Mermaid Man stays. What does that say? Uh, to enter the rest home. Is that a level though? That's what I'm a little curious about. I don't want to enter a level. Cause there's Mermelair, Sand Mountain, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, Chum Bucket. Okay. So I don't think it is. So let's go into it. I just don't want to go into a level right now. We can explore the different buildings and stuff that I'm fine with. Uh, but yeah, let's try this out and see what's going on. This is where, like I said, Mermaid wow, and uh, Barnacle, or Mer, and Barnacle yeah. Boy, <laughs> my heroes. Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goody! Ah, what's happening? I don't know, somebody just rolled through the camera. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? So I think we'll go to the Mermelair because I know that that is an, its own thing. Um, is that here? I don't know. Okay, so I want to talk. He said over by the couch. Couch is right here. We'll be going to the Mermelair in its own episode though, because I'm pretty sure that'll be its own full level to explore, so that'll be awesome. Really looking forward to it. I can watch this TV. This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor Plankton has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my- And now back to your regular programming. <laughs> Retirement home girls gone wild. Okay, well that's interesting. Hello. Enter the Mermel Air. No, not yet. We'll be doing that soon. Like I said, that'll be its own episode, I'm sure. Uh, there's plenty left to explore though around here, so that's what I want to focus on. Hello. Is the TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going fast. <laughs> Why are we so close to him? All right then, so I'll keep that in mind. Let's get out of here, but first let's grab some extra uh, shinies, sparklies, whatever they're supposed to be. Getting that super mega combo. Not too much in it for us, but hey, I think I need like 9,000 in total, so we still have a while to go. But that's still pretty cool to get out of the way. Uh, but yeah, I was really having a lot of fun with that, that Sandy boss fight. I'm really excited to see if we do more of that in the future. Will there be other giant robot characters then? I don't know. Can we go to the chum bucket as well? I'm curious about a couple of things here, so for sure I wanna see, but for right now, oh, you guys are back, huh? There we go, well that's nice. Let's wait for that guy to get back there and then take a swing. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Hmm, and there's Sandy's house over this way. I like how that leaving gives us a bunch more of these things to destroy. But yeah, let's see, Sandy's house. Yeah, Sandy's tree house. Is this its own level? I really don't know. If it is, we'll just sort of leave and we'll come back some other time. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking. Oh my gosh. Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a tree house chock full of robots and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your miss. Oh boy, she is not happy. Are you ready, kids? Hold on. Um, Once again, I don't know. I don't think this is, like, oh, 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 continue for right now. <laughs> Poor SpongeBob, set. Go, hold on. <laughs> so yeah, Sandy's uh, beach isn't like, or Sandy's dome isn't here. That's all I'm really worried about. Like the Chum Bucket Lab is another thing. Mermelair, that's what I care about. Cause you know, we want to have, you know, that way if anybody's looking at these videos for a guide on an area, we can just sort of figure it out that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> that way it's not confusing. Anyways, definitely destroy that. So we're just trying to destroy everybody within the time zone, the time limit. We can do that. Oh boy, what do we got over this way though? More of them. I wish we could actually play as Sandy with this because she's sort of the best butt kicker. There we go. Oh man, robots everywhere. Got the little hamster wheel. Okay, Sandy has to keep fitting here. I just, poor SpongeBob, he's like drying out. Sponge. Uh, so are we going like up? No? 
Who are we missing then? Oh, there's a couple more over this way. How did I miss this? I don't know. Boom. Okay, watch it. Got it. Got it. Oh man. And nice. All That's right, all of it. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Well, we do get a golden spatula for it. Thank you. We're still drying out. <laughs> Poor SpongeBob. That is so creepy. Stop your yapping and let's get robot trapping. Well, we already did. I wish I could help you more with this. All right then, so with that done, what else can we do around here? Maybe there's still more to explore. SpongeBob is drying out, but I think he's fine for us to explore. I'm gonna destroy I love some of that. Presents. Me too. Okay, grab some of that. There we go. And what about this way? I can't do too much with this, whoa. That's a little weird. Okay then, yeah, there's not really too much to Sandy's dome then. Okay, we're fine. So let's get that all out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me, Sandy. Oh, that was, that was Patrick looking in. <laughs> Whoops, I could have said something to him, I'm sh him, I'm sure. But we'll worry about it later. So yeah, what is next? We definitely wanna go into the chum bucket. It looks like we can't go into the chum bucket lab without starting a level, so I'll leave that be. But seems like there might, th th there's probably something to do with the chum bucket, which means- Let me teach you oh. how to bowl a bubble. Press sure. this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Okay, let's give it a go. So we can just throw that and boom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Bubble bowling is an important skill to master. Remember to press this button. I won't forget, Bubble Buddy. I absorb information like a sponge. <laughs> I would hope. So yeah, we can do that right here. Wow, it goes through all of them. That's so cool. Entering rock bottom. Oh, that's cool, so that'll be its own episode for sure. Over this way, what is this about? Can't quite hit that from here, but there is a little bowling pin. Aha, here we go. So you can see that raises, oh no, no, no. And what'll that do? 30 seconds to do something. Get up this way. Oh my, is it just to ring the bell? Or, Flash, there we go. Wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. Flash, so I guess we just like got some extra health breeze. for that. Oh, there's more though, there's way more. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna have to redo it. Okay, that's fine. What if I just did that? Will that reset the timer? I might just have to wait for it to go down. But yeah, you can see that the bowling ability is quite useful. Okay, here we go again. So this time go the other direction and see, oh no, 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 no. I gotta wait, gotta wait. This is where Sandy is super useful. I wish I could play as her right now. There we go. Oh no, 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 wait, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, the, the angling of this is a little confusing. But we got it, we got it. And there's a golden spatula up here. Come on now, come on. And uh, I made it, yeah, 33 of them in total now. So that's really good. Sand Mountain. So yeah, that's another place we'll be going for sure. I don't remember Sand Mountain from any of the episodes, but. There we go, get a bunch more sparklies. We're up to 40, th or 4,400, that's pretty cool. And, nope, okay, can't go over there. Oh, hello, here's Mr. Krabs. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got built? Okay, so he's gonna say the same thing, so I guess that's just Mr. Krabs' new location. Interesting. And also, you can see that these guys, I think, yeah, I can hit them with this, that's good. There we go. See, sometimes it bounces and sometimes it doesn't. A little weird. But then this is of the next area that has the chum bucket and crusty crab and stuff. That's so cool. So that's probably gonna be the Poseidon again. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff going on for sure. Only one more little area to explore, and that is the BBPD, I guess the Bikini Bottom Police Department. Let's take a look. Into the police station. See, this is actually not what I was expecting to do in today's episode, but still very cool. So what's going on with this place? You know, obviously the police department. Uh, this is the robot viewer. Step on the metal square in front of the viewer to activate it. You can use the viewer to read the case files of captured robots. Oh, really? So this is like where we can get different stats on all the different robots. I'm sure we'll take a deeper look at this once we get them all found out and collected, including Plankton. Interesting. Um, and that's really all you can do here. Okay. Got a little... Uh, candy machine here, but can't do anything with it. And what about you? Hello, sir. It shines. Nothing, okay. So actually a really basic room. Maybe more will be unlocked here soon. 
Who knows? But hey, I think that's about everything I can do here in Bikini Bottom for right now. Next episode, we'll go to new areas and start exploring them. But I guess in the meantime, I have this bowling ability. I would love to try it for some of the areas to get some extra socks. The problem is that I don't want to explore the entire level and then realize I have to come back later for other things as well. So maybe I'll just go to the one area I know of that's pretty close to the beginning of the level in um, Jellyfish Fields. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we can teleport anywhere around. So actually, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So we just need to go here for right now. And I'm not gonna be getting all of the socks in the level right now. I figure that later on in the game, we can re-explore areas and try to find all the socks and just sort of get that finished. But for right now, let's keep moving with all this. I'm definitely glad to get a new ability though. That's very useful. Just so let's try to get this a robot. Side. Boom, not, nice stuff there. So I, I like it. Opening presents. And we can also spend this time to get some extra sparklies because we need them all right. Like I said, we need 9,000 for the next one. We just haven't quite gotten that yet. I feel like a new sponge. But it's very useful to have five health instead of four. That's a really good reward for exploring. I like it. Okay, so over this way, got a good couple more. If we could get to like five or six thousand here, that'd be pretty good. With the, the mild amount of exploring I plan on doing. Seeing how I know this area pretty well now. But it was right over this way, right? That the bowling thing was. Pretty sure. Boom, gotcha. So I'm not gonna go too far out of my way, but you know, if it's along the way, I might as well try it, but I think we're coming up on it. There we go, got him, and got him. Might as well get rid of this guy too. Take yeah. that! Well, actually, no, that's not it over there. So where exactly is it? Am I getting the areas mixed up? I guess I am. Okay, I'll I'll look for it a little bit then, and I'll be back once I find it. Okay, so I finally found it. It's actually after the bungee jumping hook area. I guess I just sort of got confused all on the way. I was looking all over for it. I was like, where did it go? I swear it was in this level. It was, so I was just being silly. Anyways, trying to get as much extra sparklies as we can while we're making our way over here. This is this cool little bowling area, and we just stand here and go for it. Yeah, not bad. Let's try to get a couple of the pins out. Can we get it in three, three rolls? Yes, we can, all right, not bad. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Indeed, I guess it's only two rolls that you're allowed in bowling, right? Or is it three? I can't remember. Either way, I wanted to go to one other area as well that we were at just last episode. It was, um, which one? Um, downtown, no, not downtown Bikini Bottom. Which one was it? It wasn't Goo Lagoon, was it? Or maybe it was. Yeah, it was, okay, so right around here, yeah. There should be another bowling area, and then we'll be all wrapped up for today's episode. I just wanted to sort of try that and experience it a little bit, right? Um, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, stay tuned because we will be going to a new area next episode. I'm sorry this episode's a little short, but hey, there's plenty left to go up the game though, so <laughs> that's fine. Hmm, yeah, right over that way. I'm pretty sure that's a bowling area. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, oh no, SpongeBob! Okay, be careful. Yeah, this thing is a little ridiculous. We just need to roll us over this way. And this might be the wrong ability, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I know that there's another ability in uh, Jellyfish Floods that we need to get. Uh, or, we, yeah, we need to get to actually get another sock there. The Bubble Bowl ability for Ski Ball. Okay, so here we go, doing some Ski Ball. And our goal is to get it into the center one. Oh my, <laughs> that's the worst possible thing we could do there. Or well, I guess the ones in the corner might be good too. There we go. Ah. Uh, so I wonder if the longer we charge like it, the, the faster it goes. Oh! Like come on, come on! Whoop! Ah, darn. So yeah, definitely, the longer we do that, the farther it charges. Ah, oh, come on. It's almost in there and then it bounces around. Oh my gosh. It just bounces around the rim of it. You're kidding me, every time. I'm going super up there. Come on. I could, I was sort of cheating it there, but I got 10 points, look at me. I don't know, where am I gonna go? How many points did I have to get? Maybe I should read the sign. That, that one's a little tough, isn't it? As long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. You go, SpongeBob. Uh, SpongeBob needs the bumble, bubble bowl power to play the skee-ball game. I know that, but I'm trying to find out how many points I need or whatever. Oh, that was good, nice. Okay, try that again just on this side. Ah, darn. Let me back it up a little bit, because he naturally moves forward when he charges it. Ah, so close. Oh, not too bad, 30 points. Bolo-rama. Yeah. Come on, come on. That was bad. Let's just not fall in, you know? Come on, come on, come on, whoop. Oh, oh, no. It's so tough. 
The ball's so bouncy. No, not happening. Try it on this side. Okay, well that's at least a little bit better. That's 20 points. How many points am I supposed to get? I mean, it's fun, but it's also like a little weird. Oh my. You'd think that would have gone in. It feels like it's not possible for some of those farther along ones, but there it goes. That was good, but still not all the points we need, apparently. Yeah, it's, it's like the points are a little bit arbitrary if we don't know how many we're supposed to get. Oh, there's another 50. Yeah, really, what is it expecting from me here? I mean, maybe, maybe this doesn't give me a sock. Maybe that's just, well, what? Where did that one come from? Maybe that's just sort of the thing. Maybe this is just ski ball and it doesn't even give me a, a, a sock at all. So this really must not give you anything in terms of socks. It's just a little mini game. Well, I guess now is the time to experience it because I wasn't gonna do it any other time. Um, weird, for sure. We're heading back into the Shady Shoals rest home here at Bikini Bottom because we are going to go into the lair for uh, Barnacle Boy and oh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle oh, Boy. I always checkers, get it mixed up. The king of non-contact sports. All right, so as you can see, we got this over here, Mermaid Man. Enter the Mermaid Lair. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> he just stretches in there. Okay, so yeah, we'll be checking out the Mermaid Lair today. I don't know how big of a level this is. Hopefully, it's a pretty good one. Um, but it seems cool. I remember the Mermaid Lair from some of the episodes, especially with the the one. There's a one villain I forget the name of. You have like a blue and red color scheme. Either way, we can see now. Yeah, there's a whole set of things to do here. So we should be good exploring this in today's episode. Uh, oh, no, they are over there. So let's figure things out. This is such a cool level idea. I would you not have thought of this myself. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if we can. Oh, no. Oh, why is that not working? <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Oh, here they are. Hi, guys. <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Aw. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... <laughs> All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick said on my old ones. Oh no. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not to the doctor's office. Away! <laughs> Well, I hope they have fun of the doctors. Do they have anything else Go to say? Go see the computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. All right, got it. He doesn't say anything. I could talk to him, but he just doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we got some more of the, the hammer robots. Can't take it. It's not just any sponge. It's super sponge soaking up crime. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't step on the red squares of the disco floor. Gotcha. Fresh, okay, so like let's get to it. Breeze. Try to be careful. It, it makes some very not so disco noises out of there. I don't know, a little weird. What's going on down this way? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we got some bowling stuff. Ready for this? Whoa. Can I hit it? Oh my gosh, that was way too far. That was not far enough. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, right over it. <laughs> I always like this ability, but it's a little tough. There we go. We got it. So that should be a lot more uh, sparklies for us. Thank you, up to 6,000. We need to get to 9,000 by the end of today's episode. I think we can do it, but still we gotta give it our best bet. Awesome. And then over this way, might wanna explode these guys first and then run off. There we go. What does this sign say? 
Uh, these poles are power generators. Don't touch them or the energy beam. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Checkpoint. Whoa, look at this guy. He's huge. What is that supposed to be like a, a replica SpongeBob? Oh my. Hey! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Poor SpongeBob. Did he throw a boomerang? What was that? I don't know. Oh my gosh. I don't like it. Uh, this robot is named Arf. <laughs> Use the bubble bowl to defeat him. I will try my best. And it's a good thing we got the bubble bowl first before going to this level. Oh gosh. Um, well, actually, I don't think we could have gotten to this level without the bubble bowl. Yeah, I guess we got it for defeating Robo Sandy, didn't we? Okay, that just hurts. Anyways, he's flying away now. That's good at the least. <laughs> this is a little scary. I don't like this guy. Okay, over this way. Got it. Whoa, okay, watch it. So they don't even really. I mean, it's hard to throw the bubble bowl at him when he's up on a ledge like that, but these guys just sort of jump at you and explode in a way that's tough to manage. You don't really want to attack him. You don't really even need to use the bubble bowl. You can just walk up and hit him. Hold on. Maybe that was <laughs> not worth it. So did we like actually destroy him? I guess so. Interesting. Let's do that. Nice. I like how the bubble bowl is a one hit takedown. Is there anything up there? Not really, okay. Hmm, but what about that? Can I make that jump? I don't know if that's right, but also I don't see any other way to get over to it, so I guess we should try. Um, no. All right, ah, oh, now I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Okay, so uh, what does this sign say? Oh, we can spin this thing, can't we? Use the bubble to, to turn paddle wheels. Bowl on one side of this paddle to make a turn. So we know what to do now. Obviously, if we hit it like that, that would have moved it right over like that, but we can keep pushing it and get this underwear for sure. Can I bowl at it? Would that work? No, I okay. Feel like a new spot. And I guess they're back over there. <laughs> I wonder if I could get rid of them like this. Ooh, ooh, There's nothing nice. Like the smell of bubbles in the morning. <laughs> I like it. Smells like victory. Okay, over this way then. A little bit more, no, no. Oh, so you can only bowl the way you're facing. That sort of makes sense. And now that it's over here, we can figure this out, so. Yep, there we go, whoa! And that's all we needed. <laughs> that's for sure. So let's figure this out again. And then again, we just gotta knock it all the way back over because I don't think there's anything else around here we have to worry about. I do see another golden underpants, so that should up uh, SpongeBob's total health. Why is this not working? There it goes. And then one more time. Okay, let's go. Hmm, so there's another checkpoint. I do see this little bowling spot right there. Did that work? I don't think so. There it goes, whoa! Whoa, we get a free boat? Oh yeah, this is the invisible boat. Isn't that a thing in one of the episodes? Maybe, I can't remember. Um, so what did that do? Ooh. Uh, the bubble bowl can also be used to press buttons, as we just found out. Very cool. So let's keep it moving. We got these guys to take down now. Hiya. Ow. <laughs> that didn't turn out so well. Oh, you know what? I saw the goldenness of the spatula. I thought it was the underwear. Never mind. It's actually just a golden spatula. All right, there we go. So 34 golden spatulas and our first one of this area. So let's keep it moving because I don't think there's anything else we can get around here. Uh, enter to enter the Mermelair main chamber. All right, so, so far so good. A bit of a tough level, but I'm sure we'll figure it out and get a little bit better with the bowling bubble as we go along. But yeah, this is actually one of the coolest areas we've explored the so far. Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh, I guess I'm back from the doctor's appointment. All right, well. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! <laughs> All right, well, I guess Squidward is here. Now, I'm a little confused by that, though. Apparently, Squidward 
knows a lot about computers, enough so for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy to tell him to do it? Does he work in like IT or something? I'm a little confused. Hey, maybe he does. Anyways, we're gonna bowl this over here. At some point we can get Patrick, oh yeah, with the bus, but how would we get him across? Weird, I'm not really sure. But for right now, yeah, we have a checkpoint right over here. That's that's a little odd, I'm not really sure about that. But we could switch over to probably Patrick then, I'd have to assume. Yes, we can. And there's something over there too. Lots of secrets, that's probably what Patrick gets launched over to. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to come back and figure that out. I think that keeping with SpongeBob for right now might be the best bet, and we'll just try to explore the level as much as we can, because there's a lot going on here. Uh, hello, Mermaid Man. You're my hero. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? He's always been yellow. <laughs> okay, so I guess we have to spend 2,300 shiny objects here. And it's another Patrick thing. So we'll figure that out in just a second then, seeing how that's relevant, I guess. So we gotta remember not step on the red ones. Wow, whoa, 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 going back, going forward. Oh, I don't trust this. It's like, it's weird, it's like a weird Simon Says. Did that do anything? Oh, you know what it is. I know what it is. We have to get Patrick once again to go across. So I guess there's actually a lot of Patrick stuff to do here. Alrighty then. Why can we knock over his TV or anything? I guess not. So yeah, switch back to Patrick. And we can do a lot of this stuff as him. Oh yeah, it's back like that again. I'm a little worried I've got that the- a job for somebody who can throw things. That's Patrick. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, 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 the throw, throw, throw. No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. <laughs> you might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. All right, well, we'll give it a try. Is the television fixed yet? All you have to do is throw one throw fruit into each of those funnel machines. All right, so we'll get the toughest one out of the way first. I'm a little worried the watermelon won't last, but I guess we'll find out. Oh boy. There we go, it's so weird. Come on, come on, come on, throw it, throw it. There we go. So there's the first one done. Now it's toss us off the side, I guess. So now we just gotta do the other two. Honestly, they're gonna be way easier, I think. Can we just walk across this? Oh my, oh my, oh now I see the issue. I didn't realize we were gonna be all tilty. Ah, okay, we did it. Wow, that was scary. Okay, heading back now. Now this one has to be the easiest one, right? I don't know, looks can be deceiving now, can't they? Okay, that's just now disappearing. There we go. What's going on with this? Ah! 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 Okay, I went right through the watermelon. That's fine. So there we go, we activated all the buttons, right? Is he gonna be happy with that? Maybe? You did it! Now I can get some sleep. Cool. And that got us a golden spatula, yay! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we already have 35. They're really starting to stack up, it's pretty cool. But we're not quite done with Patrick. We're gonna jump over this way real quick and just sort of see what this does. Whoa, this launches me literally the opposite direction hey, I was expecting. I know you. You're that guy. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, It'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. <laughs> Just start turning those cylinders. So that seems easy. Just throwing them all over, but like what's the catch? What does this do? <laughs> all towers, oh that resets them all, okay. I'm guessing that maybe turning on one of them, either, yeah, flip some of the ones around it. Interesting, so when you flip one, it'll flip the two next to it, adjacent to it. That doesn't seem too bad. I might have already, well, we'll see. If I do this. Woo, up we go. Hmm. 
Because there's how many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. It gets a little confusing like that, doesn't it? It's trying to find the best way to do this. Is a little tricky. But I'll keep chipping away at it. Uh hmm. Because it's just these two. If we could find a way to flip those two, it just, it's possible. For sure it's possible, but it's just tricky. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter if I can just flip them like this, because if afterwards they're all facing the wrong way, I can just re-flip them back over, I think. But that's where it gets a little weird, maybe not. Okay, so I might have solved that. If I do that, now these three are facing, that's basically what I was trying to do, is just push over the three empty faced ones, or the ones that are facing the wrong way, just so that they're three in a row like that, and then finally, boom, got it. That didn't take too long to figure out. All right then, there we go. And with it, I guess I just have to talk to him, I don't wanna reset it, that'd probably be a bad idea. Hey buddy, how you doing? Ah, uh, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Yeah. Here, have a golden spatula. <laughs> Ew, foot bath. Anyways, there's another oh, golden oh, spatula. Oh, well, there we go. So, with that done, uh, let's press this button. One out of four. Okay, I'll be looking for those then, I guess. I don't know if that's the thing for Squidward or something. Uh -oh. Whoa, and we're back. Boom. Whoa, whoa, yeah, I got it! <laughs> I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to get that. Very cool. So we're back here now, but the question is, how can I get over there? Because I don't have the bowling ability as Patrick, so I just can't get over that way. Because there is something to launch Patrick over there. I'm guessing it leads to that. That seems like the most sensical thing. Oh, and then there's another bowling thing right over this way. So you know what? Maybe now's a good time to switch back over to SpongeBob. Yeah. All right, well, that was a lot of fun with Patrick. Okay, the sponge is back. And first thing we're gonna do is bowl over that way. Bridge activated, ooh. It's sort of going the opposite direction, but we can keep up with that. And then there's another uh, bus stop here. Oh, I thought that was closer than what it was. There we go. And you. Oh wow, it actually landed on him. So this is another spot where we can only explore as SpongeBob, because it has that wall jumping area. <laughs> Let's do that, turn that on. And what will that do for us? So it looks like actually not too much I can accomplish here. Maybe these walls will go out. I think I activated that checkpoint though. Did I just cheat it? Could I fall and die and then get back over there real quick? I guess so. Either way, not what we're trying to do right now. We'll come back, but right now, I would like to get this, that, all this. There we go. And we got more bubble bowl on. So, oh, okay, is that the wrong way? <laughs> Let's try this one. Right. Oh, okay, so it lowered a platform for us. I was like, I don't know exactly what that's gonna do. And I guess now, no, okay, does it by itself. Don't fall off. Oh no, not this guy again. Ready? Boom! How did that not get you? It get you. That was just weird. Met the sponginator. And then right over this way, left wall jump activated. That's exactly what I thought. So here's another checkpoint. Not what I wanted. I just want to throw a ball at you. <laughs> so he's trying to fly away. He doesn't fly very far. <laughs> I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. There you go. Awesome. So, so far this level's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Okay. Going back up, maybe. There it goes, just takes a second. Oh my, oh my. Trying to be ready for this guy. Got him. So there's a slide over that way, but more importantly for right now, boom, right wall jump activated. Okay, I think that means that we're good to tr try sliding around with this one. I love the slides in this in this game. This is like one of the most fun things. Brings me back to Mario 64 as well. Oh, that was a good one again. Ow, that was silly. <laughs> Not a good idea. Awesome. I feel like a new sponge. Whoa, and we just kept going. So with that done, I guess we should go back this way. Yeah. Okay. 
just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything, you know? As much as I can. I, I, at the least, I try to get all the golden spatulas in the level. If I miss the socks, I don't think that's too big of a deal, because most of the socks seem like you need to return with different abilities anyways. So I figured that towards the end of the series, we'll come back to all the levels and get all the socks. Anyways, speaking of golden spatulas, we got one right here. Awesome. So there's that. We also get... Oh, one of the boxes. So if In we could order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermel Air. The first one is here. Press the buttons. Got it. When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Ooh. Return here. Got it. Are you listening to me? Listening. Got it. <laughs> okay. Well, we already hit one of them. Here's another one, two out of four. Oh, got a little bit of extra health here, but we don't actually need it. So where does this box lead? This should be the very beginning. Yeah, so if we could find a way to switch to Patrick, that'd be very useful. Anyways, uh, what does this message say? Because honestly, I've explored as much as I can for right now. Uh, press the master shutdown button to lower the bridges to the villain containment system area. So I guess we'll have to continue throughout the Murmur Lair and see if we can't find anything more. Uh, yep. The Murmur Lair security tunnel. So hopefully there are more shutdown buttons this way. If not, I'm a little confused, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Gary, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Murmur Lair. Meow. Oh, you took the elevator. <laughs> oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Meow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. All right, well, very interesting that Gary is here. I don't know, I don't think that the Mermel Lair is very well secure if everybody could just sort of mosey on in. Okay, let's get rid of this guy, first and foremost. And then, boom, just trying to get those guys by the time I land. And we'll sneak over this way and get rid of these two as well. So we're almost back up to where we were before we spent a bunch of uh, sparklies. Only at 5,000 for right now, but it's weird, it's like every chance I get to get a little bit farther with that, I get sent farther back again. I'm working on it, though. Either way, here's the tunnels Gary were ta was talking about. Oh, no. There we go. We made it. We made it. Yeah, I've been trying to be as diligent as I can for this level. It's a bit of a tougher one. The difficulty for the game is definitely stump stepping up a bit. But I think that's fine. Boom! Gotcha. I can't wait for more levels where we play as Sandy. I feel like that hasn't happened as, as, as much as I've wanted so far. But I'm sure it'll change over time. Oh, boy. Let's keep it going. I didn't miss anything, right? Doesn't look like it. Just gotcha. Oh boy. Now this, I don't trust this how much. Okay, get over to the blue ones. Don't worry about the yellow ones. Just assume that the yellow ones are also red. <laughs> I just move to the blues. There we go. And what's going on here? Can I get through this? Oh yeah, I can. A little confusing. And that's where we were before. Okay, cool. So can I, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Can I destroy these? No, no, whoa, 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 who watch it? Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Me neither. It shines. Okay, so now with all that out of the way, let's keep moving through these tunnels. I like it, it's like a secret spy mission. Okay, so we're just supposed to move along with it, I think. Yep. Uh, but that's where it gets tough because this guy's gonna be firing us the whole time. One more and then we should be able to double jump across. Yeah, okay, we were. Awesome. Gotcha. Ow, but he still got me. Get out of here. There we go. I'll let that explode. Same thing with this one. They should all just fly over to me. Yep. I love opening presents. So let's definitely grab some of that. Oh my. Um, oh, that was tough. No! No, 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 no. Watch it. We have a lot of health, but there's a lot of health that we could lose here, too. Fresh like a spring breeze. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I got a little confused about which way it was gonna go. I am so bad at this right now because I'm panicking because of the enemies. Okay, come on, we're fine. That's it. Get the underwear! I was trying to move over, but, oh, man, that was tough. That was really tough. Because just dodging the, the red panels, that's easy enough. But when you have to also try to predict where the enemies are gonna try to hit you, that's where it gets a little scary. Especially he's already trying to go for me. Great. Okay. 
Got him. Oh my gosh, and I still get me. And this is where I start freaking out a little bit. Gotta be slow. Oh my gosh, and I'm trying to jump to the panels which are actually safe, and he's hitting me while I'm doing that. Grab that, like and then we're going sponge. back. Gotcha. Now, why don't you get hurt by the rev? Not really fair, but okay. We figured it out. That was tough. Hmm, oh, here we go. Speaking of bowling or not. Come on. Why is it doing that? Okay, it actually hit him still. Oh, did we knock him out three times? Because he just like didn't really react. That was weird too. Anyways, let's keep going. Here's another one. No, not another one. I can't afford all this. Okay, well that unlocks that area. Boom, we'll smack this. Three out of four, and another golden spatula. Okay, so we'll go that way in just a moment. But first, I'm very curious. Oh, this is all gonna lead to a sock. So we have a more difficult platforming section here. Watch it for these things. Come on, come on. They're quick, so we gotta be careful, not land. No, really? It knocks me all the way back? That's a shame. I don't like that. Ah, uh, I guess it might actually be easier just to fall off and restart. Wow. Oh, there we go. That took a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely a tough thing where, you know, if you make one mistake, you gotta do it all over. But there we go, we got it. And boom, let's move to the next area, the rolling ball area, oh boy. Sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Ooh. Okay, I see what it means by rolling ball. There's like these different, like, railings for it. Is that just for a bowling ball or what? Either way, I do see Mr. Krabs over here. Curious to see what he's gonna say. Look, boy, there's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. Oh my. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. Huh. My wallet's counting on you. Inter interesting. So, uh, yeah, we'll try that in just a second. But first, boom, all four of those have been hit. So we'll have to go back to that soon. And ah, there's there goes like the, the ball. Smell of bubbles in the morning. And oh, like I see. Victory. And this is where we have to sort of, it's like, I th what do they call it? I think it's called a Rube Goldberg machine. Basically a large machine like this that doesn't really accomplish much, but it's fun to look at. Okay, we have to go over here. Go, 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 go. Was that correct? Uh, whoa, look at it go. Scoop successful. Who doesn't love a successful scoop? And what will this one do then? Um, well, it's gonna roll all the way down, go down that way, around here, and then, I guess, do that. So we'll just get that prepped. Because I don't think it's gonna, like, undo itself in the meantime, right? I hope not. Boom. You've just met the sponge in eight. Yes, yes. No, it's going back! Why? Okay, it is limited time. It is limited time. Uh, wait, 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 wait! Oh, come on. That was awkward. That really stinks that over time it just undoes itself. I know. Let's try again. This time we'll get it though. Cause it's not like we did anything wrong. It's just, I mean, I guess I technically did. But like, it wasn't like I didn't time it right or just wasn't very good at it. And there is a purple uh, shiny up there that I sort of want to get. <clears throat> so, that's coming down. And once it's about there, I think that'll be fine. Gonna get that successful scoop again. Thank you, thank you. It's taking its time. Do I have to hit it again? There it goes. So, I'll just wait here, and once it gets a whole lot closer, like maybe around there. Well, this is a really cool idea, I like it a lot. Here it comes. And right about now. There we go. And that's definitely should be enough time. So while that's figuring out its stuff, there it goes. Whoa, it almost wasn't. I almost still did that too early. Wow, okay. Okay, so it's fine. What do we gotta get over here? I don't know, I don't know, no, 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 wait, 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 over this way. Wait, ah, oh, ha, 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 darn. What? That was weird. 
Did you see that? <laughs> it, like, it got stuck there. I hope that's not gonna mess it up. Oh, please don't let it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. We're fine. Somehow, I don't think he needs that. I'm going to just hit that guy and then very quickly try to get up here. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, my gosh. But it's lost momentum. Oh, no. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Come on. Come on. It has to roll back down. That's it. Keep it going. Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this will buy me some more time. Um. I love opening okay, presents. Okay, come on. This oh, is tough keeping up actually. with it. So what is that There's gonna do? Nothing like the smell of bubbles that in didn't more. do anything. Smells like. Okay, no, it raised victory. it. Okay, that's good. Now what? Now what? Um, no, no. Wait, wait. Oh, it was supposed to go in that hole. Oh, wait. No, it's supposed to go in that hole. Okay. Hey, look at this. Got a sock. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Yes, he does. We have enough for a, uh, another golden spatula from him, though. That is really tough. And then what is this about? I don't know. Um, I guess we'll sort of figure that out. But for right now, I gotta try again. Okay, this time I'm trying to be a bit more at the ready. Because we want to stand on this and it immediately is about to go into that hole. No, 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 no. You just get it over that way. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Like how it just sort of slides over a little bit. We did it though. Why did it make an ant noise? I think we did it. I think it's just taking time. And that's going to slow down the fan so that we can go over this way. And oh. Uh. What? Was I supposed to time it with all that? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I was supposed to know that. Okay, is this actually gonna work? So many times it goes straight into that one hole. Okay, now quickly, quickly, quickly. We know what we gotta do now. Um, is this, don't panic, don't panic. Uh, there it goes, oh my gosh. Wow, that was tough. That took me a lot of tries. Oh, now we're stuck. Now we're stuck. No, no, no! <laughs> it did say it was saving the game now. Um, oh gosh. Uh, what if I teleport to it? Oh, wait, I can't, okay. Whew, this might save me, who knows. I, it said it was saved. <laughs> oh no, what's gonna happen? Okay, okay, we're fine. I can already see it over there, thank goodness. Wow, that was ridiculous. Let me slam this guy, boom, there we go. Too pretty. Can't take okay, it. ready, boom, got it. 39th golden spatula. <laughs> I was so scared I would have had to do it all over again. Hi, Mr. Krabs. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you a promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. Ooh, 20 second break. Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs is such a bad employer. <laughs> Poor SpongeBob. Is this, you think you'd treat SpongeBob a little bit better seeing how it's a star employee? Maybe one day. I sure hope so, for SpongeBob's sake. Anyways, uh, return to the Mermelair main chamber. Sure, so I guess it goes all full circle. That's great that we made our way through with all that, though. Very exciting that things are starting to work out a little bit. Definitely took a lot of work to get here, but here we are. So yeah, let's talk to the robot again, if we can. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. Ooh. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Why do you want to be shut down now? Either way, there is our 40th golden spatula. I think there's still some we are missing, but we'll go back and look around for them for right now. Boom, that worked. Okay, now what? Nothing, apparently. I'm a little confused, but hey, this bridge has been let down now, so maybe we can figure that out. Also, um, yeah, the, okay, no, the last one's still there. It's just a bit of a mystery, so I guess going this way is the best way to find out. That is so odd, though, um, that it just it seemingly did nothing. Okay, well, we're just gonna walk down this super duper long bridge. Oh, wait, no, okay. Villain containment system area. Oh my, that sounds dangerous. We'll try it out. 
the security system has been shut down. And we got a good checkup. Hooray <laughs> for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Oh, no. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Ew. Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? Uh. No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? No, oh, no. I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes, but now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Oh no! Everything the I fiend own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Aww. Sure, pretty stupid. Aww. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn. I shall not rest until you are captured! But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man! You don't have a secret identity, you old coop. <laughs> Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. <laughs> He's just I leaving. I avenge you, Mermaid Man! Okay, SpongeBob, let's do it. Oh, he's much smaller than I expected. Oh boy, what is he doing? He's just blasting sound bubbles all over the place. I don't think I want to step on this right now. Whoa, okay. Okay, now it's going down though. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, ready? Ow, that hurt. Wait, I can't reach him. Oh, I'm supposed to bowl at him, aren't I? Boom, got him. Okay, that makes sense. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I wasn't ready for this. I was not ready for any of this. Oh no, oh no, jump. I need to get more. Uh, <laughs> I need to get more underwear before this goes badly. Quickly, quickly. Got it. Feel like a new spot. And then roll that over there. Okay, so it'll it'll break. Whoa! There we go. It shines. Here we go, here we go, ready? Got it. And also do the same thing to this guy. That didn't really work. Like okay, we only have to hit him one more time now. Nice. He's gonna hit me with the bubbles again, but or block against him. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, come on. Not good. He's really trying to get me right now. But I think we could get him back. Just a little bit more time. Because he really just tries to go straight for me. Where's it gonna be? Right there. Whoop. Boom, got him. Super combo. Oh, and he's frozen. Oh, no, not again. This is not fair. I got the frozen wedgie for this. Is this the end of Prawn? Oh no. Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. Frankie? My name is SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Hooray! Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. And he's gone. Let goodness and kindness. Are you still here? All righty, so there we go, our golden spatula, trophy earned to shrimp catcher. How cool is that? And what is over this way then? Not really much. Huh. Okay, then I guess I just sort of give you this area to explore a little bit, but I guess that's gonna be it. For the most part, we're all done with this area. Yeah, we got the Mermelair. Actually, we 100% got everything. We got all of the spatulas, all the socks, and of course, all of the things. Um, that we needed for the one golden spatula. That's really good, so we're gonna go back to Bikini Bottom now, and at the least, um, actually, let's go to this one. I wanna talk to Patrick and exchange some of our socks for another golden spatula. So yeah, things have been excellent in terms of progress. We'll keep at it, of course, in the next episode and go to a new area, but I'm super happy about this one. Turned out well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Mermelair was a really cool level. That one ball rolling puzzle was a bit tough. I feel like a little 
like wonky, I guess made it difficult to keep up with things. But hey, Patrick's right over this way. We don't have enough of the sparklies to, yeah, give to Mr. Krabs. Not even half of them, wow. Anyways. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back okay. scratch. So he says the same thing he says every time. Boom, that was gonna be golden spatula number 42. Wow, that is pretty cool. We're entering the next level um, here in the second part of Bikini Bottom. It is the rock bottom. See, this is from the one episode where SpongeBob and Patrick took that one boat to rock bottom and then they couldn't get out of it or whatever. It was a really old episode, but yeah, here we go. Heading to rock bottom. Will there be a bus this time? I guess we'll find out. Welcome to the dark depths of rock bottom, home of strange Whoa. creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Ooh. I like it. So there's already one golden spatula over there. <laughs> the restrooms. Oh yeah, this is where they all talk like. Oh no! Be careful! Ah! Poor guy, just wanted to go to the bathroom. Oh, and now it's shutting down. Oh, SpongeBob, I'm actually glad you're here. Believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Oh no. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Okay, see, let's figure this out. You don't quite have them all, SpongeBob. Keep looking, there's more out there. Okay, so we'll continue to look around rock bottom a little bit and see what we can find. First off, there's plenty of these guys to beat up. Oh, this is a sleepy time robot. SpongeBob must sneak carefully when we're near when near him, or he will wake. To sneak, you move the left stick gently or press L2. It's like this. Okay, so yeah, we'll be very careful about that. Over this way, though, is there any kind of secret? No, nope, just some extra sparklies. Okay. So I guess anywhere within this light, we'll just have to be very careful, or they'll wake up. Um, yep, that's what we just tried. Okay. Oh, here's a jellyfish, too. <laughs> what about this guy? Yeah, th these th guys who live around here are really weird. They just speak like a different language. Hmm. So for right now, very sneakily, I'm just gonna go over. It's red now. Okay, I think that's all right. There we go, super combo. That works pretty well. Oh, that got me! Wow, immediately just a zap takedown. Huh. Let me try hiding behind the building before I try jumping up on it then. Because I was still holding down the sneak button the whole time, but oh boy. This seems tough then. Try that again. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Yeah, sleepy sneak. And there's one of the first pictures, which once again I'll deal with in just a second. Ow! Oh man, he goes through the building! Wow, <laughs> okay. Oh, but he's moving over here now. Don't do that. Okay, so now that he's he's over that way though. Maybe I could? Oh, I can't like, ah, I can't really. No, no. Very spooky. There must be another way to get over to it then. Not really too big of a deal. Number there we go. Number one in the Bikini Bottom scavenger hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. All right, you've said that many times, SpongeBob, but we'll explode some of this. So I guess there's no way to destroy the sleepy robot. Maybe we should try though. Um, these platforms will collapse unless SpongeBob sneaks across them very carefully. Okay. I will give this a go, though. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. Attack! Oh, it does work! Awesome! Okay, we're fine. Okay, Mr. There we go. Get him out of here. And then, just right up this way. There we go. I just had a feeling that they were invincible for some reason. I guess not. Yeah, this area is very spooky, very intense. We'll get through it, though. So we gotta start sneaking. Oh, I don't like it. We gotta wait right here. Sneaking around, sneaking around. And we could wait on these and get ourselves some extra sparklies. Just, oh, or maybe not. Oh no, be careful. Nice. I don't even know how many it gives us to green ones. 10, I think. Um, That was not close enough. Whatever, whatever, we're fine, we're fine. Like a Get back breeze. to sneaking. You've just met the sponge oh no, eater. that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, so grabbing those sparklies seems to be more effort than it's worth. That's for sure. All right, I'm seeing a lot of challenges popping up in this level already. 
Oh, okay, we made it. We I made it. Say, Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? <laughs> okay. Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. It definitely would be. So, uh, can you give me a hint on how to get to the museum? I would if I could, my little square friend. Oh. All right, well, over this way we can explode that and then run. Boom. Get a bunch of extra stuff from that. Is there any way up here? Because you can see there's something going on over there. Maybe I could... No, I can't jump on that. All right, that must be something for later then. Yeah, I suppose so. Unless I could make this jump. Oh, no, you go right through. That scared me. <laughs> okay, so another sleepy time robot. We are just going to sneak over and give it, an, give it an attack. Just like that. Sweet. Glad we got that out of the way. It gives you a purple one, which I think is 50, so that's pretty cool. And it has a slide here, too. Where are these coming from? Ow. Uh, I'm not I sure, like so let's just keep moving sponge. for right now. Hmm. Up there, I guess? Yeah. I don't know if I can quite reach that from here, so let's try it, though. Oh, no, I can. Can I get under this? Not really. So there must be another way. But hey, now I can get down this way. There's a lot going on. I'm trying to find out, like, what's the best best situation. I don't really need the underwear, so I'm just gonna attack you guys. And there we go. And you're throwing stuff at me. I don't appreciate it. Hiya. Oh, okay, so we can switch to Sandy at some point. Good. I like playing as Sandy a lot, so that'd be cool. Ow. Come on now. Okay, whatever. It's fine. I don't think yeah, we have the exit to this box. Okay. Will that explode that too? Oh, it will. Nice. So what do we want to do around here? I guess the only way we can go for now is this way. No, no, no. Hold on. So once again, I'm trying to get to 9,000 sparklies. We'll see if it happens this time. Oh my. Oh my. Ready? Boom. Gotcha. And then get you again. Nice. We'll grab some of that like and the the umbrella. Breeze. Not the umbrella. What am I? The underwear. <laughs> I don't know. My brain just my got those words mixed up. There we go. So where did that go? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter too much right now. We don't even have Sandy. We have to find a bus stop somewhere. But in the meantime, destroying these guys still gives us sparklies. We could really just sit here and destroy guys like infinitely, and they would still just give us more stuff. That's actually pretty cool. So that should explode and explode the explosives. Lots of explosions. So there's that, and another button to press. Once again for Sandy. Wherever she may be, she'll be she'll be swinging around eventually. But yeah, I, I see this slide making its way through like, basically the entire level, and it's pretty cool. I'm excited to uh, get a better look at that and ride it ourselves. That'll be fun. I'm trying to look out for any other buttons, because we definitely don't want to miss any. There's a little SpongeBob ability up there but that looks like it's it, so let's go this way. I'll sneak over, go, 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 and hiya! I love opening presents. <laughs> Me too. I mean, we could hop down on it right now, but I feel like that'd be cheating, and I feel like I'd end up missing stuff, so, whoa, I guess there was a button behind that. Okay, well, let's be careful. Luckily, the sleepy guy did not notice me. Ooh, there's more than one, too. Ready, gotcha. Keep sneaking, yeah. how? How'd you notice me? I feel like a new sponge. Come on, come on. Gotcha. Wow. So explode some of that. Same thing with this guy over here. Gotcha. It shines. And I guess this box is gonna send us back from where we started. That's perfect. Okay, so we got everything figured out now. What about down here? I mean, there's stuff down there, but I don't think once again, we're supposed to hop down from this way. It looks like there's ways connecting it later. I don't wanna miss anything with what we're currently doing. So let's just leave that be. More robots. That. Actually, no, they, they're still dropping sparklies. I'm gonna get you. Ready, boom. Hit that button, I get hurt by the explosion, should've saw that coming. Bolo -rama. There we go. Well, where exactly is that leading? This is a little confusing, but oh, 14 seconds, let's roll. Uh, roll Let us roll. Oh my, oh my, we'll have to come back for that stuff then. Um. Yeah, I'm a little confused. There we go, and that's gonna raise 
this platform, where we only have a couple more seconds before something else happens. Um, I hope I'm doing this correctly. I have no clue. Wow, what's bouncing? Oh my. Wow. I know that we missed some stuff earlier. I'll be looking out for it later. Oh gosh, go, 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 go. SpongeBob run. Okay, we did it. That was crazy, because we're just Fresh, shooting like saves out of a cannon, for whatever reason. Oh, well, Candace says, does this hurt? I'm going to assume it does. And there's giant brushes for some reason. There's weird household objects around. And then definitely, if we can, in one hit. SpongeBob's a lot stronger than he looks. He just destroys it in one hit. Should I try making that jump? It's not worth the risk. Let's go back. And I guess we'll be jumping up the, the brushes for some reason. Why not? There we go. Okay. Aha, and here's the bus stop. Excellent. So there's our checkpoint, and it's time for Sandy Cheeks. Cool. She's still out of the three, my favorite character to play, so this will be awesome. Cowabunga! Yeah, got it. All right. Yeah! And what's going on with this? We're swinging across. Whoa. Well, hold on. We got it, we got it. Whoa, okay, that's not really what I meant to do, but it worked out pretty well. Okay, so we actually have multiple ways we can go here. I think that this is, oh no, probably the extra way. Wait, no, 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 okay, hold on, see ya. Okay, well he's actually still kicking down there. Well, where is this gonna bring me? Just get, gets me some extra stuff, okay. Huh. And then, yeah, this is some stuff that I missed out on before. I don't know if I'd be able to get back up. I think that actually might be easier to go that way first. I have a plan. We're going to go onto this building, swing across, to, oh my, ah! Uh, Not as good as Texas barbecue Gotcha, dogs. whoa, watch it. Nice. And, gonna glide over, grab this sock, and then we can jump down here. Yeah, okay, so definitely wanna grab this painting from Mrs. Puff, because we're trying to get all those. And I'm guessing that this little bouncer is gonna send me right back to where we were. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Who knows? Apparently it doesn't tell me. Weird. I guess we'll find out at some point. There is a golden spatula over there. Whoa, is it this? Oh, I think it is. Aha! Very sneaky golden spatula. So let's go ahead and... Oh no, oh no, okay. I just wanna be careful. I don't wanna fall off into my doom. There we go, whoa. Whoa, whoa, does it not work that way? What is going on, I don't know. Really? Oh, we're back at the beginning. Okay, well, I'm still trying to get back to where I was, but I do see this is the tartar sauce guy we knocked off before, and down this way, Ooh. you got some of that. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? You don't have to, but you did. Okay, so actually, I don't know how to get back. I guess from here, will this platform bring me somewhere? I don't know. Okay, it will. Ah, wait, wait, I'm not ready. Again, really? Come on. So I'll be trying this again. Last time it just had me get stuck, which is sort of the thing. Yeah, just, no, okay, okay, that works. That's really tricky. I don't think it's supposed to work that way. I think it's a little broken, but hey, we got it to work out of the way. So there's a 43rd golden spatula. That was tough. I had to, I had to do a lot of re-exploring to get back to where I was. Um, anyways, now I can grab all of this. What is down this way? Just one little green. Thing. I don't think that's worth it. See, the problem is if I go back this way, and I found this out the hard way, if I go back there, oh, and it's gone now? No, no, no there it is, there it is. I need, to, I need to swing on that to get back. But I can't get past that sneaky robot without SpongeBob. So if you get stuck in that spot, you basically just have to reload in with the uh, tell, or the, like the quick travel function here in the menu. I'm not gonna do that now because we're back to where we were. So I'll just bounce back over this way because that's where I was hoping to be. Get rid of this guy and this guy, and I don't know what happened to the one lasso area, but I guess in the meantime I can grab onto that and then swing on it again, or not. Thanks, game. Uh, now I gotta figure this out. Oh, great. That was, why did that have to happen that way? <laughs> okay, so I'm finally back here. Man, this level's a little bit of a pain so far, just with certain things where it's like, if I fall, I just have to basically restart, and it's, it's just really weird, really tough, but we're figuring it out, we're almost there. Ow, 
Come on, get out of here. P please don't get taken out again. Oh, that's bad news. I can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Okay, so we gotta get across this way now. I hope. Uh, I don't see how else I'm doing this. There we go. We're swinging. Nice. And then there's a box. So that'll make everything significantly easier. Okay. That's, that's good. And here's a spatula for us. Okay, that took a lot of work, but here we are. Yeah. And that is 44 golden spatulas. We're about to head into the museum. Is there anything sneaky around here? There's some extra little shinies. And let's go in to the Rock Bottom Museum. Oh boy. Like I said, I hope there's more pictures here. Because uh, if not, I'm a little confused on where they could be. But yeah, this is interesting. Hey, so for a cool level, boy. but tough. Say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay? Oh boy. So, uh. I guess we're supposed to be coming down here as SpongeBob. Hey there, Barnacle. See, hey, that's all he says. All right, then, um, I'll be right back. So apparently just leaving the area and coming back made it turn into SpongeBob. Barnacle boy, are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the golden spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Do you have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle free? Unlike you. Pay attention, kids. <laughs> this is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down, and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming oh, no. kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir. That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. Okay, well, we'll do what we can then. Multiple ways to go for this. Whoa, okay, bad timing. Uh, yikes. Okay, go quick, go quick, go quick. Ah, okay, I didn't think I was gonna make that. So that's gonna explode that one, that's nice. I like these pictures of everybody. Oh, that's so cute. Just everybody walking around together. Oh, I love them. This is a cool museum. Anyways, I guess we can go this way now. We still have to be careful about our timing. I thought, it goes on for like a deceivingly long time. I'm trying to time it so that like while we're in the air, it, okay. But it just, it goes on for so, why was he sneaking? I don't know. It goes on for so long that it's hard to find the rhythm with it. I was hoping that while I was in the air it would stop, um, but I didn't time it quite well enough. <laughs> That's tough. Okay, so let's just wait for it to stop, just fully. Cause I don't know how much time it has before it starts again. But as soon as this one, yeah, and then we go. Okay. You can see you don't get too much time with it not being zapped. And boom, there we go. Well, luckily now, boom, it's exploded. The other one's back though, isn't it? <laughs> no, yeah, well, I don't need to be over there anyways. I mean, I pressed the button, right? Or maybe I do have to repress the button. Oh boy, if so, I'll do that soon. But for right now, go, go, and go. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, uh, please stop. Oh, you're kidding. Come on. Yeah, now he's gonna start with that one. Just gotta weigh it around, be patient. There we go, and got it. <laughs> I like that one, that one's such a simple little drawing. So, whoa, be careful. Yeah, we get a better view of it here. Really nice. I guess we wanna go back this way. This one's a little bit more complicated, as you can see. But we got it. And there we go. So we just have to press that other button again. And why is, why are there two Squidwards? Who knows? That's a little odd, but okay. Heading back this way now. It's available to move. Whoa, okay, that was weird. But it should destroy. Yeah, awesome. So that's all of them. Do you have anything to say about what are you it? waiting for, kid? Get in there. I'm trying. So let's also grab this sock I noticed that before. And oh gosh, there's extra robots too. That's not good, we'll try to keep up with everything, but who knows how this might turn out. Oh, no you don't. Mm -mm. Not worth the spark, at least. Not worth it right now, at the least. We'll come back. I like how many rubber duckies and just random things. I guess they're just random, like, above water objects that they have Time found. For a little sleepy sneak. Interesting. Well, we're just gonna sneak over to this guy who's snoozing and just go, boom. And I would love to just grab that again. Thank you. Now this one's a bit scary, but I think we can do it. Just get over and, hmm, gotcha. 
Very nice. You are up to almost 7,000, very exciting. And there's another box for us. I'm gonna get you, just like that. Excellent, hello. So what else can we do around here? There's these guys that need to be exploded. Just kinda activate it like that and then run away. Yeah! All right, so there's another one. <laughs> it's a scared Patrick, whoa! Don't knock me on the other side like that. I don't like it. There we go. And where are we going now? I guess it's up on this, or, oh, well there's more over here. We got ourselves another painting, thank you. And then there's another button to press. <laughs> Once again, I like the more simple doodles. I feel like like a that new shark sponge. one. Oh gosh, that sent off more robots. Hmm. That seems to be about it for now. Well, actually, there's another one right over here. Patrick giving a, a burger Just to a dolphin and a Krabby size. Patty. Okay, that made a lot of enemies. Okay. Over this way, we got one, two, and three. They just don't even notice you half the time, though. And another one. Wow. Fresh like a spring breeze. Okay, just trying to collect as many things as I can. And let's explode this one. But I think that's most of the security dealt with, which is presents. awesome. So I think all we gotta do now is just get back up there again. Just wanted to make sure if I need any underwear, I have it. So I guess, yeah, once again, the best thing to do right now is to maybe go up there, but I don't know, that didn't quite work. Maybe not. Who's firing at me now? I don't know. Somebody from somewhere, but this is a little weird. I don't think it's like this. Hmm. Okay, try again. We'll just go up this way and go across. Got it? Yeah, I guess that's right. Let it go all the way down, and now we can get across. Excellent. So that's another golden spatula for us. We haven't found too many. I think that's only our second one, right? No, it's our third one. Gotcha. Um, see, we still have quite a lot to go in this area. We're just gonna keep moving. Get a blue one, and... Oh, this is a sneaky platform, I forgot. <laughs> well, luckily, I actually didn't need it much. Let that explode. I guess as long as you really just jump as soon as you land. Oh, good bubble buddy again. I guess these are statues. We got Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. And I'm going to destroy you. Just a little school of fish. And a bunch of jellyfish. They didn't have any models for that one, I guess, so they just did a picture. I would like to destroy these. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So getting across to here. Okay, worked out. Thank goodness. Oh no. I don't want to get destroyed. Is this like a Patrick Picasso? I like that one too. I guess when SpongeBob ripped his pants. Classic moments. So what do we want to do around here? First off, get across. Yeah, okay. Watch it. Hmm. Get him again. That was rude. Stop that. I feel like a new sponge. So definitely explode all of these guys if we can. And then here's another one. SpongeBob and then Poseidon with a golden spatula and Patrick Squidward and Plankton all on him. Yeah, these are all like references to like classical paintings. Because we did also have, like this one's called, I think, The Screaming Man. Uh, I, I'm sure you can guess why. Looks like a man screaming. Um, there was a Patrick version over there, now there's a Squidward version. And then, oh yeah, this is a, uh, not Picasso, that's a, uh, oh, I forget his name right now. Van Gogh, Van Gogh's uh, self-portrait, but as SpongeBob. <laughs> Interesting, ow, that hurt. Whoa, these are, are these models or are these actual people just sit, sitting in there? They're moving around. That's sort of weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyways, boom. Fresh like a spring breeze. Okay, over, no! <laughs> You're kidding, I didn't notice it was moving. Are they trying to zap me? Stop trying to zap me. Luckily we have this box and that brings us right back up here. So that's at least a little useful. Oh man. I feel like a Okay, trying to be careful about that, because there's just not much I can do about that guy from way up there. And then just make this jump. Oh, look, it's trouble because of uh, SpongeBob, Squidward, and Patrick's house. Cool. It's still chasing me down. Dude, calm down. Look at all the sparklies we got, though. And what's going on with this one? Just a bunch of fish. It's a very cool area, that's for sure. But how many sparklies? Well, not what I wanted. Uh, over 8,000. Very exciting. And if we could find a way over there, that'd be great, but I don't think we can make that jump. 
So we might have to come back some other time. Oh my gosh. This is too much? And then there's our fourth picture. We need six in total. Hey, look! Sandy, Patrick, and, and uh, Gary. Okay. And there we go. Oh, now we can play as Sandy. I was hoping for that. Uh, travel to the advanced darkness. This isn't just your average darkness. It's advanced darkness. Okay, that's cool. So let's keep things moving. Whoa, we're sliding. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to come back as Sandy at some point. Not the way I thought I could, but is this looping around? I guess so, yeah. Oh, this is crazy. I didn't even need to do that, but I got my health back from it, so hey, it works. Yeah, okay, so we've gone full circle now, I think. I think we've been up there already. No, maybe not. Either way, just gonna activate these guys to explode. All their friends should pop back up. Hey, oh, Gary. it's Gary! You're on an awful long walk, aren't you? Wow! <laughs> the trench of advanced darkness, huh? Sounds dark. Okay, Gary, I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. Okay, well, like you said, be extra careful. That's a good one, Gary. So what else do we gotta do around here? I gotta find a way up there, but it looks like, I think it's supposed to be for Sandy. I do see one of the uh, things for Sandy over there. Anyways, we'll jump up like that, get some extra stuff. Aha, and here's a Sandy changing spot. Okay, so we're fine. So I don't think we could go back up the side. So we'd have to go through the entire museum again with Sandy to figure out some of the other stuff. It's a little weird. Okay, that made another part of the platform fall and you just, well, goodbye. Okay. Here comes another one. Get out of here. <laughs> Once again, why do they run that away from me? Dirty. It's a little weird. Gotcha. So that's gonna explode. Maybe I'll take care of that guy in a second. Well, I don't know I if it suppose matters too much. Patrick happy. Or up to five socks. Now I need to be back as SpongeBob for this. It's very weird so far Nothing with like what it know. wants me to actually play as. Is, why give me the bus stop there? I mean, I think I had to, I don't even know. So yeah, I cannot progress through this area without SpongeBob. It's so weird. There was definitely something I could do with Sandy though, but can I reach it from here? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't see any other way around. Well, from up there, I suppose, but how do I get up there? Can't do it from here. It's so odd. Anyways, boom, gotcha. I guess I'll check some of this stuff out, then I guess I missed some stuff over here. Well, no, that's where I really came in from. Refreshed. Weird, again. <laughs> this level's so odd. Good um, I'll grab all that stuff, we'll switch back to SpongeBob, but what does Sandy say to Gary? Wow. Say, that's a good idea, Gary. I'll try that. <laughs> Cute, all right. So back to SpongeBob we go. Even though it's like, what was even the point of playing Sandy here? Just, I don't know. I don't stinking know. We're just gonna keep going. And if I could just take you out on the descent, just like that, that's good. Oh, and I see a hidden little one right there. So we wanna grab this, oh, I see. Wanna hit this button and then hit the grab form, or gra grab the ball form <laughs> of SpongeBob. Sponge Watch it. There we go. And then what are we doing with all this? Oh, this platform raises, okay. And then yeah, what are we doing up here? Once again, if I could find my way up here as Sandy somehow, there's another bus stop. So what was the point of the bus stop down there? I mean, I guess it's because you need to play as SpongeBob for this area. Okay, ready? Gotcha, gotcha again. Okay, come on, be gone. And there's quite a few things, 2,400, darn. Um, quite a few things to worry about here. First, we're gonna switch back to Sandy. There's a golden spatula waiting for us over there too. Ooh, I didn't see that before. So I guess what we gotta do is do that, swing. The problem is, I don't know of a way. Well, oh, maybe these will do it for me. Yeah, look at that, awesome. I like it. I was gonna say, like, I'm a little confused with everything here. But I guess we can also get this. I don't know how we get up there, though. That's a little bit more of a mystery to me, because I can't make that jump. Hmm. I can try that? No, there's no way. No way. That's tough. I really don't know. We'll have to come back then, I guess. Okay, 
Yeah, this level is definitely the toughest yet, especially just, I feel like it's, it's a weird design for everything so far too. I don't know how to feel about it. Now I should still be able to get across to here. Yeah, it's not that bad. Boom, gotcha. And these things. So what will this do for me? That's gonna set the clam. And that makes a hook over this way. So if we grab SpongeBob again, we should be fine. Because I think the other area with Sandy, we'll uh, worry, worry about in a moment, because you can see the exit's over there. So I think we're coming up on it. Okay, let's try this out. Whoa! What do we get? Patrick needs to do laundry. So that was another sock for us. Very expensive sock, but hey, I'm glad to get it. Can't take it. There we go, we got a couple more. And then way down Boing. here. Come on, I got it. So that seems to be everything I could possibly get out of that one. I was once again expecting more, but okay. Now we can go back to Sandy. Uh, I know I'm not trying to use the teleport box. Uh, there we go, swap characters. So, Plankton, what can Sandy do? Oh, stirring up no trouble. I did not even see Plankton. Nonsense, I only wanna help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. Oh my. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the trench of advanced darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, varmint. Okay, let's figure that out then. Can I talk to him again? You yeah. okay? You look kind of green. Fire the lasers. It hurts so much to be helpful. Need hatred soon. He's so dramatic. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's the way we're supposed to go. So let's get to it. All right, and I'm just gonna go over to this platform and get you right away before you can throw anything at me. So this way has a picture. It might be the last picture, actually. We're gonna find out. Whoa, whoa, watch it. Oh, this is moving too, okay. Didn't even realize. Gotta be careful with that. And you. Beat this thing up. Uh, and you, sir. Karate chop ya. Ow, they always do that. And that's all six of them. So whenever we can find Mrs. Puff again, we can grab that reward. But for right now, I can punch that and don't know what's going on now. I guess it's just sort of pointing up to that one. Oh no, you know, not worth it. I gotta wait for it to go back and then come back here. I just do not wanna fall. There it is. Yeah, okay, we made that. So now, let's go one of the other ways. All oh, the robots are back. No, you're kidding. Whoa, okay. Maybe that was, aha, now we can get back over there. What a happy accident. I would have not have found that. Wow, what are the odds? Okay, no you don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So we'll have to go back and figure out a couple of things. But for right now, I probably should have gone the other way because that one actually had the robot dispenser. But for right now I could beat up these robots, no problem. Go for this way and kaya, got it. And I definitely need to get rid of you. Thank you. And these things, so we're already getting back up in sparklies. How did you come back? Who's making you? I don't know. Oh, is it up here? Yep. Destroying that really first horrific. and foremost, and watch out. Oh, come on. <laughs> Didn't have enough time to move away. So that's another one aiming at the very top one. Not as good as Texas barbecue sauce. Gotcha. There we go. So, back over this Man. way. Can't we need I'm to go. Whoop. Underwear. Try that again. Buzz off, little and now we can get rid of these guys and focus on this one a little bit. Wow, um, no. N okay, I can make it to here. No, I can't! They <laughs> just fall right through. You're not supposed to go over there. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm just going over this way now. I don't think I have to repress all of the other buttons. I sure hope not, but I guess we'll find out. Boom, hit that one, attack you, awesome. Now these things I do have to go for, but maybe I'll worry about it in a second. I think I gotta hop on them. Or maybe not. Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. Got that. And there we go, they're all pointed towards him, I think. Yes, it is. Oh. What is it doing now? Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay. Now things are starting to add up a bit more. 
Hmm. And then the exit's just right over that way. Weird stuff so far, though, for sure. Okay, so we'll go ahead and lasso all these guys. I don't know if making them fall will destroy them. It looks like they just float there, if that's the case. Okay, well, the, the lasso certainly worked. Okay, I was trying to grab that sparkly. Didn't quite work out. Okay, Sandy is like the most versatile when it comes to platforming, which is probably why she's my favorite. But now we're good to go back here. We've already explored all that, right? Yeah, that was what we were at before. Don't have to worry about it now. But I do have to go over there again, which is fine, actually. It'll give us a lot of extra stuff. Yep, just hit that, explode all of those guys, get pl plenty of extra sparkles. The squirrel smasher. I like it. So back over here. Make a little jump, and boom, that's another golden spatula for us. 46 in total. I don't know how many we have out of this level, actually. I'm gonna check. No, nope, that's the wrong level. This one, we still have one, two, three, four left to find. I'm a bit concerned by that, but we'll figure it out. So we're supposed to be going this way, right? I sure hope so. Can I make this jump? As Sandy? Uh, Just barely, but the answer is yes. Okay, watch it. Now this guy's a bit more complicated. I think I might actually have to switch back to SpongeBob and then get back over here. I don't see how I'm gonna get that guy any other way, and I think that's why they set it up like this. But hey, we never talked to Plankton. Plankton. Nothing a little southern elbow grease can't handle. Okay. Oh, and that gets us a golden spatula. Awesome, okay, I didn't realize. 47 now, so if we take a look, much better. So I think that if we get to the end of the level, there'll probably be one. The other two, I'll probably have to backtrack for. See what I missed. Maybe I just had to talk to Gary. I'm a little confused by that one, but either way. Now I can beat these two up, get into sneaking. I tried to sneak. There we go. Just ignore them if I can destroy them. There we go, it worked. Just, that was going very badly very quickly. Like what? Green. He came back? Oh no, because of the generator. No, come on, what even hit me there? I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Okay, well we'll try again. I don't know if that's a checkpoint or not. It's not, but we can just hop through the box. Just my size. Okay, first, destroy those two, and then we gotta be quick, I said, sleepy quick. Sneak. I'm sneaking. What do you want from, what are you talking about? What? Okay, we gotta get over here right away and destroy this thing. That was so tough for me. I don't know why, but I died so many times. And now I can't go back because he'll zap me in the air. So I guess we're just gonna keep moving from here. That was totally ridiculous though. The sneaky robots are cool and it's a fun thing to go against, but for any other character, it makes for a total mess to deal with. Cause if, if you know you die and they respawn, well, you have to go through the entire level of SpongeBob again. Like you have to backtrack and figure out where you can get SpongeBob and that just becomes like a bit a of a pain. Sponge. Anyways, let's see what we can do here. First off, ignore all of this and just go for this guy. And it's gonna be the same deal here where we have to sneak through. Destroy that guy, destroy this thing, and grab this right here. So there we go, we got through a lot of it there. And apparently this will just bring us back to downtown rock bottom, which is cool, but let me grab a couple of extra things, if I can. Ready, gotcha. I want to destroy this, and then I'll destroy them all again, once we start sneaking. Yeah, they just do that, because you have to sort of, there we go. Sneak over. I think there was still one more, or not. Okay, we got them all. That's pretty good, still not quite 9,000, but even that wasn't the final golden spatula. There is still one waiting for us, maybe on the other side of this. So let's go and figure that out. This was tough though. So downtown rock bottom. Isn't that where we started though? Maybe not. I have no clue at this point. <laughs> this has been the toughest level yet for sure. Oh no, this is, Something else, I suppose. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. No, there's Mrs. Puff right there. So it wants me to go, oh, hey, Mr. Krabs is here. Okay, is this a different slide? It has to be. Weird. Okay, this whole level, the whole layout to it is odd. Hello. Hey, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well. I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. 
down the slide. It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! All right, we'll save the spatula. Do you have anything else to say? Go, boy, go! Nope. All right, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Boom! We have 30 seconds to get down there, so we'll do what we can. It's so weird with these, because like you can't hit them really. Ow, that hurt. I mean, you can hit the explosive ones, but the other ones you can't. So it's like, are you just supposed to avoid them? I guess that's the idea, but I don't know. I feel like I'm missing out on some good stuff here. Ow. I gotta stop it before I lose all my health. Oh boy, be careful. I'm going as fast as I can, though. So the timer's a little weird, because I don't think I can go any faster or slower than what I'm already going, but there it is. Whoa, and boom, nice. All right, with one second remaining. Oh no, oh no, that's not fair. I wasn't ready, I was dancing. Trying to celebrate, you know, the the obtaining of my golden spatula. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that was still great. Oh, uh, we need to do something about that. I don't know how we get up there. Oh, that's not from here, that's for sure. Weird. Okay, back over this way, destroy this drone. Come on. Oh, that was a little ridiculous, but we got it. And then quickly, see ya, okay, that works. Well, that explode all of them. I think that, yeah, the radius is a little too large for that. So we're just gonna attack each one, or just touch each one, really. Works out pretty well. But I think we have all the golden spatches except for the one where we need to uh, talk to Mrs. Puff, which we'll do in just a moment, really. I feel like I a new know. sponge. This could be a bit of a problem. But if I hit you, run over this way, and get this guy too, he'll like fall off, no breeze. problem. And, okay, I was gonna say, this is a dead end. It's not a dead end. Oh, and there's another sock over there. How do I get that sock? Do I have to jump onto the slide and then jump off? Maybe? Hey, it works, <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do. This, get, this level, like I said, is so weird with its placement with everything that it can be weird to just figure out what we're supposed to do. Okay, come on, come on, we almost have 9,000. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for that. That's gonna explode. So now we just gotta get out of here, right? I mean, the best way to do that would just be to teleport back to Mrs. Puff, but I'm worried that I'm missing stuff or, you know, more potential things, uh, because we, we miss two socks, which honestly, with how this level's been going, I'm not surprised in the slightest. We'll find those eventually, like I said, we'll have an episode where we go through all the levels and get all the socks that we missed. But hey, if we can just get out of here for right now, I'd be happy just with that. So, getting up to this thing, I think I know where this is. Don't hop on the slide, because that'll bring me right back to where I was. Um, but we gotta go all the way up, and yeah, we're in this area. This is the area where we first unlocked Sandy to play here, so we'll worry all just about that some side. other time. Take I just gotta get back to Mrs. Puff. So I guess it's fine to teleport back. I do wanna get some extra sparklies out, just right here. Boom, okay. Um, yep, go back here, because we have all six paintings, so this should be no problem. But yeah, what an adventure up a level. It's been tough, but we made our way through. And let's see what Mrs. Puff has to say about it. Uh, Last here you piece go. of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen. And here's your reward. Awesome, so we get ourselves another golden spatula. That's our 50th one, yay! <laughs> All right, trophy earned, hit rock bottom. An ultra spatula seeker. seeker. All righty then, so we're gonna go back to Bikini Bottom real quick so that at the least we can give 9,000 sparklies to Mr. Krabs, and then maybe, I don't know if I have 10 socks. If we do, we can exchange that to Patrick for another spatula as well. I don't think so, though. We're gonna find out sooner or later. But for right now, definitely Mr. Krabs. So we have eight socks, I would need two more. So definitely by next episode then. But for right now, Mr. Krabs is right over here, so it shouldn't be too bad just to be like, hey, buddy. So, do you want it? Yep. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Mm hmm. So, there we go. 51 golden spatulas now. Very, very nice. We're heading into another level. This one is Sand Mountain, and this one I'm actually lo really looking forward to. I'm a bit curious to see if there's going to be, because I know that there's a lot of sliding areas to each level, and I'm pretty sure that the Sin Mountain episode is where the characters were first sliding around. So I'm hoping there's a lot of sliding action in this level. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll find out as we head into Sand Mountain. Very cool though, very exciting. 
So, uh, yeah, we'll see what ends up going on here. I don't know what the story will really be. Maybe there'll be like an avalanche or something if I had to guess. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Oh boy. So there's 1,500 sparklies for every door. I actually have none Squidward, right now. am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots! They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal. Okay, well, let's try to figure that out then. Get rid of the robots on the slopes and you'll find a golden spatula reward. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to get rid of every enemy on the slopes. That might take some effort, maybe it takes a couple of tries, but this should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Can we get up here? Plankton's up there. Oh, there is a way to get up there. There has to be. Maybe from some other angle, though. So let's just leave it for right now. Plenty of robots to beat up, so we gotta work on that for right now. Yeah, <laughs> launch those over there. Wow, monster combo already. And then let me... Oh, no. Okay, I got rid of you, but then I fell to my doom. So that wasn't really worth it. But it's I have already time. gotten 500 of them, so that actually isn't too bad, because I spent them all last episode um, for Mr. Krabs' golden spatula, that was 9,000. I don't know how much I need for him next time, but I'm going to try to worry about that later on. For right now, let's try not to fall to our doom. That was silly of me, but you know what, whatever. Oh, it's all frozen over here, too. Now, I guess it's supposed to be like a ski lodge. What was that for? Okay, I guess destroying the sand snowman gave us a sock. I'm sorry, sand hey, snowman, I had you. to do it. Needs to do laundry. Okay, so let's go ahead and explode ah. all of this. Oh, that was nice. Okay, and you. Well, let's definitely destroy the robot generator real quick. Just like that. And all of you guys, I'm on top of them right now. A little awkward. The there we go. Enough. We're getting plenty of sparklies. The problem is I just, I don't have any way to defeat him. How do we get up there? I thought that maybe there'd be like a, a way to get up there from here, but not really. Oh, hey, Gary. Hello. Hi, Gary. Huh, so he's just chilling out here. How am I supposed to get up there? Well, I can do that. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. And that made some sandy stuff. Okay, so we'll do something with sandy. There's a golden spatula right up there too. <laughs> I don't know if I'm cheating right now or what, but all I know is I'm going over this way. Uh, I mean, I guess there was Hello, more stuff over there. Oh, hi. my favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. <laughs> hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. I would love to pay 2,500 shiny objects for the bungee jump. No, I don't have enough money for it right now. So I will have to come back either way. I mean, I'm sure I could jump down, but I think I just go right through it. So that's not gonna work out too well. But what's over here? There's a lot of little things to explore so far. That gave me 50 more, so that's great. Huh, I'm just trying to figure everything out, I suppose, because there's another 1,500 right here. How much do we have? 817, so I need to double what I currently have. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this area. So here's the thing that gets sandy, and I guess we just have to pay for each slope we want to try. Come on, uh, gotcha. So we'll switch over to sandy in just a second, uh, but in the meantime, I just wanted to beat up some of the stuff and sort of get a good lay of the land. So to go down each slope, we're going to need 1,500, and then at the end of those, we'll get a golden spatula. Sand Mountain. Okay, so I think I've explored everything I really can as SpongeBob. It's just trying to figure out what can I really do with Sandy? I mean, obviously there is some kind of hook here. But wasn't there more than one? Yeah, there was. Weird. So what do they lead to? What's their purpose? That's what I'm trying to find out right now. First off, if we jump this way, we got that. Awesome. So over a thousand now. Well, we gotta keep going. 
Where am I going now? I don't know. Uh, oh, over this way. But now what? <laughs> Where does it go from here? It's sort of a dead end. That is so weird. I, I don't understand what more I can really do. I can destroy that guy. This level is super odd. Perhaps we're messing with Texas. There we go. So maybe I just have to fall off the cliff and just get more sparklies. I don't see what else I can do in this level at all. Okay, so what I can do with Sandy here at the least is I can maybe make this jump. I think so. Here we go, here we go. So at least we get one golden spatula right there. Um, I'm going to have to fall off the cliff again so that we can get another set of uh, of the sparklies because I'm like almost there but not quite and I've destroyed everything around here. A little bit of a weird situation but as you can see here, we do get our second one at top of the lodge. So yeah, let's try to figure that out a little bit. Okay, so we finally have enough. I can go into the first ski lodge. Would you like to pay 1,500 shiny objects for the lift ticket to Guppy Mound? Yes. So here we go to Guppy Mound. I'm going to try my best to get as many of the shinies as possible so that we don't have to worry about this again. <laughs> but we still might have to, who knows. Oh, there's uh, Mrs. Puff. Oh wow, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. Very uh, foggy. <laughs> But there's a big finish and everything. Well, if it isn't Sandy. Why are we talking from all the way across across the way here? Uh, hello. Um, let's go ahead and destroy some of this stuff, though, just like that. And I just want to make as much sparklies as physically possible right now. That's my one and only goal. I mean, also to complete the level too. But that part will sort of come naturally, I think. Anyways, I don't think we yeah we have that in this box, but we can reset with that, so that's nice. Um, let's explode that guy. Awesome. And there's a bunch more. Already back at the 500. Hello. Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Well, if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. Um, if we switch over to SpongeBob, is she gonna say something else? I mean, obviously, she's not gonna say, well, is it, if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. I've gone Cheeks. down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Sure, accept the time challenge, why not? So why can't we do that as Sandy? <laughs> that would've been great. Anyways, I can explode this stuff. It's painful, but it does make me a lot of money. Where am I going? I don't know, this way now. Okay, uh, if I went the other way, I would've gotten a sock, but we're gonna redo everything anyways. What does this button do? I don't know, but there is something with Sandy. Whoa, okay, that's gonna make us so many. Awesome. There we go, am I gonna get those or no? I don't know. Uh. I'm just trying to move it for right now. Two ways to go this time. There's another sock for us. Now we have 10 in total, so we can go back to Patrick. Sock concert. Interesting. Okay, I can't get hit anymore, or I will get taken out, so that won't be good. Oh no! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Watch it. Out of the way, robots. I'm trying to hit as many as I can, though. That's right, we're supposed to be hitting all of them for- Ah, oh, no! Darn. But we're supposed to be hitting all of them for Squidward, so we will have to do it again, but Hey, it'll make me a lot more sparklies if we if we do it that way, so that's cool. I do have to be careful of that kind of thing. And same thing over this way, just like that. But hey, if I can make even more, yeah, we're already back at the 1500, so now our money problem should be solved. If we ever have to go back to grind things up, we I've should got... be fine with this, like this level. That'd be really good. Um, but let's get back to it. Ow. This time I'm gonna try not to get as hit but, ow, oh no, but I'm missing robots, so I definitely will have to redo it, but I get a sock this time, so that's nice. Yep, get that set up. That's gonna send the big ball rolling down. I'm curious to see where those little, the Sandy has has a little Texas things she could have uh, lassoed onto, so I'm, I'm curious about that. We'll go down this way for now, but next time I have to try the opposite direction, so I can run into some more robots. Jumping for that. Nice, I actually got one of them. Oh boy. Oh no. Whoa, okay. Watch it. Hit him, hit him. Got it. Once again, this is where we gotta be careful. Get another sock. We're getting a bunch of them. I wonder how many socks are in this level. Nice. Okay, you win. Return to Mrs. Puff for reward. Is Squidward around here though? Not quite. Okay, maybe I have to go back to Squidward in the main part of the level. Who knows? But I know that for right now, I most certainly I want to get rid of this guy. He's gonna explode, and I think there's a button behind him. Will that open something? I don't know. 
Okay, now I need to get rid of this guy before he becomes a big problem. There it is. See, I'm not sure. Uh, there might be another button behind you. There it is, okay. So with these two buttons pressed, whoa! Would you look at that? Time for a little sleepy sneak. Got rid of you. Anything else around here I might have missed? It doesn't seem like it. So yeah, I have to go over to wherever Squid might be. He was just probably gonna say, hey, you didn't grab all of them. Maybe the box would help me. Aha, but there's a golden spatula. Thank you very much. 53 in total. Nice stuff. Okay, so you know what? Let's do that <laughs> and run away. Cool. So I don't actually wanna leave just yet because we didn't get all the robots. Oh, and you're also gonna give me one. Congratulations! You pass with flying colors. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that one. 54 in total now. And I do wanna see one thing, not only how many we've got, we've gotten three so far, so there's still five more to find, but there's 10 socks. Okay. Hmm. So let me switch over to Sandy now. Just like that. And let's get to it again. So if there's any more robots to destroy, I'll definitely be going for them. Oh my. Interesting that it works that way. Hold on, hold on. More robots down this way. Excellent. Maybe that's all of them. <laughs> Sponsored by the Krusty Krab. So what's this about? Got it. I guess it's just another way to, no, wait a minute. We can get, whoa, way up here. Get one of the purple ones. That's so cool, whoa, watch it. Oh no, because that way is not gonna be the way I wanna go. All right, not bad, not bad. So yeah, last time I went down that way, this time definitely this way. Oh no, whoa, it gets scary. I'm glad that there's like more than one checkpoint it seems. But I definitely gotta be careful because I do not wanna have to redo it and have to find all the robots again. But was there another way over there? There wasn't, okay. I'm glad that with Sandy we can sort of stop in the air for a bit and just sort of survey everything. Okay, it's fine. We already went up that way for the sock. So yeah, Squidward should be happy with this one this time. Good yeah. <laughs> I don't know where Scooter's gonna be exactly. We just probably have to go back to the beginning of the level and talk to him. But I definitely got all the robots. I didn't see any more. So I think we're fine. No Squidward around here. Okay, travel to Sand Mountain. And we'll just talk to Squidward right away as soon as we get the chance to. Because I, I guess that's what we're supposed to do here. It's a little weird. This whole level is odd. But I'm gonna beat up all of you guys as soon as possible. Explode Nothing that like thing. Also, you guys flying. That's nice. Because I just don't want to deal with this stuff any more than I already have to. But let's see what Squidward has to say. Squidward, buddy, I got your golden. Oh, well, you should have my golden spatula, shouldn't you? Howdy, Squidward. Why can't I just have a day off? Okay, well, maybe I'll have to talk to you as SpongeBob. All right, so I talked to him again. We get You've the Are You Ready Now trophy. But I don't know. Maybe just, you know, we got the one spatula when we got to the bottom. Defeat the robots on Guppy Mountain. Even though we didn't defeat all of them, I guess the, just the one at the bottom. It's, it's more so you just have to get to the bottom of it. Okay, so let's go over to number two then. Don't worry about the plankton thing at the end. So the level itself is actually quite short. It's just a little challenging. So 1,500 shiny objects is no problem for us to get into this level. Yeah, but I don't know if uh, Mr. Krabs is gonna ask for another set of shinies. If he's gonna ask for like 13, or not 13, but 12,000 this time, another 3,000 on top of the whatever he asked for last in 9,000. If so, this might be the best level to sort of I figure that out. like the wind and float like a sea bee. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. That sounds great, except the time challenge, not yet, because if there's a box around here, I need to activate that. Like a new sponge. And one out of eight for destroying those. Okay. I already destroyed one, why didn't that count? Weird. I fly like the okay, let's try this out then. Whee! So we're going for this, and once again, we're trying to destroy all the robots. There we go, Oh, were the robots that way? I'm not sure, but there's another one destroyed. So maybe there's just eight on this slope specifically. Fresh, oh boy. Like I'm guessing this one might take us multiple attempts. Who knows, bunches of robots, and I almost got all of them. Oh, there we go. Sparkly. 
keep it going. There's another checkpoint for us. I'm going to go this way and see if it's a good idea. It's sort of hard to tell. Oh no, definitely grab that extra health though. That was good. Oh no, this this part's really thin. I'm trying to be careful. There's another sponge, not sponge, but snowman. I'm SpongeBob. Oh boy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I wonder where the other path led then. I'm a little curious. What do we do about this? What? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Two more robots right over there. Oh no, I missed one. I love opening presents. Fresh like a spring breeze. Okay, I'll go this way then. And, got it. There we go. Not too bad, we got a combo for that. And we're fine. So far, so good. There's still more to explore here. We're halfway through with the snowmen, or the sandmen, I guess it would be. It's made of sand, not snow. Keep it going. This level's really long, this one, this whole slope. I like it, I like a new sponge. Wow. Okay, and there's like multiple, multiple paths, which is once again cool, but overwhelming. Like which way is the right way to go? I might be running, I'll run out of time here. Wow, they beat me. You lose, try again. I would love to. Jeez, that's crazy. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Anyways, we got some robots to defeat, so I'm gonna work on that. I guess this time I don't get the golden spatula, so it really was that I had to get all of them. Because I swear I didn't last time. That's the weird part. Anyways. Boom, gotcha. Destroy these three. And then same thing over this way. I'd like to get rid of this robot. Oh my gosh, dude, really? Okay, you're getting out of here now. Thank you. And then hit this button as well. And that should at least open this up so that we can try again. So we just didn't do the best of job there. Boom. Oh no, the golden spatula's there. So it's like, you really don't have to get all the robots. It's not a requirement. <laughs> because I certainly missed some this time, 100% for a fact, and we still get the golden spatula. Well, what do you know? So, there's the box. We're just gonna head back up so that maybe we can defeat the Bubble Buddies time again. Try to get those extra snowmen we may have missed. I fly like the- Yep. And let's try this again. This time, very focused in on going as quick as I can. Oh, but let's also, if we can go away, we haven't, ow, gone. Gotta avoid getting hit though. Cause one of these paths may be faster, maybe slower. I really don't know. It is so weird that SpongeBob, you know, glides on his tongue now. Do we get back up there at some point? Cause I didn't see a way to get up to that one. There was like a big jump. Weird. And we definitely went to the to the right last time. I wanna go to the left, which is more difficult it seems. We'll go on the edge, grab some of those. Same thing over this way. But once again, am I really doing this the best of ways? I don't think so, I think this way might actually be slower, but I'm getting more snowmen. Five out of eight. Here we go. I still don't know how to get those guys. I don't know why it's like that. 53 seconds. Seems like plenty of time, but I think we're gonna run out again. Does a sponge good? I don't know, does a sponge good? You tell me. Uh, okay, let's keep going, oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing too much new around here. Already got that guy, he looks so sad. You've hit rock bottom. Have I really? Okay, I'm just, I'm trying to keep a good eye out for everything. This is where it gets really crazy for some reason. Boom, got it, that's six out of eight. I'm definitely gonna run out of time here. Oh no! Ow, how am I supposed to do anything about that? This like part's really tough. Hold on. And then this is the end right here, right? Or at least this is where it all comes back together. So there's still like one or two more snowmen I'm looking for. Two more. Well, they could be on the Fresh, different slope, like but I really don't think they breeze. are. That is tough. Whoa, okay, there is like an extra secret another area over here. This is right at the beginning. So there was another one. Ready. I don't know if there's gonna be another, another one, Pretty another uh, snowman. Bad. That is quite the secret though. So finding all of them is clearly not gonna be easy. But for right now, I'm just trying to go full speed. Maybe that is what's gonna help me get the the time here because I'm still working on that one as much as I can. 
There are some. Oh, like oh, right down this way. I'm going the wrong way, but hey, it worked. Okay. Well, no, two out of eight. Oh, because I died, I gotta do it all over? No way, really? That's crazy. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh man, we're fine. But I guess I do have to do all that over again, so I'll work on that. But for right now, I'm just trying to save as much time as possible getting to the end of everything. I feel like I'm a couple seconds ahead of when I was last here, but not by much. I don't know though. Hard to tell, to be sure. But I'm just gonna keep going. Thank you, out of the way. Couple more jumps. We, we still haven't reached the tough part, though. Yeah, it just definitely just, I guess it resets everything. But at least I know where seven of them are. I'm still looking for the eighth one. Come on now. But if I can see any more shortcuts like that, that's a big help. I just don't know if my time is actually any better right now. I think it is, but it's hard to tell. So if in any of these side paths, if I spot that snowman, that's gonna be it. Oh my, at least I'm not getting hurt through this way. Can we make it? It's gonna be close, but I think we'll do it. Will we be able to be Bubble Buddy? Yes, we will. You win, return to the Bubble Buddy for your reward. I would love to. But yeah, that was super tough. And I just gotta keep at it over and over again until I find all the snowmen. Congratulations, SpongeBob. You beat my best time. Here's a spatula. All right, so we get our spatula. This is number 56. Still a good couple left to go. Okay, so this is the last Sandman I'm looking for right here, the Sand Snowman. Um, that's awesome. I just gotta find the other two that I've already previously gotten. It's just tough to find them all again, and if I die, I gotta do it all over again, again, which I don't know why it works that way. It makes it super tough, but I'll get there. So I have all eight of them. I don't know what happens now. I honestly, yeah, nothing really started this quest, so now that I have eight of them, who do I talk to? What do I do? I'm not really sure. And just at the end of it, you get a sock. I didn't I, I didn't realize I was all for a sock. I thought that was all gonna be for a golden spatula. It was a lot of work. So I'm just glad it's out of the way. We have three more left to get. Um, I guess that would make sense. One of them has to be for um, getting all of the robots. The other one will probably be something else there, beating another race. And then the last one we already know is Plankton. So yeah, we can make progress again. <laughs> that took me so much time because as soon as you die, even if you leave out this way, it'll clear all of your, your snowmen if you don't have all of them. But there we go, there's another sock. I didn't even see that until I saw it. <laughs> what do you know? So there we go, there's another one. How many socks are there in total? 10. We have enough to give Patrick something good. So glad about that. But anyways, Back over this way, we have 1,500 shiny objects for Sand Mountain. What do you know? Very cool. So yeah, let's get back to sliding. I love this level. It's a lot of fun just doing all these different sliding missions, but it's also a really tough level. Not as tough as the last episode, but still a bit of a challenge. But here we are, the Sand Mountain. I'm sure there's gonna be all sorts of different slopes to go down, so we'll just try to figure this out. I'm the fastest there is. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. Um, I will say no for right now, but that's just because I want to activate that. I want to figure some of this stuff out, and then I don't mind being timed. I love opening there we presents. go. Oh, that's gonna be a lot. Yeah, that was 200 of them. Woo hoo hoo, and there's a lot more. I'm okay. Yep, yeah, let's accept like it, and let's go. Breeze. Wow, what is this about? Ha <laughs> ha, that's cool. That's probably not the fastest way to go, but we are also trying to just get to the bottom. Oh, but this way got us a sock. Cool. Hey, you. Oh no, oh no. Laundry. Gotta be careful. Let's keep going for right now. I don't know if we'll be able to make it in time. I really don't think we will. It's our first time down the slope though, so can't expect too much, can we? Anyways, we're grabbing some extras here. Extra shinies. Once again, we can get up this way. I don't think that's the fastest move. Whoa! Whoa, okay, watch it, I'm going too fast for this thing. There's another sock up there. I think we would need Sandy for that one. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Ooh, got it, okay. So we still have 75 seconds here. I don't know if we could have jumped on that rock for a shortcut or not, I don't really trust it. This seems to be, ow, a bit of a shortcut, a very painful one if you're not careful. There we go. Yeah, the other way it looked a lot more difficult because there's all those falling falls of sand. Are they just sand balls, I guess, like a snowball? Whoa, watch it. Oh my gosh. Come on, I gotta I gotta be getting close, right? Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, I think we're safe for now. Destroy some of those. Let's keep it going. 
ignore these guys. And then definitely jump up to grab some of that. But with 30 seconds remaining, are we on the way to victory? Who knows? Wow, there was some extra stuff down there. I mean, once again, it all sort of seems to lead into each, each other at some point. Oh, it's so cool looking though, I love it. I think I chose a pretty fast line there. But will it be enough with 15 seconds remaining? I don't even see the ending, so I don't think so. Whoa, got a lot of extra sparklies for that one. All right, come on, five, four, three. Let's make a major jump here. Whoa, but it wasn't enough. You lose try again. But for our first try, I was very, very close, so I'm happy with it. All right, destroy all these robots so you can already see Golden Spatch over there. Um, life is as extreme as you want it to be, I guess. There we go. So let's, before we have to destroy any more of these guys, I wanna get up like that. Okay, and then boom, got that too. Now this guy has to go away. Awesome. Okay, try that again. Oh boy, wow, <laughs> that went right to the camera. See, so yeah, now we just gotta grab that. That's gonna be 57 golden spatulas in total, and as well, um, our third to last one for this area. So we just gotta go again and try to beat Larry's time. Uh, I think that should be fine. Okay, let's go for it. No bouncing off any of that kind of stuff because that definitely slowed me down a bit. And I was sort of kind of expecting that. I just wanted to see what extra stuff we could get. I wonder if I could make this jump. I totally can. And that's gotta be so much faster. So much faster. So that's good. Unless that was not what I was, I guess maybe that was a different way. I don't know, that's a little weird. Okay. Maybe this is a longer way. Maybe there's another direction I could have gone. I don't know. Weird. I don't think so though. See, like I'm not gonna do that bouncing up there again. But maybe that would have been better. Who knows? It's really hard to tell. <laughs> Getting up like that though. I think that if I just focus on making some good progress, we should be fine. But yeah, it's, it's good that we started this episode with nothing, even though now we're spending a bunch of shinies and we're still over 5,000. What is this by? I gotta know. Uh, okay, be careful with the corner cuts now. So this is definitely just gonna be another sock. Another fine Interesting. But I think that's gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna be much of a uh, shortcut then. Wow, look at this. Nice, whoa, tons of them. Uh, there they go. So how are we doing with that? Uh, well, I don't know if I can check there. Oh, does that reset my momentum? Maybe not the best idea to do then. So I'm probably gonna have to redo this race again. But hey, at least we did a pretty good job there. Come on, keep it rolling or sliding. And for this, it's just about sort of scouting out which area is gonna be the, the shortest trip. Which definitely that one has a big spiral, so I'm going to say not that one. And then down this way, I guess I'll try this out. And this is where we made a jump, right? No, I don't think so. 14 seconds, so I think I actually am a little bit farther ahead on time, especially with that major jump. That's gonna do it for us. Thank you very much. Return to Larry for your reward. I almost fell to my doom there. Okay, not bad. So yeah, let's get back over to Larry. Just like this. And there we go. Congratulations, SpongeBob. You beat my best time. Here's a spatula. Well, thank you very much. Uh, there we go, it took me a second to grab it. Spatula number 58. And if we talk to you again. Hey, Larry. What's happening, SpongeBob? That's about it. So I am curious, we got eight out of the 10 socks. I'll worry about those another day. I'm mostly just focused on, you know, the spatula. So now we can leave this area and talk to Plankton and Squidward and see what they all have to say. Uh, because definitely I have enough of the shinies to just get that very easy spatula from, from Plankton. It was just a matter of I didn't have enough currency. There we go. Destroy that, and I think we got up there like this before. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's the way I do it. So if it works, it works. Okay, so first off, activate that. That will lower this, and then we can hop on no problem. Wee! And then we can just leave. Excellent, so what does Plankton have to say about that? We'll see in just a second. Hey, buddy. Keep up the good work, buddy of mine. And don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket. Oh, I will. In time. Keep up the good Okay, that's all he's gonna say. Okay, so does Goodward have anything to say before we leave? I don't think so, but you never know. 
Oh, thank Neptune, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. Oh, no. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the worm now! Aw. Uh, Alright, well... Hopefully they can get that all sorted. We're heading back to Bikini Bottom now. That was a very fun level. Very challenging, but just exciting to be able to slide around like that. Lots of fun. So yeah, hopefully some of the upcoming levels are just as jam-packed with action like that. But we'll have to wait and see. For right now, though, I want to go to Patrick back at Bikini Bottom and exchange our socks for another golden spatula. I think that'll be our 60th one, so we're really making our way through now. I don't know how many are in the game, but if I have to guess, probably around 100. I can only imagine with how many levels are on the screen here. Uh, we're probably most way through the, the game, so that's cool. <laughs> Anyways, over this way, gonna say hi to Patrick. Hey, buddy, how are you? Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your and he's just gonna say the same thing he always says. Alrighty then, so there's Golden Spatula number 60 to finish off today's episode. Stay tuned. So now we are heading over this way to see what this is gonna be about. As you can see, it is the Industrial Park. Is that actually something that's on here? No. So I guess it's just. I just get to go through. Will there be a boss fight? Like last time there was the um, the Poseidon. So I'm a little curious to see what's gonna happen this time, if there'll be anything like that. Oh my gosh! Wow, that robot looks like Patrick. And its breath seems just as bad. This day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. Oh. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! Oh gosh. Oh, right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? Oh man. Well, we better figure something out. And pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try <laughs> to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. Yikes. Okay. Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride. Oh boy. So right now he's just trying to spit ice cream at us. Oh man, it's everywhere. What do we do about this? Right now it doesn't seem like much. I'm just gonna try to avoid it. Poor Squidward is still here. Look at that! The oh gosh, here's our chance. Ready? Boom! Got him! Down. So, that seems to be what we're supposed to do. That's good. Oh, so how do we switch to Sandy? Like, Great you can see there's like a little Sandy reef. things. Maybe at some point the battle will just naturally switch over to her. I don't know. Oh my, so Patrick's doing his little ballet again. Ooh, Where is Patrick during down. all of us? Okay, quickly get over there. Boom. So we're just kicking him in the back. A little rude, but I mean, so is he. He's trying to eat us, isn't he? See, we still have quite a few hits to get on him right now. Oh my, oh my. See, just like with the Robo Sandy, we just got like another boss fight going on, really. I mean, I guess we did switch over to Patrick during the Sandy Robo boss fight, so I'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing here. All right, whoa. Was that it? I guess so. Uh-oh, not quite. What is he doing? Wow. No, Pat, there's SpongeBob! You pushed this squirrel too far. Get ready for a hot sponge twister, Texas style. Oh what is boy. What's he going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? Great I guess we'll have to find reef. out. I just like imitating him. So now he's making all these boxes fall down. Am I supposed to do anything with these? I don't know. Um, well, I guess, oh, no, I'm making the boxes down. fall, maybe. Oh, okay. I guess that made it fall on him. So if we go over That's here, boom, kick him in the back again. That works. Weird. So I guess just continuously gliding on these. Oh no. Gotta be careful. That hot goo could melt anything. I don't know what exactly is happening with everything, but as of right now, I'm just trying to survive Great barrier reef. until he's kickable again. <laughs> it's a weird boss for sure. Oh my, oh my. Be careful. Oh, and the robot is down. Okay, so we'll deal with that in just a second. I'm not getting any more boxes. That's the ticket. But that's fine, that's enough of them. Wow, that was really cool. One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring. That'd be great. So yeah, he's he has four more hits left. We can handle that, no problem, no problem. That's it, going around this way. Great barrier reef. He's still spinning. I'm just trying to make as many boxes oh, as I can. Oh, here we go, here we go. Down. 
Ooh. Kick it. There it is. What is he doing now? My gosh. Woo. Run, Squidward. Aw. Oh, oh here we it. go. SpongeBob is back in the Oh, no. Life. No, I'm immediately SpongeBob frozen. Better stay far away no. From the Ow. Oh, watches. I have to get... I can't... Oh, okay, there we go. That's gonna sting. Great barrier reef. Oh, my. This is tough to dodge. No! Do I have to do the whole fight over? Oh, that'd be the worst. But it might be the case. I don't know. That was tough. Okay, no, I don't. I think it's just starting from here again. So if I skip this... It. Yeah, okay, we're Sponge back here Bob again. Thank goodness. Man, oh man. So, let's keep it going. Great barrier reef. I'm just trying to dodge everything, which is really tough when you're on these moving platforms. Because at some point, I we're just supposed to bowl over to him, I guess. Right like here. that. No, yeah, like that. Perfect. That was very lucky. Bubbles in the morning. Smells like. Oh no, don't liquid. freeze me. Don't do it. No. So, I might as well just stick around here. That way, if I get hit, I can just pick up the underwear right away. Yeah, as long as we pay attention to where it is, we should be fine. I see a prime bowling moment right there here. There we go. Is that gonna hit him? Nice yes, it will. Just one more time now. SpongeBob. We can do it. Oh gosh. Leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> oh man. Great barrier. He's spinning reef. around again. Okay. I see a prize. Ow, that hurt, but we got him, we got him right here. That's it! Boom! See ya, Patrick! Oh my gosh. Toxic Thanks terror. For saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Aw. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fillers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. Why? <laughs> I guess from being scared? I hope it's not from Blushing? Is that how sponges blush? I hope not. Uh, but yeah. Interesting. Fun boss fight. Very challenging. Definitely a lot more challenging than the Sandy boss. And we'll see. Are we going to go against a Robo SpongeBob I'm sorry, next? Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. All right, well, we get to explore this area now. Keep looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. Hey, you call them your robots. No, I... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe, but I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Oh, he's busted. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. <laughs> I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh. I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you. All right, well, interesting. Uh, let's look around a little bit, though, and see what else we can do. I can explore all that stuff. Kelp Forest, Kelp Outdoor there. Adventure. So that's a level right there. Interesting, that one. Uh, we already have enough for that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but what else is going on there? Hunter, we got all that. Did that hurt? Bubble I guess buddy, not. Oh, I hey! The next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Ooh. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Awesome, so let's try that out a little bit. L1. Whoa! 
Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool! It awesome! Shines. So there we go, let's, let's push this over this way too, cool. Ah, oh, I love that. <laughs> Reminds me of an ability in Ratchet and Clank out of all games, weird. Oh, and here's the dumpster behind Krusty Krab. Hey, you. Oh, that got us a sock. Laundry. Weird, all right, <laughs> interesting. And then over this way, we could do the same Fun thing with it. Boom. Go. That is so cool. So yeah, what else can we do around here? We could definitely get this one. That's gonna make it so much easier to get some stuff for sure. Same thing with this one way up this way. So we're just trying this out. It only has seven seconds of flying time, but that's plenty enough. And then same thing over this way. Because it's one of the only things that can destroy these without an external explosion, you know? So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I don't have to get all of them for right now. So to get into the chum bucket, like I can go in here right now, um, but I don't think this is the actual level like it was like in the uh, retirement home for Mermaid Man and Barnacle they Boy. Serve food here, yeah. Yes, but... Oh my, whoa, what's Flash! that? Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, <laughs> owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash. All right, well, look at all these guys. They're all customers now. Uh, we're gonna, just gonna do that really quickly. Oh, and there's some extra stuff up there. Might as well try to get it. I don't know if that'll reach. No, it won't. So we can use a flying thing. Gonna cost us 75 to get over there. I'm not really worried about it right now. I just wanted to see what else was available. A chum burger, chum fry, shake, a chum on a stick, chumbalaya, chum chili, chum pie. Ooh, the chumbalaya is new. All right then, interesting. Uh, we'll check some of that stuff out more in the future. Like I said, its own episode exploring that area. We're just trying to get everything in Bikini Bottom figured out for right now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really cool that we got this new ability. It's very useful. And I think that there is a spatula we missed in downtown Bikini Bottom that we still need to get with this, so that'll be excellent. I don't think we can even go inside of here right now. No, we can. Hey, Mr. Krabs. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out, and worse. They've got all me beautiful shiny objects. Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! All right, well, is that a level as well? Krusty Krabs is not a level, so we'll just go in. All right, let's see how this works. There's a lot going on in this game. I like it. So yeah, we'll explore the Krusty Krab a little bit today. I feel like I should be Whoa. working. <laughs> Ready, set, go. So just destroy all the robots in time, I guess. Just like in uh, Sandy's Dome. I like it. There we go. Uh, maybe not worry about all of the sparklies just now. I mean, it doesn't say there's a timer. It was making it seem like as if there was going to be a timer, but not really. Uh, let's get up this way. And I wanted level. to try, okay. This is not working. The, tiding, the turning on this is much tighter than you'd expect. So I, I think we can do that though. Um, I know they're going to try to attack me in the event of this, but if I could just fly up here. Wow, that controlling, You'll the controlling is so difficult on What was going on with that? Um, I swear it wasn't that difficult outside, but there we go, we destroyed that, which is the big thing I was trying to focus like on. Can you stop punch. that? Time for Thank a you. little sleepy sneak. And then up this way, I know you're gonna try to destroy me, but I can hit you back first. How did that not hurt you? What? Ready, boom. There we go. Sneak around, sneak around. Come on, stop it, sir. There we go. Why are you so difficult? Did they just take two hits and I just never realized? I guess so. Anyways, uh, is that all of them? I don't know. I feel like a new Seems like it to me. Right now, though, I'm just gonna destroy everything else, just to be sure. But it seems like we did what we had to do. It'd be really nice if that was it. We'll find out. Right now, let's just collect all this, too. Yeah, this is it's pretty cool being able to explore the Krusty Krab. Well, there might be more in other rooms and stuff. So I'll have to worry about that. Okay, that'll make all that mad. I love Should give us presents. lots of shinies. Yep, we're at the 4,200. So we're one third of the way there to our next one. I did check it is 12,000 that we need. We can't destroy the tables or anything. But I can still destroy things. Is there a, a mime looking in through the window? What? 
That's creepy. I don't like that. Boom, get some of that. And yeah, let's see if we can't go in. Condiment Island. Uh, so we cannot go into any of these buildings or these rooms. So let's see what Mr. Krabs says now. I would imagine he'd be happy that we destroyed everything, but I don't know if he, yeah, because usually they're inside the level, right? I don't know, it's a little weird. But I guess we're about to find out. It, it takes a while to load. I feel that's the one downside of this game is it actually has some pretty long loading screens. Uh, but Mr. Krabs. Phew. You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. And we actually get a golden spatula for that. Awesome, so there's 62 in total. Very awesome. And what else do we got going on around here? Uh, not too much more. There's still stuff to explore, though, because, wow, look at that back there. Um, press R1 to enter SpongeBob's dream. Is that a level? That is a level. Okay, it's Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, Kelp Forest, which is over that way. So we're all gonna be worrying about that soon, but for right now, if this is an area we can enter, it's not. Boats. Okay, so this is this is the movie theater, but it's not something I can get into. That's fine. So if that's everything I can explore for right now, so be it, that's okay with me. We're actually gonna go back and get a level, or go into the downtown Bikini Bottom level, come back with the cruise bubble. I think that's what we currently have, right? Maybe? I wanna find out, so. This seems like a cruise bubble. It cruises through the air, right? We can't like ride it, but maybe we can hit a button or something. I'm not really sure, so Coming that's what we're gonna find out. Oh boy. I don't think this is right. But even then, I don't know, this is a little weird. Come on, come on. Oh, I can hit that button. I can for sure hit that button. Let's try this again. Might have to tank, make the turn a little wider. I don't know if hitting the button would actually do anything now. This is tough for sure. Okay, got rid of him, which is fine. Good to get out of the way. Oh my. Oh, that turn is tough. I hit it, it worked! Awesome! Okay, so let's get back over there now. The question is, I didn't see a spatula. I see the sock, which is awesome. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. But, I don't see a spatula. Come back with the cruise bubble. Is that not the cruise bubble then? It never really told me what it was called. But what more, aha, aha, here we go, boom. And there it is. Okay, this isn't gonna actually get it though. So I gotta go back over there again. I figured it out, cool. So there we go, that means that up until this point we've gotten basically every spatula in a level in the game so far. So that's really cool, I'm glad that we could have finally gotten this. Let's just wait for this, just like that, awesome. Um, why is it going down? That was a little weird. And, thank you. Wait, wait there we go, and thank you. So there we go, it's 63 in total. That's really good. So that's everything we needed to do in this area for right now. That's actually this area totally completed because we got all the socks there too. There was some other spot I know of. I think it was in Jellyfish Fields. It was another sock to get. So I'll try looking around for that now and see if we can't find it. Okay, so this is at Jellyfish Fields, um, one of the areas. And I remember seeing this, I think it was on the second episode, where we could do this. We could stand on this, it would show things up. I know this is just for a sock, but I figured I might as well take the chance to showcase even more um, of this ability. We'll be going through this level and all the levels in its own episode, trying to get the remainder socks whenever I need to. Um, I figure that'll be closer to the end of the game, or maybe even after we beat the game. Because right now it doesn't seem to be too much worth worrying about. Who knows what other abilities I might still need to get and come back with. And I missed. <laughs> okay, try again. Perfect. And then one last one over here, and hopefully, oh my gosh. It has this very, very floaty, almost heavy turning where it does, you really gotta pull it up and down. Uh, but there we go, and that gets Another us a sock. So that's not 10 socks, so I don't quite have everything I need. But I, I did wanna show you that if you go to Mr. Krabs, you can actually see it is three, six, nine, 12. So I'm guessing it's 15, 18, 21, 24,000, that's a lot. Um, same thing with Patrick, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We'll get there eventually. It's gonna take some time. For right now though, we're just gonna go back to Bikini Bottom. Uh, and yeah, 
I'll see you there. But what are these last two? On, oh, actually, if there's more we can get, oh, maybe. Maybe I should try to find these real quick. So maybe I could use these platforms to get to the top of Chum Bucket, it looks like it. Um, How do I wanna do this then? Do I just wanna, I don't think I can make that jump. I, I can get up here. No, wait, whoa, I'm sliding, not the big hand. Whoops. Where am I gonna get be put? Okay, right here. I mean, I could play it risky here. No, you can't. There's like a wall. Wait a minute. Was there an invisible wall when I jumped? Yeah, there is. Huh. Then how am I supposed to get up? Yeah, there's a wall that pushes you away. And then there's a, oh, there's a golden thing there. There's gotta be something going on here. I can't get down. I'm like stuck. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> What is going on? It has me stuck up here now. Oh boy, can I go down now? There we go. Feel like a new spot. Yeah, I don't know exactly what to do about that. There's gotta be a way though. Aha, look at this stuff. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Oh no, got it, there's one of them. So maybe if we hit all these buttons, something will happen. I can only hope. There we go. And then one more time, right up that way. Nice. What did that do? I have no clue. Robot headquarters. Yo, really, what did that do? Oh, okay, here we go, there's a jump right over this way. I didn't see that. Sometimes it just doesn't make much of a notice. Whoa, look at us, we're on the tippity top of the jump bucket. But we just need this right here. Boom, another golden spatula. Hello, bikini bottom. Cool, and then, what about that? Can I make that jump? I sure hope so, because I'm gonna go for it. No! Oh, man. Maybe I should try again, because I feel like that you could. Boing. You know what, maybe I could jump off of one of those. There it is, you just have to make that second jump a little late. And there we go. One unbeatable sponge. I wonder Fresh if that's all the possible like health we can get. We can now hold up the six underwear. That's pretty good. But for right now, let's go back into the jump bucket, because apparently there's something more I can do here. So I definitely want to figure that out, and then we'll be done here, for today's yes, episode. But they Ready? Don't serve Boom. Love. Oh, I see it up there. I see it right there. How do I do that then? Do I just jump up like that? Aha, there we go. Golden spatula number 65, and that should be, very surprisingly, every gold spatula in Bikini Bottom. We're heading into another level. This one is Kelp Forest Outdoor Adventure. Requires 50 of the golden spatula. We have like 65 of them, so we should be A-OK -okay with that. But yeah, this level, if I remember correctly, this is the episode with like the magic conscience stuff. Um, that that's like a bit more of a later on episode compared to some of these other ones, Here as far we as I are remember. In the kelp forest, an interesting area with many sights to see. For those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Mm-hmm. Okay, well there's a golden spatula. Oh my! Keep jumping. Okay, well he seems to be handling it pretty well. Whoa! Look at him. That's good. <laughs> maybe we don't need to destroy the robots. Oh no! So maybe they're a little bit more difficult than they seem. Wow. All right. Maybe the problem will be solved. Who knows? Anyways, yeah. Let's activate this box. And this area looks like it's gonna be. Whoa. Hey. So these will hit me back. I don't like that. Oh, I really don't like that. Uh. Okay. Be careful. Uh, you may use this teleport box. Oh yeah, that one. Um. Dude, this level seems pretty cool. Uh, definitely, I like the vibe of it so far. Combo, there we go. Let's get over this way and try not to take any more damage, but lots of hidden stuff to explore, it seems. Like, what's back this way? Nothing really, but <laughs> there could have been. And I like the music. Very different. Let's jump onto these leaves and, ooh. So I'm seeing a lot more robots down that way. But yeah, those were new robots we were gonna have to take on in those little like inflatable tubes. Let's see what that's all about. But for right now, uh, let's go bowling. Okay, well, not what I exactly wanted to do, but there we go. <laughs> but we're still trying to collect a lot more of those, and we also can use our new ability that we unlocked in the last episode, which is that right there, to explode some of those, no problem. So, yeah, there should be a lot we're able to do. I do want to try this out and see what happens against these guys. Oh, I totally missed. Try again. Okay. Oh you no, oh I got one of them, actually all three of them. Up. Wow, nice, and that got me a purple one. So what's the deal with this? Cause it looks like, I don't know if this is a good idea. 
Oh no. Oh! Okay, I made it, I made it. All that did was really get some, me some health, but I guess I can still go up this way too. Yo, what is, whoa, no, <laughs> really? Oh darn. It doesn't seem like there's a way to get back up. Hmm, that's tough. Yeah, weird. I don't know why they'd only give you one chance for that one, but there might be another way to get up. Well, I almost made it. What would that would have led to? Oh, you know, there's a sock up there, yeah. Okay, so if we don't make it right now, it's not that big of a deal. Well, let's go over this way. Destroy some of these. There we go. Oh, you know what? I am supposed to bowl through this. Look at all that. Wow, mega combo. And that got me the sock. Okay. Or is that the same sock? Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. No, it's not the same sock. Interesting. Huh. Fresh like a spring breeze. Well, I'm glad to have that. Now, let's check out this campsite over here. This looks fun. Oh, there's Mrs. Puff. She's been around a lot. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> <laughs> How silly. I'm just uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean uh, campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Puff. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you've found all of them. All right, well, let's do that. Hello again, Mrs. Puff. Good job so far, SpongeBob, but no time to rest now. Let's round these students, uh, campers up before it gets too dark. Okay, Mrs. Puff, I'll keep looking. So, let's grab as much as we can here before we move forward, but I guess we gotta save all of the, the campers or the students to port ahead. Whoa, what is this? Wait, where will this go? I'm very confused. Um, I guess it just you just can fall in. Is that a joke to an episode I just don't know? Maybe, uh, let's destroy you. See, we really can't take those guys on as they are, but we can do this and this works out pretty well. I like this a lot then. Well, actually, did it, it didn't get that guy. Whoa! So you gotta really get all of them. Okay, well that time it still didn't work. What if I, maybe I just gotta get rid of the guy on the top? I guess, I don't know, it's a little weird. Because they keep popping Fun back up. Control, weird, why did that work so well last time, but not too much this time? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that time we're good. Weird, because I, I did it all in one hit before. Anything back this way? I keep on seeing these areas we can explore through, but there just isn't much to them. Huh. Okay, let's activate you so that you get all mad. And I guess there was some more up this way that I can't quite reach for right now, I don't think. I mean, sort of, kind of. Also, there was the area to switch to Patrick before, but I don't really see too much I can do with that. So maybe we'll worry about that later, too. <laughs> There's a lot of weird things going on in this level. Hmm, unless I can hop on any of this stuff now. Okay, keep moving forward then. Of course, we'll just try to get what we can. Whatever we miss, we can re-explore later. But there are some hidden little things back here that I definitely wanna grab. There we go. Oh, there's more from, whoa, that guy's new. Oh, but you are not. Let's go ahead and get, oh, rid of you. I might be easier to run up on him then. Gotcha. Wait, just keep hitting him. Oh, he's gonna try to run away. I'm going bowling then. Come on, get him. Oh, that might be a problem. There we go. And now he's going back this way again. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna get you. There we go. Dude, this guy with the laser beam is new. Hmm. I might have to fly this over and destroy that generator first. Boom, that was actually really good. Now I can get you, or not, hold on. Watch it. And let's try this again. If I could just destroy, okay, that time I destroyed all three of them. Weird, but good. Anyways, once again, there's something for Patrick. I guess if we were to stack up the watermelon, we'd be able to get up higher or something like that. I mean, at the same time, can't I just? It definitely would not be enough. There'd have to be more than one watermelon around. Who knows? Uh, I'll keep chipping away at it though. We'll, we'll figure out what to do eventually. For right now, what's going on this I way? Feel like a new sponge. We're getting some underwear back, which is good. And there is stuff down there. Oh, that is definitely for Patrick. So I'll have to explore some more with Patrick soon. But for right now, what is this gonna be? 
Oh, I know what to do with this. Use our new ability. So let's just launch that over. It should be able to make it there in five seconds, I would hope. Got it. Aha! Okay, so that's a little bit more clear, and I think that led to one of the campers, so we'll definitely help them out. But for right now, these weird guys with the laser beams now are just something we have to deal with, I guess. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. All right. Take that! <laughs> Who are you talking to now? Who knows? Fresh like a spring breeze. And can I get up this? I mean, I can. I don't think I'm supposed to, but weird. All right, well, there wasn't too much more there for me, but once again, we can get over this way. If we have Patrick, we can do that. We know where Patrick is, or you know where the bus stop is. So we'll worry about that soon enough. But for right now, let's get back this way. Boing, boing. Oh no, oh no, hold on. <laughs> there we go. So I guess we should go back then and get that like one camper. I don't know if that's a good time to do that now because there's still other stuff to explore, of course. But for right now, we'll try this. And yeah, it was right over this way. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh no. Oh, there we go. You found a camper, one out of six of them to find. Oh, okay. So we still have a lot more to go with that. And I guess yeah, there is another one over that way, but I'm guessing it could be the same deal where we have to go out and find um, a button to press somewhere. So we might as well move forward. We can always go back to talk to, uh, or to figure out that one. But yeah, let's go this way, because I don't think we made it too much farther than that. I don't think I can make that jump. All right. Yeah, there's more here. I really like the music here, though. It's very fancy. And let's get rid of these jellyfish. Awesome. And here's our first golden spatula. I feel like getting all the golden spatulas in this level might actually be quite tough. It seems like there's just a lot going on everywhere. So, yeah, that was our first one. There's still, of course, Final the Lost Campers and a bunch more. Only seven socks this time, but I think that, once again, uh, it's gonna be tough to find all of them. It didn't say where we're going next, so it's a mystery to me. I guess it's farther into the forest if we're not careful. We might get lost, but hey, maybe we're into like Squidward or something. I feel like if there's any level for him to show up on, it would be cool if it was this one. I'm sort of bummed you can't play as Squidward in this game. That'd be fun. You know, maybe, you know, we've played uh, the Crash Bandicoot remakes, of course, and you know, those were so popular that Crash Bandicoot's getting a new game now, so maybe after all this, SpongeBob will get a new game. It'd be cool if they added more playable characters, but here's Mr. Krabs. Hi, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. Okay, so we'll definitely try to get Patrick for that then. We can press this button to reset the stone teeth. SpongeBob to mission control. Okay, there Come is. Go. Gotcha. So, first off, let's explore that guy. <laughs> but there's a bus stop right here, so I can switch over to Patrick. No problem. Oh, they're scared. I guess because of this guy. Oh, again, again. And there's something with this stone tiki we can do then. Okay, let's talk Hi, to him. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there. I saw three tikis scattered around this area. I've already the destroyed one. couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Okay, well, for right now, let's slam that. And yeah, pick this up and actually properly put it over here. So we gotta be careful of these guys, but we should be able to handle this, I hope. So the next one is somewhere. I guess I might as well look around this area. Oh boy. <laughs> Jump around with Patrick, oh gosh. It's a little scary at times. I feel like he's a little less acrobatic than SpongeBob is. Okay, much better this time. There we go. Let's destroy this guy. And I guess we're going down here, but this is a bit of a problem. Will he notice me? He won't yet, but I can body slam. Yeah, that worked. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, but the question still remains, where is That's the next Tiki better. head? Oh my, uh, Oof. body slam on this guy too. Yeah, my back feels better. <laughs> That's good. And what about over there? Huh, no, 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 ah, uh, wait, wait. Uh, wh how did I bounce? That was really weird. So I think I'm supposed to jump over to this side. Yep, there we go. And that hit that button, and then way over this way, there's a golden spatula chilling out. Okay, perfect. So we can use this right here. We gotta be quick with this. Oh my, and then go Patrick, go. Keep sliding. Oh man, we got double timers going on at the moment. 
I hope I can make it. I think I can. Uh, it's getting close. Let me do some belly slams. There we go. We got it. That one's pretty cool, but also pretty tough. All right, it's, it's still going down. I don't like that. I don't want it to close on me. So I don't know where we, where else we can maybe find some stuff, but I should probably look around. Hmm. Not really finding too much over there. Don't want to risk it too much. I know we're probably going to end up falling in the water here, which is not good. So let me get back over there real quick. Go, Badger, go. There we go. So let's toss it back in. And we're just gonna get back over there, no problem. I hope, I think so. It seems like we just go a little bit faster if we keep throwing out his tummy like this. And then we're just gonna jump up there where I think there's another Tiki head. I, I, only, I can only hope, right? There we go. So let's jump out like that. Oh, there it is. So what else is over here? I don't know if I should be worrying about it. He's gonna move over. There's at least another camper to find. Yep, found a camper. Cool. I'm gonna get you. Because this guy is tough. If I can get rid of him now, that'd be great. Also, we're more than halfway there when it comes to our next uh, shiny prize for um, Mr. Krabs. Still might take us a good amount of effort, but I'll keep chipping away at it. So what else is going on over here? This seems to be its own area that I would like to just not worry about for right now. Okay, I was getting stuck on the vine. Ah, so we get a box. And what does this button do? Wait, does that reset the tiki's? I think it does. Uh, so don't press that button. Uh, so what do we do with this? Am I supposed to, oh no, down this way, okay, ready? Boing, oh no, what? What? What's happening? <laughs> I think it's trying to tell me where to go? Okay, that's weird. I am so confused. Uh. Yeah, if I could go back, that'd be great, but, oh man, that is odd. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, so I can just make that jump. Awesome, and now I'm back here. Okay, I wasn't really thinking I could do that, but I could, that's cool. Now I'll throw this one back over, just like that, and we should be fine with that. I just need to find out where we're going next, really, because, I mean, I guess, I, you know what I gotta do? I gotta get back up and around and try all that again. Yeah. You would think I'd be able to just make this jump. I don't trust it though. No, you can, so you can really just sort of cheat that. <laughs> All right, well, I don't have to worry about it much. This guy's still around though, so if I could. Yep, just get him like that, no problem. And then go this way then. <laughs> okay, that sounds could have been better constructed, but you know what I mean. There we go. And I'm just trying to get across right now. It looks like there might have been more up there. But I don't think I can make that jump, so maybe it's for something else. A little weird, hard to say for right now. Oh man. And then a big belly slam on this guy. Pretty there we go. Sparkly thingy. Now what are we doing with this? We can destroy that guy. That's something. I don't think I can make that jump though. Yes I can, I don't know if that's what Clear I'm supposed to do, oh, but. This one goes boom. And then there was more stuff over this way too, so maybe this is a bit more of a dead end I should worry about first. Oh, I can't though, I'd have to come back as SpongeBob, for sure. No way I'm getting past that. Well, unless I can toss this melon at you. Aha, Patrick has his own way of solving things. Not bad, so let's also, do you wanna feed the clam 2,600 shiny objects to open the gate? Sure. So I guess that might make things a bit more convenient for us. Looks like it. Still don't know. There's a hook for SpongeBob, but I still don't know where the last zone Tiki is. And here's another camper for us too. Found a camper, hooray! So I think that's three out of six of them so far. Yep, so we're doing good. Let's run back over this way and then do this again. Okay, I made the jump, that's good. And is this really what I'm supposed to be doing right now? We're gonna find out. I mean, luckily I have another way to get over. I mean, I guess not really, but I don't know, it's weird. There we go. Once again, I do not do not know if this is the way I'm supposed to be going. I don't think this resets the Tiki's. I sure hope it doesn't. Oh, 
Okay. Sure. I'm a little confused by that still, but for right now, you know, I'm just gonna keep going. This whole level is so confusing. <laughs> just because I don't know exactly which direction I'm supposed to be going. Hey, this is mine! Yes, it is. Oh, like, what's the point of this leaf? It doesn't really do too much for me. Oh no, whoa, <laughs> gotta be careful. I think that I could definitely make my way up there though, so let's try that out. Oh no, whoa. Oh, maybe I can't, no, oh, darn. So I gotta get all the tiki's again. <laughs> That's really rough. So we might as well go this way for now. I'm trying to find out where that third tiki is, seeing how we can get the first two relatively easy, easily. I wanna see if the, the third one is maybe just what we should focus on first, because when we die, they all reset, which is unfortunate. I'd like to throw that at him. There we go, he at least did some damage. Now he's running off. I think I can make that jump, but once again, is it worth it for just a couple of shinies? I don't know. I don't think so. And I don't think I can really reach that. So I'm just gonna not worry about it. And instead, whoa, I feel like I almost didn't make that. Slam on him, that was good. I guess I must have done like two points of damage or something. Same thing to this guy, let's slam on him and that's an instant takedown. So there's where I would go down with SpongeBob. So let's see what this is about. Oh, you know, this is gonna get me back over to that sock. Okay, well that's not too bad. No, <laughs> come on. So I did try to get over there, but I couldn't quite reach what I was supposed to. I guess there has to be somewhere where we press a button and it raises the leaf just like before. So I'm not gonna worry about it for right now. It's not worth, you know, falling over and over again just for the sock. But I am trying to get to the stone tiki. Ooh, so here we are, yeah. finally. I'm gonna grab this. Ooh. No, okay, well, luckily we had the button. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Uh, so just go ahead and give this a toss right over to that. And then you are going down, mister. Uh, and then we just gotta worry about the la last of it. Which, there we go. I'm so glad we can do that. I know it's not what we're supposed to do, but you know, I'll take what I can get. There we go. Toss that over, and then finally, give this a toss as well. And there we go, awesome. So, all of that's raising, and we're getting to a golden spatula now. I mean, we could also, like I said, re-export a SpongeBob and try to find some stuff. Well Let's talk to Mr. Krabs. Son. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one, you are, Patrick. <laughs> All right, well, with that done, let's go ahead and switch over. And like I said, we'll explore a little bit as SpongeBob now, but I'll also go ahead and grab that golden spatula. I just wanna get over to those uh, shinies at the least, because this area was a little bit complicated, but we figured it out, and that's uh, spatula number 68. So we're making some good progress. Back over here. What's the best way to actually get to it? I'm not sure. I mean, I guess just Fresh, like this. Like a spring breeze. Let's hope. Yeah, okay. And this gives us at least a couple Whee! of extra shinies. A couple hundred of them, I think. So that's good. Let's dive again so that I can touch that guy. And then I think that's about it all I can get there. Shines. Better than nothing. All right, I'm not too worried about the socks for right now. I'm just gonna go back and we'll move forward with the level. So that'll be pretty good. Get just right over this way. I go across this bridge. A little scary, but, oh, there's a tartar robot waiting for me. I don't like it. Gotcha. Oh no, oh, come on, got him. There we go. So I do want to see our progress so far. We missed one thing, well, that was just getting all the campers. So we'll keep working on that as we move towards uh, the Kelp Caves, oh boy. So, so far the Kelp Forest is a lot of fun, albeit tricky. <laughs> tricky level, still fun to get through. Uh, oh, it's uh, Barnacle hey, Boy. I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals that power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do, what's it do, what's it do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. All right, let's get to it. I don't have all my crystals yet. 
I hope you're still helping me find them. Yes, I am, Barnacle Boy. I'm doing my best. Okay, good to hear. <laughs> uh, maybe you can get Patrick's help if you're having trouble. All right, we'll definitely, we'll do that. Going to switch over to him now. Yeah, Patrick's been a big help so far into the, in this level. He's being quite super as well. <laughs> but yeah, what what is, oh. So actually, we need SpongeBob for this. Because I can't do that. <laughs> maybe if I was quick enough. That, <laughs> how funny would it be if I could? <laughs> Either way, back over to SpongeBob. I'm sure at some point we'll need Patrick. But... Say hello Let's just to launch my that bubble. and totally miss. No, I got pushing it. A simple button is the most satisfying. Push, mm -hmm. push, push, push. So what's going on with this one? We can't go through this door quite yet, but I can slam on that button. I'm guessing this is where we need Patrick. So this level's yet yeah, interesting, where you have to constantly switch between the two. Hmm. That might take a bit of work, but just standing on this button, it doesn't raise that one as well. Okay, that's what I was just trying to make sure. But back over to Patrick. We are going to throw that tiki head onto the pedestal and see what happens. It sort of is a little bit uh, tedious. You have to run all the way back to switch over and then all the way back sure over. Gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Yes, you do. All right, so that's gonna raise that. We're, hopefully we can stay as Patrick. We might have to switch back uh, to SpongeBob. Yep. Okay, well, at least we're getting this. Not so much, but that would open that up, which opens the door. So we do have to come back as SpongeBob again. But first, crystal number two. Uh, you found a crystal, there are four left. I'm working on it, so. Back over here, we are going to get over to SpongeBob and hope that we can just stick as one character for a little bit. Because I don't mind jumping between the two. I wish there was a sort of a button that made it so that you can switch between the two at any time. You, you would think that would be a bit better. You know, why not, you know? But I guess not. Anyways, right over here, we are going to hop up. Oh my, <laughs> almost didn't make it. And then all we have to do is throw this in the correct direction. That's not good. It's, it's really hard to aim, but this time I got it. Maybe. Oh, because you can't adjust it at all or it goes Come wildly in one direction. Oh my. It's way harder than it looks. <laughs> One more time, third time's the charm, right? Or is this the fourth time? I don't know, here we go, got it. So, that should be the door open, I would hope. We're gonna find out. Yep. So, it looks like once again we'll need SpongeBob's ability. Uh, but first we need Patrick again. They really just have you jump back and forth over and over again. We might as well get a couple of other things done first though, if I can get rid of you. That'll make it easier for Patrick. There's the thing for Patrick, but here, get up that. And then once again, gotta throw it all the way over there for SpongeBob. So I'm not quite sure what Patrick needs to do in this area yet, so that's not what I wanted. Hmm, am I getting turned around? No. Okay, so yeah, I guess it's just down this way. I don't know why that just didn't look right. Got it! And that opened this door. See, I really don't know what this tiki is for just yet. I feel like a new sponge. Something sounds like, oh, up there. Like it's glowing. So, don't quite know how to get up to that one. I'm sure we'll figure it out soon, though. Cha -ching. Hmm. Okay, so we should have no problem getting this little robot. That's where we're supposed to bring the tiki. Note taken. Okay. Where are the Thundercloud robots at? Because I need to get rid of them now. I'm not sure. It must be up here, right? I can only imagine. Now we're above him now. Oh no, they're coming up to us. Here he is. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I can't really reach him from here. <laughs> Maybe like this? Okay, what? Why did it push me over? Okay, that was so weird. Oh, I really don't, ho I hope I don't have to open up all those doors again. That'd be a pain. I don't think so, but this is definitely weird so far. And you know what? I should probably use this ability to get him out of here. So let's find him first and foremost. There he is. Okay, try again. He was right over here. Oh no, now he's over that way. So he's cir circling around. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> if I could just get rid of him, this will be so much easier. So I gotta go for him. Nice, Take there it that. is. So I think with that, maybe we should run back and switch to the Patrick. Maybe that'd just be a better idea in general. Why am I doing this to this guy? It really doesn't need to 
be done that way. I can get rid of them, no problem, just like that. Okay. So Patrick, I need your help. They really need to set up another bus stop somewhere. I'm going the wrong way. Gets a little confusing, doesn't it? Oh, and there's a sock up there. Wonder how I get that. I guess just by throwing around some of the tiki heads or something. Not too worried about it for right now. Okay, watch it. Mr. Jellyfish, I don't wanna deal with you. So with Patrick now, we gotta storm through all this. And I guess, have we put a tiki head on this? I don't think so, so we'll have to see what that does. But the best thing for that would be the tiki head, so we gotta find it first. Well, there's another one here. I don't know then, weird. Did we like destroy one, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, boom, get rid of you. What's up this way? Oh, there's something, all right. Even more stuff, oh my gosh, it gets so confusing. I don't know how I feel about all that. <laughs> there's so much to get, but you have to do a lot of this like weird back and forth. Oh, there's a bus stop back this way though. Oh, I see. That makes it so much easier. So we've looped around now. Oh, that is way better. Okay, where does this bring me? Not much of a place just yet, but what we're gonna do is hop down there, switch over to SpongeBob, and then we should be able to get back up wherever the box is, it's right there. Excellent. So that makes sense. I'm glad that they did it that way. Okay, and now we're here. So bouncing back up here, yep. I need to hit that and find where the button is. Is it somewhere, yep, like that. Oh, <laughs> that's tough. Okay, that one worked. Took a couple of tries. Don't even know what it did. Don't think anything to this fine, but I'm guessing at some point that's gonna raise and we can reach something. But for right now, not gonna worry about it. Just gonna keep looking around. Okay, so there were still a couple of spots like this. I don't know where the tiki heads are. Am I supposed to keep going back and getting the old ones? I'm not really sure. So if I could just keep moving forward for now and not worry about it, might be my, my best bet. Okay, so first off, do this just to reset them and take this guy out. We found a camper. Well, I don't have to take him out. <laughs> I just have to you know, point out that he's there, I guess. Hmm, so I definitely can't make that jump. But now we can go back with Patrick and I guess get a couple of things figured out. It gets a little weird, but there's certainly something I can do here. So for right now, right over here, we have the bus stop again. It's at least, you know, less tedious now than it was before. It's still a bit time consuming. It's not the best situation, but I certainly, it's certainly better than nothing. There we go. And don't immediately jump back down. That'd be silly. So we know where the one stone tiki head is, but I guess we just have to bring that one around a bunch until we get done what we need to get done. Seems like that's gonna make the most sense to me. So let's grab that. And then back down this way. What do we got going on? This one right here, give it a toss. That'll raise that. Hmm. And I guess this one's just gonna bring us all the way to the top, I would hope. Because we don't need to press those buttons, we've already pressed them. Boing. Here we go. Well, I guess there's more than one button, isn't there, huh? How was I supposed to get something up here? Okay. Well, I can't get a watermelon up. And is removing this going to undo all of that? Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on, get back here. Oh, it might be stuck. No, I got it, I got it. No, I don't. Oh, that is so weird. So yeah, I got it. Ah. Hey, my back feels better. All right, so I have to do that again. This is a tough area of this level for sure. So now that we're back here, there is another watermelon, which is cool, but don't have to worry about that too much. I just wanna bring this back. Because wasn't there, yeah, up this way. I don't know Hard if I ever did this one or not. Rock. I honestly can't remember. Woo, so now's a good time go. to find out if I did this. Aha, I did not. So let's go and grab that crystal. It looks like it's actually not enough. No, it is, no, it is, I was gonna say, because we could set up the, the melon so that we can get up there. There we go. Three more left to find. We'll make progress with it for right now. I need to snag this back. And we have to just sort of bounce our way up. That's our main goal. I'll toss it up there for right now, though. And then, 
I hope this works. Oh, it's so weird. Okay. Certainly a lot more challenging than you'd think. There we go. And then toss out like that. Wee! But how are we supposed to get. What? Come on. Ready? Jump, jump, push. That was actually not so bad. Uh, that is so confusing now. Because I can get that over there, no problem. But where. I guess there is that one tiki head way back at the beginning I gotta get now. That is wild. Okay, so after more running around with tiki heads than I bar bargained for, we can now get over this way, pick this guy up, and give him a toss right over like that, and that'll give us one right over there. So I know where that is, I just gotta hop down and get it and not land in the water. If we land in the water, we mess all this up, we gotta do it all again. So, gotta be very careful here. Boing. Oh no, Woo. ah, I don't like that. And then there's another thing as SpongeBob to do here, so I guess we gotta go back and get SpongeBob. I wish it would just tell me that sooner, but okay. So we're back here with SpongeBob. We need him to get up this way, and what will this do? Way down over there, now we can hit this one. Gotcha. So, that's a bit of a tricky turn. Oh my, there it is. And now it's just straight over on the first try, not bad. And that unlocked the door for the golden spatula over here, that's cool. There's still more crystals to find now. Yeah, that's that's at least good. How many crystals are left? Uh, one or two. Well, tell me. Uh, one more crystal left. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be somewhere around, so I should keep looking for that. Hmm, I don't know where that would be, though. Well, I heard it, I think. Because it definitely makes like a shimmery noise. But at the same time, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe it just might be farther onward. I don't know, though. Uh, through the kelp caves. I don't know, maybe I should see what that is. But I'd be really surprised if it's not within this area. So I looked around, maybe I'll talk to Barnacle Boy. I don't Boy. have all my crystals yet. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, I really don't know where the other ones are. So it might actually just be worth our while to move forward then. Because we did this one, right? I think. Maybe not. Maybe we did. I don't think we did actually. So. I guess we should try this out, because this must lead to something. <laughs> okay, right where I was, uh, I was about to give up. So, get this. And then, hop on through. And I don't think we need much, we just need the, one of the tiki's that was on the ground, because I'm pretty sure we didn't do this one. And we just have to toss it up this way. So that really shouldn't be that tough, I would think. I don't know what that noise is that is constantly playing. Sounds like something rowing or something. I just need to grab this, pick it up. And that's gonna undo a lot of other stuff, but shouldn't it be that big of a deal for us at this point. We've already gone Hard up there and gotten everything. Rock. But if we sneak on past this way, I can yeah, give that a toss up there. Same thing again here. Bit of a steep throw. I might need some other things, but nope, we got it. And then just toss that right onto there. Aha! We definitely have not done this. And way up here, is it just a purple thing? I really hope not, because if so, I am totally clueless on where this last crystal is. Let's hope that that's not it. Okay, Patrick, what are you doing? Come on a little bit higher. Oh, here we go, awesome. So yeah, it was around, I just had to do some extra looking. Uh, you found the last crystal. So let's hop all the way down, <laughs> just like that. Oh, wrong way. And I just want to talk to Barnacle Boy real quick and see what he has to say, because he should give us a golden spatula, I would hope. Hello. Hey, it's the pink blobby guy. Yep, that's us. So let's switch back over, I guess, to SpongeBob. He needs to see SpongeBob for this. Um, here we go. Barnacle boy, I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. Ooh. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> what happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh -huh, wow. Yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
All right, well, there we go. Another golden spatula, 70 in total. Very cool. I'm glad that worked out. Hi again, Barnacle Boy. Uh, hey, kid. Anything I can help you with? No, just saying hi to one half of my favorite superhero duo. Gee, uh, that's great, kid, but uh, don't you have some robot thingy to get back to? Yes, we do. All right then, see so ya yeah, with that done. We, we've gotten most of them done, but there's still more to explore, so we're just gonna keep going. And I guess it might be faster to get up this way. But we're just gonna go right back through that one area. We should just be fine to move forward. I am very excited though, just to see what's next. <laughs> just because we spent a lot of time backtracking in this area. So, I I'm done with it. <laughs> I've had my fill. So right over this way, yep. We'll see what's next. This is Kelp Vines. Because I don't know if this is one of those areas like uh, rock bottom went sort of full circle. I don't know if this will be the same thing, but I guess we're gonna find out. Ooh. Oh, whoa, look at this, it's gonna be a sliding section. Awesome. And there's another golden spatula. Hi, course. Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. <laughs> I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Accept the time challenge? Well, yeah, sure, I why not? I'm busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off. Okay, so let's give it a go. I'll activate that. I, I don't like how the time starts before I can hit the box, but we'll make the most of our time here. Whoa. So this one actually looks like we're gonna have to try I a couple of times, because not only is it very tight with the turns, but there might be more than one path. I'm trying to make sure I see everything, but you never know. Whoa. This is cool, though. So far, this is my favorite slide yet. It shines. Oh, boy. Got it. Okay. Still have 77 seconds to get through this one and beat Barnacle Boy, or, or Mermaid Man's time. Got it. Oh no, 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 no! I was waiting for that. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, it's a very thin course, so you Still really gotta stay on there. haven't my record yet. Perseverance is the key. But you're the greatest superhero that ever lived. How could I, a simple sponge, topple your record? Keep trying, youngster, keep trying. Except the time challenge, yeah, so let's try again. But I'm glad he was so encouraging, that's sweet. Well, let's get back to it. This time, not gonna go too crazy with obviously pick up some sparklies along the way, that's awesome, but I'm not trying to do any corner cuts to begin with, but just trying to stay on the track for as long as possible is great. There we go. Okay, keep it going. Nice. Whoa. Be careful. Right on top of him. That's good. And then what about over here? Gotcha. What? Wait, what? I didn't bounce. Did I accidentally double jump? Oh no. Okay, doing much better this time. There it is. So I don't think I've seen past that. So we're just gonna keep going for right now. Okay, whatever bounces we can. Awesome, there's a checkpoint for us as well. Okay, well there's something up over that way. I guess this is a better way to go though. I have no clue what's going on at the moment. This is where we'll have to re-explore some stuff, I'm sure, because it looks like there's more than one path. But these pathways are so thin. It's just really tough to see what's going on. Come on now. Not bad. Whoa, whoa, I can't see. My gosh, I can't believe I actually made the jump though. So there is like definitely more than one path, maybe even multiple. Okay, well this is, is it looping around now? We have 24 seconds left to get to the end. I have no, close how, no clue how close we are, but we did it. You win, return to Mermaid Man for reward, and we also got one for just getting to the bottom. That's great. That was crazy though. So let's try again, just like that. And let's talk to Mermaid Man. Well now, that's some time you've gotten. I guess you could say I had that course licked. I guess I owe you a reward. Take this golden spatula. Sure Thanks, thing. Mermaid Man. Okay, so with this, we're up to 72, and I think 
the only other spatula we gotta get is for Mrs. Puff, right? Uh, let's find out. Yep, it was just finding all the lost campers. We still have two more left to find, so I might have to like re-explore the uh, very first area in the level because I just don't really see too much more, but I know that there was still somewhere to go after this, so who knows? We'll keep going for right now. Oh boy, gotcha. That was pretty good. But I know that there was still more, so I wanna at least try to go to the different path. I tried to take the left one every time when I could, so I wanna see what's going on this time. Maybe we could go a different direction. Yeah, this is actually a really cool side section. It's very challenging. I guess you ought to just jump on him. I keep on thinking I can make a jump there, but nope, I think you're just supposed to turn. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely the most challenging slide section yet. But I'm all for it. It's a lot of fun. There we go. And deal, what is the deal with this? You know, is that what I was supposed to do? No, this is definitely a downhill. So I guess it's more of a shortcut. Gotcha. I don't know what's going on, which way we're going. So maybe some of the things we were passing were the same path. It was just from a different part of it. It's so hard to tell. Oh my gosh. This is starting to look a little bit more familiar. Yeah, and then there's this crazy turn right here. Wow, we definitely didn't do this way. Hmm. So where is this gonna lead? It's more or less the same thing. There's a couple of extra sparklies along the way. Okay then, so I don't think we have to worry about too much more. I think that we can just go this way and see if we can't find any more campers. So to the kelp forest again, but where on it, where in it are we gonna be? Guess that's the question for right now. But I'm sure we'll figure something out. Oh. Okay, so yeah, part of this sort of looks familiar. Yeah, this is the beginning of the level right here. Okay. So we just have to find out where the remaining campers are. I'm sure, ah, I forgot about you. I'm sure that they're around and I just didn't do a very good job of finding them because the area seems so open. I love opening presents. Sort of hard to figure out where to start first, but I know that there's obviously some stuff over there that I know that I saw a camper. I was like, I'll come back for him. And I never got up this way. So I'll try this again. Oh, no. I'm gonna run out of time, aren't I? You've just uh, met the oh, come on, that is so oh, tough. Shines. Anyways, no. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Coming at ya. I'm gonna do that and hope it destroys all three of them, but sometimes it does not. There we go, that still got him. And I'm guessing that we got this camper, but maybe not. Well, actually, yeah, let's use this. <laughs> Don't know why I would do it any other way. I think we've, we've had to get this guy though. Yeah, okay, he's just idly walking around now. But there's definitely a camper way over that way. And I'm not quite sure how to get to him. But it definitely seems to make sense to get over here. Once again, I don't know how to make this jump out. You get out of here. You guys are just not fun to deal with. How did that not get you? Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. It's a little ridiculous. There we go, at least that got it done. Hmm. I'm guessing we need Patrick. I mean, I got up here, which is pretty cool, but yeah, let me find a place where I can switch over to Patrick. So I'm here as Patrick. I know that somewhere around this area, there was a, yeah, there's the ice cube there. So I guess maybe I went around the wrong way. Actually, no, it should be fine. Ooh, again, again. If I, I think there's a leaf over there. We try this and then yeah, like this. And this is definitely going to help us get you somewhere. Let's give it a toss. Around. Yep, you do. And let's hope that in 15 seconds, we can actually get somewhere that we need to get to. Or can I still even get up here? No, I can. All right, well, that's good. I'm a little confused about what's going on around here, but I guess we'll figure it out. I mean, there's these guys. I'm gonna leave that be for now, just in case. And now I'm up here. Aha! What does this button even do? It raises more leaves so that I can get across that way. I don't know if this is the way I was supposed to get over here or not. Once again, it's a very confusing level. But hey, if it works, it works. All I wanna do is get over to the camper. So there's another watermelon over that way. That's gonna raise a bunch more the bouncing leaves. Okay, going up. And then from here, we can so hop over like that shiny. and get it. And there's definitely a camper up here. The problem is, we're still looking for after that. I think one more. Yeah, I don't know where they might be. That could be just about anywhere. Hmm. 
Oh, wait, no, I've already gotten that person. There's gotta be somebody somewhere though. I think it has to do with all that because honestly, I haven't explored too much of that. So if we just go back to the place we just were, we might be able to get a couple of things figured out here. Yep, just like this. Cause I know there's a melon down that way, right? Somewhere around here. I'm not quite sure and I can't quite get up there. Huh. Aha, so there is the last camper, I do see them. I'm back here as SpongeBob because I think I know what I might have to do. It's not very clear for this level, but there's this pad right here I think that we did something with, but obviously we've left this area since then, so we might just have to redo it. No, oh, uh, never mind. Anyways, maybe I could just hit it like this. Maybe I don't need any of that. We can see this little button. What did that do for us? Aha, see that's all I was trying to figure out, so. Maybe we can get up there with that? I'm not really sure. I sure hope so, though. Oh, so over here. So where we found the very first camper, where Mrs. Puff is, there are some leaves over this way. I did not see this. Okay. That makes things a lot more clear. There we go. Now we can get over this Ooh, way. And I'm guessing with we this, go. we gotta do something. Let's hope whatever that is, yeah, over this way, works out. I'm just gonna launch myself right over. And there's a checkpoint, thank goodness. Okay, there we go. And what am I doing with this? Good question. I guess over to here. And can so I toss it over there? Good. No, 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 so watermelon, shiny. watermelon, why? Why watermelon? Wow, and that launches me back over. Okay, that's useful. I will have to wait for it to come back. But yeah, that was weird, because I just don't know where it's supposed to go. I mean, obviously over there, but how do I get it over there? I'm not really sure because it doesn't give me the option to throw it over. Oh, there it goes. It was just very specific angling. <laughs> Pick it up again and give it a toss. Yeah, awesome. Now let's definitely get rid of you. And then finally, we got the last camper. Awesome. And then there's some like extra stuff around. I don't think that all that's worth the, the 50. So we just gotta talk to Mrs. Puff again. And we should be done. We should have every golden spatula here in the kelp forest. This was definitely a tough level. Very confusing at times, but we made our way through. Hi, Mrs. Puff. How are you doing? Hello there, Patrick. Okay, <laughs> I guess she won't give it to him. That's fine. Uh, so switch back over to SpongeBob real fast. And now we can get it back up there. Okay, Mrs. Puff, I need this one last golden spatula from you, if you don't mind. Bob, there you are. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You've definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff, I'll cherish it always. All right, so there we go. Golden spatula number 73, and the last of which we're gonna get here in uh, Kelp Forest. So as you can see now, we have all these. We're gonna go back to Bikini Bottom, not, not Mermelair, Bikini Bottom. And we'll also trade with Patrick and stuff. We'll just sort of see what else we can get done. I don't know if we actually, we, we might not even have enough socks to do that, but I wanna check for sure. But yeah, definitely a fun level. I think next episode, we're going to the Flying Dutchman level, which looked really cool, but also really scary. So that'll be interesting for sure. But for right now, heading back to Bikini Bottom, whenever the game loads. There it goes. Okay, so how many socks do we have? 12, okay, yeah, there, that's enough. Oh, his pants fell. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Yep, so we know all about this, there we go. Boom, golden spatula number 74. So, yep. Right over here, this is, I think the Flying Dutchman's graveyard, yeah, right there, so beware. Can we open up this chest? We cannot, so we're going in here, it's very spooky, you can see the giant green moon and the floating ships and graveyards everywhere. Uh, this is a little scary, I don't know how this level's gonna go, but we'll try it out and uh, hope for the best, I guess. But yeah, I think there's only a couple of levels left. I think there's this one, and I think there's one more, and then maybe we're done at that point? I don't really know what's gonna go on. The graveyard of ships, somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome specter waits. Oh. Oh, and there he is, <laughs> right there. <laughs> wow, how do you do? Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Flying Dutchman. Yeah. Mm. Oh. 
that? Who dares disturb the Flying Dutchman? It's me, SpongeBob, sir. <laughs> I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? <laughs> no, but if you do this, a golden spatula Ooh. be your booty. Now get going. All righty. Let's talk to him one more time now. Have you done everything I told you yet? Not exactly. Well, get aloft there and get those robots. So even the robots are giving uh, the Flying Dutchman an issue. Uh, that's pretty crazy. But these guys are new. Some fish <laughs> threw a rock at them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, poor fish. So he throws out, like, big, big balls of tar. <laughs> what is SpongeBob doing back there? Oh, my. Whoa. Whoa. Watch it, SpongeBob. So he's got some kind of crazy aiming we got to be careful of. That was a Slippery little weird. And he's also in a bubble. So there's a lot of weird things going on here. What is going on with us? <laughs> that is weird. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to try to take him out. I don't know if that's going to work with the bubble. No, it won't. So I wonder what I have to do to take him down. I'm, I'm a little confused. Uh, but there is a box over here I can activate. That'll be good. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to fire right back at him. That worked. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I fire away at his shot? Oh, no! SpongeBob! Oh, there is a golden spatula down there. Okay. I think we have to drain the ocean, then. Or this, whatever this is. Not quite an ocean. There's just a bunch of green goo on the floor. So this level's already proven to be a bit difficult. We'll try again, though. <laughs> I hope it turns out a little bit better this time. Um, also, we should be trying to get this stuff. Remember that this is very useful. There we go. So, yeah, let's get back over there while we have some distance on him, though. Oh, and it looks like we can also play a Sandy in this level. I can already see the uh, floating Texases. But I was actually, you know, one thing I've been surprised about this game, I thought that eventually we'd run into a level. Oh, the bubble's back. That would make it so that we could play as all of the characters, but not quite yet. Boom, there we go. Got to be quick with it, but that's going to give us a good chunk of stuff. Robot Encyclopedia, which probably means we've now defeated one of each type of robot. So that's pretty cool. Really shows you that we're coming up on the end of the game. Anyways, Just what's going on over this way? Gonna destroy you, and then destroy him quick. I think I got all of them. We already activated this box, so if I just want to real quickly, boom, hit that. Coming at ya. And same thing for these guys. So like I said before, it looks like there's a golden spatula down here, but I might have to come back later. There might be a way to like, drain this little green goo area or something, because I don't think we can get down there right now. But we can go this way. And I'm sure there's gonna be plenty to explore, so it'll certainly be interesting. Oh my, oh my, ready, ready? Oh, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but we got him still. That's nice. And we're still trying to get, I think, 12,000 of the shinies. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna move that over there. Interesting. In the meantime, still plenty left to explore. Huh. And I guess if I hit this button over here, That'll make it so I can get up those gravestones, which I'll do in just a second. I want to check this out first. Uh, we got a uh, clam. Feed the clam for 2,700 shiny objects. I guess I will. And that's going to open a chest. Oh, my. Dude, this, this level's pretty spooky. I'd say even more spooky than Rock Bottom was. And that's going to lead all the way over to that one spatula we saw, isn't it? I think so. Maybe. Yep, there it is. Called it. Okay, this is weird though, because it. Aha! Um, I'm a little confused on where that is. This might take me a couple of seconds to figure out. But somewhere around here, there's a ship where that ooze is leaking from. That we're right over here. I need to get closer than that. Maybe not though. Maybe not. We might be able to make it. Ah. Uh... So close yet so far. So let's just move a little bit closer, like right here. SpongeBob to Mission Control. The launch yep. is a go. Here we go. Come on, come on. 
And... Oh, we got it! Nice. So that's gonna drain everything. Is it totally gonna drain? Not quite, so we still have to watch our step around here, but there's a bunch of shinies we can get now, too. The problem is I, I don't know which way we're going, if this is the right way to be or not. Is it permanently drained, though? Yeah, there's no timer or anything, so I guess so, interesting. Good to keep in mind uh, that we can just explore all of this now. Let's destroy this before it causes any more issues for us. Boom, gotcha. And you. Oh, was there any other enemies around? Not that I see at the moment. I wish we had the sponge roll right now. That'd make things go a little, a little bit faster here, but we're almost there. But the thing is, is this open now? It's not. It sounded like it un unlocked or something, but do I have to pay another 2,700 to the clam? I don't know. Weird. Okay, well, let me get back over there and we'll try to figure that out. So the good thing is that, the oh yeah, and there is a sponge roller over here, okay. Weird though, did I, is there, a, oh yeah, that's right, this button right here. Gotcha, so now I have 30 seconds left. I understand now. Upper we got this. SpongeBob. Whoa, okay, watch it, I got bounced off of like a rock or something. We can handle this no problem now though. Oh boy, if, as long as we don't fall into the goo. That's it, and, Thank you very much. So there's our first golden spatula here in the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Mega Spatula Seeker as a trophy as well because we've gotten 75 in total. Whoa, whoa, we're jumping up that real quick. So yeah, actually, so far so good. It seems like we have found basically everything we can. I'm guessing that we can get over to that sock is Sandy, so whenever we get a bus stop, I'll look around for that option. But for right now, let's get up this way. Don't see any other way for us to go, really. Nice. Oh no, it's these guys again. So they're gonna make the big fire happen if we're not careful. Ah! Yeah, I can't quite get that guy. Well, maybe if I do this. There we go! That's usually not how I solve that situation, but it's just how we'll do it for right now. Yeah, the enemies are getting tougher and tougher. Like a new sponge. So be very careful. But for right now, I can go for this guy. Don't move around too you much, just met the sponginator. So I definitely think this level is gonna be the biggest challenge yet. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. Let's get up this way, get that one yellow thing. Oh, and what's over here? Aha, another golden spatula. This one's quite hidden. I like it. Boom. It's now for 76. I'm gonna guess there's probably about 100 in the game, if I had to imagine. But, well, I guess we'll find out. So how do we get back up? Oh, I guess with this. Boing. Awesome. So it's, it's always worth it to be exploratory. And we gotta press some Sometimes buttons around pushing here. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I suppose that's true. So let's hit this one there. Aha. And will that work? Oh, it won't. Huh. Weird. But I guess this would, right? No, also will not work. Well, this will. Okay, this is an odd situation. But I guess with that. We can get over here. Actually, I'll get that real quick. And now we can make this jump. I don't know if I did that correctly. There wasn't anything else I could reach. Whoa, this is tilting over. I don't like that. Let's get this guy. Gotcha. Oh, now we have you. Destroy that bubble real quick, and then fire another one at him. Oh, I don't like his tar bubbles. Come on, come on. Got him. Get him again. Ow. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> we gotta be quick, we gotta be quick. There it is. Just nice, he takes side. three hits, I guess. Either that or when he gets his bubble, it resets his health. So we're doing pretty well right now. Once again, we have to come back here as Sandy for some extra stuff. There's quite a few of these around now. Hmm. No, don't fall. Whoa, this rock isn't really there. It's a fool's rock. Say hello to my little bubble friend. I'll destroy this guy. I don't know if that was really worth it, but just trying to get close enough. I don't know if this is gonna fall or not. Oh, he's gonna notice me from there, so that's gonna hurt. Oh, we met it in the air, though. That's cool. But if I can get him before he can get me, and then go, 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 come on, come on. Nice, that's all I wanted. So once again, we'll destroy a couple more robots up here. I don't know if there's a robot generator around. With this many, there usually is. And there's another golden spatula for us. Oh, yep, there it is, so we'll destroy all of these guys, and then just get this up there real quick before it throws in too many more. Thank you. Oh, they still got me, though. They're tricky. So how do we want to do this, then? 
I mean, what exactly are we trying to get up to, even? Not over there. I mean, I guess just up this way or something? That's a little weird. I will knock this one back. This one, well, I guess I can only knock it over. Huh. Well, yeah, knock this one over. Knock this one up. And then this one back over. And we should be able to get up, I guess, to there. Yeah, there's a button up there. Gotcha. Okay, grab these extra yellow ones. Yeah, not bad. Oop, nice. Whoa, timber! And I guess it'll get us over to this golden spatula. No problem. But is there anything else we potentially missed around here? Really doesn't look like it. I think we've done a great job. So let's keep it moving. Whoa, we're sliding on this. I was not expecting that. And then there's the golden spatula waiting for us. Is that the one the Flying Dutchman was talking about? I guess so. And I think there's still more robots to destroy on, on those ships. Yeah, that big robot ship is the thing we're sort of worried about. But here's another box. So we still haven't found a bus stop, but whenever we do, I mean, maybe I just missed one. I really don't think so, though. If we find one, we'll be able to get some extra stuff done with Sandy, which would be cool. But in the meantime, I'll keep moving forward. We got some perilous jumps I now. I def like definitely need that extra underwear, whoa. But what's going on down this way? Looks like we got somewhere else to be now. The graveyard of ships. I mean, there was already quite a few destroyed ships here. How many more could there possibly be? <laughs> Guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, this level's really cool so far. I like this one. Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward. Swab the poop deck. <laughs> yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. Ooh. All right, then we'll try to get that then. Can I talk to you again? No. Usually you can talk to them at least Whatever one more time. Is, there we the go. Answer is no. Ah, <laughs> poor SpongeBob. So, ooh, we got a couple more of these guys. Oh, now they're all moving around in a weird way. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Gotcha. There we go. I'll do that real quick. Oh my. Oh, yeah, it exploded him. Cool. So we're getting a lot more sparklies now. Oh, these platforms fall. I was gonna say the controller vibrates when you stand on them. Like, what's with that? Take that. Hmm. So I'm just trying to be very careful as we progress forward that I'm not missing out on anything. Because it just seems like a tough place to backtrack. But ooh, here's a bus stop area. Once again, we'll have to backtrack with that at some point. But that was just so that we can get up here with SpongeBob. Definitely can't get up here without him because that was a wall jumping area. Sandy can't quite do that. And then over this way, we got this right here. Back it up. I love opening nice. presents. So here's a, yet again another bus stop area. This time we definitely need Sandy. Because she needs to uh, do some floating around right over here. But this area is starting to get a little bit more open, so I'm just trying to keep watch on anything I could be potentially missing. I mean, mostly I'm just worried about golden spatulas, which are usually not too crazy hidden. And am I supposed to be going over here? I sure hope so. Looks like it. There we go, checkpoint. Because that looks like a big opening. I don't know what's up with that. Hmm, weird. We'll check it out eventually, I'm sure. But for right now, another big jump. I definitely want to, yeah, go for you first, because you're just not fun to deal with. Now, these guys, we should be able to just cut, karate chop away, no problem. Well, that's all for pretty. Yeah, I guess the sparklies are pretty. Uh, once again, just trying to be diligent. I don't know if I could jump on that big propeller, but probably not. And I will activate those, and if I just run away, they should explode. So that's good. Still don't like the laser guys very much. Nice. Now, let's carefully go around this side, <laughs> activate you. And I guess we'll need the bus stop again. Not the, yeah, yeah, so that we can get up to SpongeBob. Oh, yeah, right here. We get up with SpongeBob, you know what I mean. I'm so spooked by all the, all of the uh, graveyard ships, or the, the grave ships, the graveyard of ships. I can't even speak correctly. I guess we only had limited time for that. It worked out pretty well. But I actually like that. We're, we're switching between SpongeBob and Sandy quite often. And we got a little purple one right here. That's 50 of them, so it's always worth going out of our way to grab those. But, whoa, look at this. That's really cool. Haven't seen that before. So there's some more uh, hammer robots over this way. Gonna slam on you, ready? Boom, gotcha. Not bad. 
And here's another one of those. Okay. Now this one's a little scary because we don't have that little platform on the bottom to protect us if we mess it up. But we made it. We made it. So who's firing us? Oh, it's this guy again. I'm gonna get you. All right, that should cancel your attack. And then if I immediately throw out another one, should get you before the bubble pops back up again. And that gives us a hundred for taking those guys out. So that's really nice. Definitely worth doing. Do I even need that? I probably shouldn't have played it so risky, but you don't. Ow, that hurt. Oh, and there's another clam right over this way. What's with this one? So do you want to feed the clam 2,700 shiny objects to ride the bungee? I would love to. Oh, would you look at this? Whoa. Let's get to it. Oh boy, golden spatula waiting for us right off the bat. So there's 78 of them. Now, I don't know if I should really bother too much with trying to get these explosives. I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. Well, there we go. Awesome stuff. So how are we doing with golden spatulas so far? We already have four of them. Of course, there's one to get to the end of this area, and then three more after that. So we're making really quick progress with this level. More than I would think, because I, I feel like the levels have been getting longer as we go on, but this one, storming right through it. It's been actually more linear than you'd su suspect What ha what is happening. That was weird. Okay, so that might be a bit tough to pull off. I'm a little worried about that one. <laughs> okay, trying this again. Whoa, that is weird. So we're supposed to be keeping pace with it. I sort of just want to switch back to Sandy, but she's not around. And if I go too far back, that one robot might get me. So, whoa, I don't like how the camera angle changes as soon as you jump. <laughs> oh no. Okay, come on. You have to sort of wait for it to go all the way back before you get started on it. But then there we go. Wow, that was tough. I do not want to do that again. I died a couple of times doing that. Luckily, there's no lives in this game, so we're fine. But I do want to go ahead and get rid of this guy before he can even have the chance to attack me. Makes it a little bit easier, right? And I don't see too much else going on. We're just gonna keep moving forward. What is going on with this? The wall jumping is getting a little crazy. Oh my. So we really gotta get at the top of it. There we go. Whoa. Oh, I was right at the end too. Yikes. I don't know, I should probably, not that, no, no, where do I start? Do I have to go all the way back at the beginning before? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the wall jumping technique gets a little crazy at this point. Oh no. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, we got very lucky with that one. Um, let me just very quickly get over this way. The, hitting the one robot into him was actually a pretty good idea. It actually exploded his bubble. I'm happy about that, that was so tough. So I really gotta try not to fall down here. Oh boy, there we go, we're, we're fine, we're fine. And would you look at that, another golden spatula with the 79 of them now. And we got this box right, right back to the beginning so we never have to worry about that too much again. And where does this go? Anywhere? I thought this would like ride off somewhere. Oh wait, yeah, R1 to travel to the Dutchman ship. There we go, cool, so, so far so good. It's been a bit of a challenging level, but honestly not too bad. It, it's a quick one at the least. So yeah, let's see what's next. Oh boy, <laughs> why is Mr. Krabs up here? He's just chilling out, having a good time. What would this do? Will this bring me back down? Yeah, I guess so. That's fancy. I don't quite need it, but good to keep it in mind. Uh, hello, Mr. Krabs. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. Swab the poop deck. Aye, 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 aye. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. No, you didn't. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> all right. Uh, can we you talk to him again? You need to destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Will do, for sure. Uh, it might be a bit difficult at first, but as long as we just get rid of every robot in our way, we should be fine. And also the generators. What do we got over here? Can we destroy the barrels? We cannot. And I don't think I need underwear. I no, like I do. Oh, it's worth getting then. So, ooh. That's one out of four. Got them all lined up. What about up this way? There's gotta be a way to get up there. Um, maybe, maybe not. Huh. I might get over, oh yeah, I gotta get around with Sandy. So we're fine, we don't have to worry about that just yet. Now this part's a little scary, but I think what I can do here is just, first off, 
Hit him like that. He is moving all the way over. What? Oh, you're kidding. Darn. So there goes this bubble again. We definitely need to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. But if we just do that again, don't want to explode, and then just hit it right about here. Awesome. Before the bubble popped up. It was probably just about to get there too, so that was great. Now this is where we gotta be careful because these platforms will break as we land on them. Okay, so how do we do all this? First, I'm just gonna, ah, we'll get hit by you, I guess. Come on. There it is. What about this? That was a silly idea. And now I got hurt by that. What is going on? Where are the generators at? Um, it's up there. So I'm just trying to get to where it might be safer, but these guys aren't hunting me down. Here's the bus stop, which is great and everything, but. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, got it, nice. That wasn't too bad then. Now we can get back down this way. Destroy you. And now I can destroy these things too. Which, ow, stop hitting me. <laughs> get out of here. This will make it much better. Oh yeah, and it just totally destroys these things. Thank you very much. Now these are green, which means they give me, was it five of them? Not too bad. Don't know if it's too much to worry about. And then there's another one, as well as some underwear, which I desperately needed, so that's good. And let's switch over to Sandy. Okay, so what can Sandy do around here? First off, we can grab more of these. Oh boy, I always get scared jumping back over. But this is the robot ship. Oh yeah, that was the uh, normal ship over there. Hmm, because I've only gotten the one cannon so far, so is there another one up here? Oh, you know what, I do need to switch back to SpongeBob for this. Gotcha. Okay, so back over here, switch to SpongeBob, and do some bubble bowling. I don't know which way we have to hit it. That did not work, so it has to be the other way. Oh, and that lowers that. Okay. And then, okay, so you know what I think I have to do here? I need to lower it again with, with the correct button this time. Boom. That will lower and hopefully gives me enough time that I can just get over with Sandy and get it set up. Because if not, like that seems a little weird, right? No, it's still there. Run, run, run. Got it. And now with Sandy, I still don't know if we can make this jump, just barely. Karate chop, everybody. And there we go, all robot cannons destroyed. That's great. I believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. I know, I know. Uh, let's get over this way. I do see a golden spatula way at the top, which is cool. Wonder how I get to that. Is that just with this? Whoa, it is! All right, well, not too bad. Very nice golden spatula there. What I'm curious about now is that there's still, of course, destroy the robot ship, and then one more after that. Okay. I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to be hopping down. But let me, oh yeah, there's there's one down this way. Oh, I could have gotten another 50 there. Maybe I'll go back to that in just a second. But she can't slam. So we need to, oh yeah, just switch it over to here. Okay, that makes sense. Got a little confused for just a second. Now we got it. So, boom, count in two of four. How do I get over to that one? Maybe that one I need Sandy for. Let's try it out. Welcome, this is a very convenient little bus stop right here. And jump across, boom. And that's gonna set the other cannon. So we're three out of four now. Which probably means that the last one is right up here. I can't see anything, but there we go. These jumps are a little scary and probably not even the most effective way to do this. It's probably better to bounce back up to where we just got that golden spatula and then float down with Sandy, but hey, this is the next best thing. There we go, hit that button and all cannons are ready to fire. So back to where we were just a second ago. We can now go back over there again, just like this. Yeah, pretty quick. And I also missed a couple of yellow ones over this way. Luckily, I grabbed them without falling. Someone better make good use of all these. I will, don't worry. But there's 81 golden spatulas. And then finally, we can switch back over. And butt slam this button. There it is. That's gonna fire all the cannons into the robot ship. Awesome. And will we win the battle? I guess we're about to find out. Weird. <laughs> it's just weird how it sort of cuts to a loading screen, but. Yeah, that means we only have one more golden spatula to find. We did it! We got your ship back and defeated the robots! 
Hooray! Tucked it in. But now that I look at it, I think I'll keep this golden spatula. It's so nice and shiny. It reminds me of my first buried treasure. But what about our deal? Ah, never make a deal with a ghost. Deals don't mean anything to me. <laughs> Except for that great deal I got on a butter churn back in 1873. What a prize, I tell you. Nothing beats creamy hand-churned butter. Wait just a cotton-picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them fighting words. Oh, no. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. All right, so it looks like Sandy is battling with, uh, whatever his name is, the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Let's get to it. Phase one, lasso the tail. Okay. Oh boy. Whoa, I was not ready for that. Okay, he's got laser vision. Note taken. Uh, but I have full health now, luckily. How am I gonna lasso his tail? I can't just walk up to it, it doesn't seem. Oh my gosh, that's tough. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, it is just trailing all over the place. There we go. Keep hurting the ghost. I'll try my best. Oh, he's not happy about that. Oh my gosh, that's so quick. You really gotta stay away from it. Just keep my distance. I'm in so much trouble now. I only have two HP left over. I want this fire spreads around. That's also an issue. Oh, here we go again. There we go. <laughs> I'm not letting them beat me here. We gotta do this in the first try. Maybe, we'll see. I mean, I didn't start at full health. The two underwear it gave me were supposed to replenish my health whenever I lost it, so. If we go into it again, I'll also know what I'm doing a bit more, so we'll have some kind of advantage. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful with how the fire is spreading around, because that is just weird how that works. Um, yeah, that's so weird. I'm just trying to find a spot to stand for a second. I might not be able to do it. I gotta wait for him to do the laser vision again. Oh my. There we go. Okay, come on. He's gonna move over. One more time, we'll dodge it, we'll do the fire move, we'll get him. Ugh, it's so scary. Okay, so I'm going to try to just be ready to immediately lasso him just like that. There we go. So we just gotta keep doing that. Are we gonna get any kind of health refill? He seems to be a pretty easy ball, ball so far, considering how little health he has, but his moves are tough to dodge. Oh, he's doing it four times now, huh? Oh boy. He's moving over now. Here we go again. Okay. I still don't know why he has laser vision though. It's, it's just sort of like a weird thing. Does he have that in any of the episodes? Who knows? There we go. Oh. He's gonna do it one more time. And now he should be moving over and I think doing the fire move again. Let's hope that's correct. No, he's not. Oh gosh, then back it up. One more time. So he should maybe move now. Okay, here he goes, here he goes. Got it. Had enough, you dirty ghost. Dirty? I'll have you know this jacket has been cleaned twice. Oh. Everyone stop fighting. I think I have an idea. Whoa. Here you go. Oh, it looks like my ship. It's even got all the little mold that flies. How thoughtful. All <laughs> right, you little rapscallions. Here's the golden spatula. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. That was interesting for sure. What a fun boss. And there we go, golden spatula number 82. And with it, every golden spatula in the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. I'm pretty sure, yeah. This was, it was not the easiest level, but it was surprisingly one of the quicker ones. I like it, I had a lot of fun. So yeah, we should use this to uh, travel back to the graveyard line, I think that said. Uh, and yeah, we'll just head back to um, whatever it was called. The the Bikini Bottom, <laughs> that's what it's called. There weren't very many socks in this level and we didn't really find any of them. So you know what, I think at this point we'll just go back to Bikini Bottom the normal way. I don't think we have enough of the socks to get anything, so I'll double check though once we get back home. Yeah, that was definitely a lot of fun of a level, and I really think that there's only like one more level left then. There is 
one more right in front of the theater, and maybe after we do that, there's like a boss fight. I'm not really sure, but we really are coming up on the end of the game now. It's been a blast, but surprisingly quick. Uh, this game's just been blowing by. It's been a lot of fun. We're moving into what may be the last level of the game because we've adventured all of these. There's just one more level left here, um, and I think to get into it, there's like this little stone circle over this way, uh, and what we do is we just walk up to it and press R1 to enter SpongeBob's dream. Feeling sleepy. You're just gonna fall asleep in the middle of the street, in the middle of the day. SpongeBob is not afraid of the dangers of that, I guess. Well, good night, SpongeBob, or good day. You'd think maybe somebody would just get him a pillow or something. Bubble Buddy was just right over there. So I guess we're going into SpongeBob's dream. I do think that there was an episode, right? Where he dreamt about With something. Sleep comes dreams. What mischief can be found <laughs> in this subaquatic somnambulant realm? I have no clue, but apparently dream giant bubbles. versions of our friends. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. I don't know. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. <laughs> oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm going to do is dream myself up a mustache. Wow. Thanks, Gary. It does make <laughs> me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Meow, meow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow. Okay, well, that should be interesting. I'm ready! Meow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. So I guess the last golden spatulas we were looking for were deep within SpongeBob's subconscious. Golden spatula right after Patrick's rock. Gotcha. So I like how it's sort of loosely connected to Bikini Bottom, but also isn't really, but we're starting at SpongeBob's Pineapple. Yeah, there was an episode where presents. Gary was like, he was like, he was able to talk and stuff, and like in SpongeBob's dream. Oh, and we can actually, oh, well that's gonna send us back to Bikini Bottom. Whoops, I thought we could go into SpongeBob's house in the dream version. All right, well, I guess I gotta go back. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so let's try this again, and for real this time, there's actually like a couple ways to go. Right? Can I make this jump? Oh no, I can't. <laughs> this is not starting very well. That was a little bit of a deceiving one though. So I wonder if this is a level that will just play as SpongeBob. Maybe there won't be any Patrick or Sandy for this one, but we're gonna go for this jump then, as soon as this comes back. But this looks like it could most certainly be the most challenging level yet. Gotta wait for these blocks which have spikes on them, but lots of crazy jumps, plenty of places to fall down into our doom. So we gotta be careful of that. Okay, oh, uh, but now that one's spike side up. So we gotta jump at just the right time. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh my, oh my. Uh, oh no, it poked me. I didn't realize it was gonna go that far. Oh no, oh, um, not the best idea, but we made it, we made it. Now launch that over like that, just like that, and then dodge that, or no, no, come on. We just got here. Oh, this really will be tough. Okay, get him quick, get him quick, just like that, and then do it again, do it again. There it is! That's all I wanted to do before. Now, what is this about? Like, that leads us back to where we were, so obviously I don't want to do that, but that's not going to do anything. Um, Don't fall off, but... Oh, that made a little beach ball. Okay, but what's the... Oh, 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 okay. There's, there's a spatula up there. Okay, this is weird, but if maybe I just jump at just the right time, that was not the right time. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Come on. No, I was supposed to do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's fine though. It's fine. We can just get back over. That is so interesting. So this level might make up for the last level being a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. This one might take us a lot of time to get through. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. So Not we're supposed like to victory. bubble jump up there. Whoa, be careful. Luckily, it seems like there's like some kind of invisible wall that makes it so it can't fall off the side, which I appreciate greatly for this specific situation. I mean, do I really even... Yeah, I definitely need that. If we just jump, jump. Yeah, there it is! Our first golden spatula of SpongeBob's dream. You would think that... You know, the weird thing is, he understands that he's subconsciously in the dream, so much so that he manifested having a mustache. Why can't he just w dream up just automatically having all the golden spatulas. Anyways, we're sliding right now, trying to dodge. Nothing really, there's actually not too many things around here. And there we go, we made it, checkpoint. But what was down there? There's something. What is this about? 
Wait, will this... Wait, what's going on now? Huh. Weird. This didn't really do anything. Yeah, that was super odd. There was like a, a tiki over that way. I don't know if it's really gonna get us too much, but might as well give it a try. Boom. <laughs> it gets us a little bit of extra shinies. And we can spend a thousand of them to do something right here. Oh, that'll raise that up there. So there's something to, so something to do up there. Can we go inside Sandy's house? Travel to Sandy's dream. Interesting. So we'll do that in just a moment. Oh my, oh my, I tried to dodge it. No, 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 wait. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Phew, that was close. Now, if we could get rid of these guys too, that'd be great, thank you. I just don't wanna deal with them if I don't have to. And then right up here, uh, we somehow made that, cool. And then, destroy that. I guess there's a blue one up there. Can't quite reach it, it's fine. So I guess we'll go into Sandy's dream first. That might be the best bet. I don't know, we'll give it a try. Yeah, I'm a little confused by this. Like maybe we should've done the other thing first. I really don't know. Huh. Whoa, yeah, this is its own section. So I might have to turn it back, but this is like a giant sliding area. This looks so cool. There's golden wow, buildings. Your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big. Even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four lane highway. Okay, so we'll do that in just a second. Can I go back to where I was? Oh, I can't. Okay, so maybe that is something we'll have to leave for later. Hopefully it wasn't a spatula, it might have been though. Yeah! Okay, this is not what I wanna do. I wanna destroy the exploding ice. The there we go. That hurt me too though. Wow, that was a lot. But if we take a look across the dreamscape following the, the ball. Okay, so it looks like we actually haven't missed anything yet, I don't think. What was that last thing over here though? Um, oh, so I guess maybe we did. That's a shame, uh, I did what I could about it. And this I need SpongeBob for. Is there a bus stop around? There's not. Okay, so let's enjoy Sandy's Texas dream. There's only one way to that acorn, this sky slide. Oh, and there's a bus stop. Okay, so let's do this real quick. Yeah, and there's the exit. So actually, I can, I can go back, cool. All right, SpongeBob, you know what to do, Don. So I definitely wanna grab that if I have the chance. Why did neither of those work? Um, there we go. So let's hop on top of here. And then will it raise? There it goes. And here's the, the Texas exit. All right, let me go and figure out that one then. Okay, so let's try this out then and see what's going on. Oh, this is tricky actually, I see now. Um, let's slam down on it and totally regret that. Well, sort of. Oh no, oh no. Oh, that is so tough. There we go, there we go. And we made it. But was that it? I guess not, we can spend another thousand here and that's gonna bring us over that way. So maybe we will have to return. Okay, so what's up with all like this stuff? Whoa. Whoa, look at that, that was cool. All right. Got ourselves another golden spatch up there. This whole level is very confusing, but there's a giant Squidward. How many sparklies do we have? We have 3,950, or five. <laughs> is this gonna be a sliding section? No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. So they ever so, so wow, I can't believe I didn't get hurt there. Um, that was a mistake though. That's fine, we made it, yeah! <laughs> Anything behind it? Oh yes there is, be careful, be careful. Because what I can do, instead of actually having to deal with it, is totally miss it, embarrassingly. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Oh my gosh, the controls are so awkward for it. Because I can't really sneak back there, because I'd have to jump a little bit, come on. Go out a little bit farther like this maybe, and then cut around. Ah! Uh, it's a lot harder than it looks to control that. You'd be surprised. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I gotcha! And that's gonna get us a purple one. Very happy to see that. Yep, right over this way. And I need that, but at the same time, I'm not worth, uh, it's not worth risking it, for sure. So, that'll be good. So can we go inside of the Krusty Krab? So these are all different dreams we can access. I see now. So that's why it works the way it does. So we would have actually ended up 
back in front of Sandy's dome. But I didn't know that, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. We fell back down. <laughs> So if that's the case, if we're gonna end up back in front of Sandy's dome, maybe I should, if we spawn, oh, we spawn back here though. Hmm, isn't that tricky? You know what? We're gonna go back here. I'm sorry, I know I'm jumping around a lot right now, but this is just sort of a weird level I'm trying to figure out. But yeah, we'll, we'll go back to Sandy's dream. We'll start slipping, sliding around there. That should be a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm glad that we at least know that for sure now. So, whoop, and this place really is huge. I love it. So we do get the plays of the characters out, which is great. I'm really happy about that. Thought it would just be a SpongeBob level, but it looks like it's gonna be sort of an everybody level. Manure? Ew. That's what I think of when I think of Texas, right? No, not really, but. Oh, there's more than one way to go, and I chose the worst way. Whoops. Okay, so let's try this again. Try to be a bit more careful this time, but yeah, the, the alternate paths are making me a little bit worried. We'll just try to explore everything as thoroughly as we possibly can, but. You know, there's only so much we can do with that. Whoa, that was weird. I lost all my momentum there. That's sort of what happened last time, too, when I tried to make this jump. Maybe I'll try going this way instead. I mean, it seems to be mostly the same. Yeah, I guess whenever I glide with the rope, that's what makes me lose my speed. I might be missing out on like a couple of sparklies, but so I'm just trying to make, make sure use of all these. if I can get all of the socks and get all of the spatulas because it just keeps going, like I said, all sorts of different directions. It's very hard to keep track of which way I have gone. Like this area is just like, this is new, right here. Uh, this pathway. So maybe some of them like loop around if you're not careful or something like that. Oh boy, because that one would just lead right here too. So I think it all leads the same way eventually. I like the giant spaceships too. That's cool. All right, keep it going, keep it going. That's sliding around here. We get a checkpoint, which is nice. Oh boy. Now these ones we have to dodge. Don't want to hit those, because that would hurt. Hmm. Good riddance. A giant tower over there. What's with the, the cows with pies now? Is this something Sandy had to worry about in Texas? Maybe this is why she moved to Bikini Bottom. She loves Texas so much, but these cows took over. Whoa, there we go. Whoa, we're slipping sliding all the tar. And there's a sock for us. Sure, why not? Oh my. Oh, we got him in one lasso there. Very nice. That was a little crazy. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's. What does this do? This launches me up here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I want to check out what what else could be around. It doesn't seem like much, but that was certainly interesting. Yeah, I guess this is just like a nice little checkpoint. She just slides around. So this is like a giant oil drill. Is that the idea? I think so. I just wanna make extra sure there's nothing back here. It doesn't look like it. Yep, okay. But always good to ensure that. But we got our first sock of this level. How many are in total? Five, so yeah, seems like the farther we get into the levels, the less and less socks there are for each one. That was weird, but it worked. Um, we're full in health, and now we're going up the, the side of this oil drill. Just gotta keep going. If I can earn as many sparklies as possible throughout it, that would be good because, you know, um, it seems like we just need to spend more as the level goes on. But this level's so cool. This might be my favorite one yet, but it's also the most difficult one yet for sure. Whoa, and we're going into the, uh, I guess it was like the steer, or like the steer or the bull's uh, horn. Whoa, it's so sparkly. Look at this, oh, ew, but it has a big pile of manure again. No, what happened? Whoa. Okay, keep it going, Sandy. You got it. There it is. Oh boy. So grabbing some of these, we just gotta keep it moving. Oh no, more robots. These shouldn't be too bad though. Once again, going to be trying to avoid those guys, not the cows with the pies again. There we go. Watch it, wow, I just barely dodged that. I was hoping I could get close enough to activate them without getting hurt by them, but I guess not. And anyways, it looks like we got to the end at the very top of the little nut. We got ourselves a golden spatula. Now I do want to see, now we got that like in order. We have not received the next task, but hopefully we won a moment. And it seems like even though it was very big and winding, we got through all of that. Cool. There's <laughs> almost a bit of a maze for some of it. Very awesome. And look at all these, these guys came back. So I want to take advantage of that. There we go. No, there we go. And get a bunch of them. How many exactly? Over 200, almost 300 there. So that's really good. So now we can head back as SpongeBob and continue on with the level. 
Well, actually, yeah, I guess we, could we get back over there with Sandy? That's actually something I'm curious about. I mean, it might not matter. It might make it so that, if I switch back to Sandy now, because that would make traversing that one area so much easier. So let's find out if it works that way. Oh no, it goes back up, okay. Okay, so we made it. I don't know if that guy, he is back over there, but we don't have to worry about it. We're just gonna go into this one where we have Mr. Krabs Dream. Are we gonna be able to play as Mr. Krabs? That'd be so cool. I don't think so, but I can hope for it, right? Squidward, this is amazing. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. Whoa, lunch rush. I'd better grab my hat and... Forget the hat. Get that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of... We don't have time for this! All right, well, as you can see, there's money everywhere and a bunch of Krabby Patties. Cool, so many robots, though. Oh my gosh, the robots have even invested our dreams to a ridiculous degree. Uh, are, my, are you ready, kids? Sure. Set, go. Should I talk to you again? No. So there's a lot of enemies here. I'm gonna try to go for these guys first, just like that, and then if I could get in and get rid of that guy. Oh, come on, come on, really? There we go, we did get them. This is still a lot to deal with. Oh, that got me. Come on, come on, before the bubble pops back up. Thank you. Oh no, they're back too. Oh, I see the problem now. Um, there's more generators over this way, but as long as these, did these patties fall eventually? I don't think so. So we could maybe just, for right now, use that, destroy it, and then, oh no, they're gonna try to get me, but they missed! Oh, that just is not good. And I can't make that jump. Just You're kidding, side. you can't make that jump. Why not? That sort of makes it all very silly. What am I supposed to do about that? Um, Cause I can, <laughs> come on now. Try this again. And then immediately throw another one out and see if it'll destroy it before the bubble. It doesn't. So how do I get up there to do something about that. that. Doesn't make any sense. Let's try this one. And once again, throw it out immediately after. And there's another bubble that takes its place. So I can't get up there to reach it. Coming at Destroying ya. these guys is sort of a, a moot point because they'll just spawn back in again because these guys will recreate them. Take that. Like maybe I just have to destroy a couple of them first. Maybe that's the whole deal. I don't know. Back out all three of those guys. But what do you know? They just made another one. Oh, is this gonna bring me closer or what? I don't think so. So once again, we're still in the same situation. Still can't reach that. Then what is the deal here? Maybe I can hit the, the patty? Now, I do see that sock down there. I'll worry about that soon. Let me try back with this one though. I know they're gonna try to get me. Wow, who's actually? Pretty accurate with where I was Slippery heading there. Road ahead. See, this time it's, I don't think it was like that before. Fresh, so maybe I just gotta get rid of this one first and maybe the other ones will sort of set up properly after that. I don't know. Not really. So that's where it gets weird. I really don't know what's going on with that, but we're just gonna send another one out. Don't hit me with that, sir. Why? <laughs> You don't have anything else better you could be doing. Square, this, this level is bomb, so weird. I, will not let Bikini bottom down. I don't like it. And then once again, the, the, the Krabby Patties are back to being uh, all together again. So like, what am I supposed to do about that? What activates the Krabby Patties to, to undo themselves, really? I mean, I guess it just happens over time. Is that the idea, dude? Can you just leave me alone? Just my side. I don't know. It's weird, why Why is the patty slippery? Hold on a second, what was with that? I don't think that, that they'll make another one of these guys, though. so if we could just get rid of them for right now, that'd be great. Boom. I mean, hey, maybe I'm wrong. We're gonna find out. But for right now, move, please. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to destroy you. No, it is making another one of those big guys. I just saw it, yeah. How do we summon the next part of the Krabby Patty? I guess maybe just continually destroying the guys will Make that happen. I'm going to hope that's the case. Okay, just destroyed another guy, and that made another part of the Krabby Patty come up. Okay, so that's the trick. But that is ridiculous. Okay, so after destroying a good chunk of enemies, now we can get up here and do this. I sort of understand now, it makes a lot more sense. 
And also, I found that if you do this, okay, not that. But if I go up and then, okay, well that worked. <laughs> and then the bubble bowling actually works a lot better for these guys than I had anticipated, so that's cool. Okay, um, sometimes the controls just aren't as uh, reliable as much as I need them to be. There we go. See, that's what I was trying to do before. But see, that time it didn't work. Now you're gonna explode. But this patty is almost out. Okay, this one actually, in a much better position. There we go, run, run, run. At least we're making a lot of sparklies, right? <laughs> That's at least something. But up this way, just can destroy like that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, dude, don't knock me off. That would be the worst thing to do right now. There we go. I'm just going to try to get over here because it's all laid out. So the more enemies you defeat, the more the patty will, the patty will undo itself. Fresh, there we go. Spring breeze. And with that, I think we just have to defeat all the enemies now. We should be good. Don't you dare. Do another one of those. Get rid of this guy. There we go. Not too bad then. Definitely need to use this bubble bowling ability a little bit more often, I think. Okay. Once again, I tried to stop. Don't destroy me. I'm gonna be so upset with you if you destroy me. There we go. That's all I wanted. So that's everybody. We did it. Hooray! Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. So let me really quickly grab this so that we can confirm that we have it, and then I might go and grab that one sock. So there is 86 golden spatulas, very nice. And let's talk to Squidward. Finally, now we can leave. But first, I need my paycheck. Mr. Krabs, excuse me, Mr. Krabs. He has plenty of money around you. I'm sure if you even breathe on one of these pennies, he will come out in like an instant and be like, what are you doing, Squidward? So anyways, we are going to grab this one sock. Hey, you. And luckily Never I didn't fall, but laundry. that's why I wanted to do it after getting the golden spatula. That way if we fell, I don't have to worry about redoing anything else. Yeah, with that done, I guess that's Mr. Krabs' dream, which did not feature Mr. Krabs at all. <laughs> and there was another uh, purple one, cool. So let's head out of here and see what's next. Um, Cause I think next was Patrick's house maybe? So I guess it'll be Patrick's dream. Well, we never did Squidward's dream. I passed Squidward's house multiple times and I didn't do anything there. So I don't know why I'm being so silly, but maybe we should, whoa, I don't know. None of these are available to jump on. Okay, there we go. Does Squidward have a dream I've been missing? Yes, he does. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but I did. But we're fixing it, don't worry. For heaven's sake, boy, cover your ears. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing in Squidward's dream? Hard time, boy. Or at least it feels Whoa. like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? I guess so. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. All right. Well, as you can see, there's music notes everywhere. There's pictures of Squidward everywhere. There's a spatula at the end of this long line of notes. So it looks like both uh, Mr. Krabs and Scooter are looking for each other, but they're both uh, in each other's dreams, so not helping each other out very much with that. Oh no, don't get hit by that. Okay, thank you. I just didn't want to get hit by the very thing I was trying to, or lose the health I was trying to get. Whoa, oh, I fall through that. Okay, well, it seems like it, it knew that I was gonna make that mistake easily, because that was a very quick loading screen, which I appreciate. Oh, they make little clarinet note noise things. That's cool, I like it. There we go. This might end up being tough though. This is quite the platforming challenge. Come on now. Whoa. This makes like piano noises. The yellow ones. <laughs> I like it. And just have some toothpicks or whatever they're supposed to be. I don't know. Don't know what kind of Squidward reference that's supposed to be. Anyways, oh, can we make that jump? Oh, why did I do that? Whoa, it disappears after you land on it a certain amount of times. Okay, note taken. Am I back I to full health? Yes, presents. I am. There we go. Can I make this jump? I probably shouldn't be risking it, but I can. It might be, you know, for the best, if we could just get through this back to where we were. Because this goes on. I don't want to look now, because apparently these platforms eventually fall. But this goes on for a while from what the preview showed. I don't know. Oh, we made it, we made it. Yeah, if I stand right here, 
Oh, these, these ones are moving. It just keeps going. Wow. Oh, no. Yeah, the moving notes make this a lot more complicated. But we got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. Oh, man. So I'm just trying to keep up with all of these moving notes. Sounds like quite the, uh, the masterpiece Squidward's dreaming at. He wasn't really that bad of a clarinet player. A lot of people didn't like his playing, but I don't, I don't know, every time that he played it in the show, I actually liked it. Anyways, oh, is this bouncy? It is. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> whoops. Go SpongeBob, go SpongeBob, go SpongeBob. I don't know why he's so happy after we make a mistake, but hey, I guess it's a good attitude to have. Oh, I actually made it farther there than I expected. Oh my gosh. The camera angle is not the best for it, but definitely paying attention to SpongeBob shadows is a big deal. And once again, if I do see a sock, I will be trying to go for it because, oh, I, I think I just saw one. How do I get to that? Because that doesn't seem like good. Oh, you know what? There we go. Another but that reactivates the checkpoint. So that was good though, because now I don't have to replay this part of the level later on when we are inevitably going to have an episode, oh no, where we look for the socks. I plan on having one like that, so if I can <laughs> eliminate as many socks from this level as possible, that'd be great, because this level's very difficult so far. That jump is so misleading. Sometimes it looks like you can make it, and sometimes you can't. There we go. So that took me a little bit of effort to get back to. Whoa, these are spinning now. That's a little weird. I don't know if I can make that jump. Oh, I just barely did. My gosh. It's quite the stretch at times. I don't know, where are we going? Going over here. Oh, another checkpoint. Did all that in the first try, that's awesome. Now this is where things get a little scary. Now this is gonna like go away at some point and my timing was awful. I'm glad that it reloads you at the checkpoint so quickly because the loading screens would definitely sort of tear me apart here, especially with that specific timing. Come on, come on, quickly, SpongeBob, quickly. Oh no, just go back, just go back. Or not. <laughs> come on, buddy, you can do this. There we go. I'm definitely gonna wait it out for right now. Come on, and go for it. The problem is you have to sort of make the timing better than that, because if not, that happens. So, not only do we have to jump for when it's still there, but when it's about to leave. Okay, ready, and go for it. Just like that, oh, that is so weird. Just barely making these jumps right now. Okay, I guess I'm going over this way now. That got me some extra stuff. That wasn't even really what I intended to do, I just thought that was the way I had to go next. I don't know if these blue ones disappear, but I'm not risking it. Whoa, where is this bringing me? Okay, but there's a purple one. Okay, let's get the spatula first on Squidward's big nose. 87 in total, my gosh. And then let's get back down here where we have a purple one. Now what, where do we go? Oh, I need to get back down there. So that's what this last little blue nut was for. Can we go inside the clarinet? I don't think that's worth risking. Let's just get back up here. And I guess that's it. What an interesting part of the level. Might as well activate these again. And I do wanna see, we are missing one. Weird, where could that be? I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go along. But for right now, boom, gonna go back through. What a crazy level this has been now. It is quite the dream indeed. But now we went back into Squidward's level. We already got the spatula that was on his house. I don't see anything else that we missed in terms of spatulas. So I think with that being said, we're good to uh, just sort of move down to that area. So we'll try that in just a second. I don't know, I always get messed up here, but I didn't get hurt, that's good. Already been to Mr. Krabs's. I do maybe wanna look around a little bit with this. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. What about up here? Obviously I know of the robot, but not seeing too much more. Okay, just trying to make extra sure if there's any chance we could get a, oh no, 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 oh. Ah, that is really, really tough. Cause there are just times where there's nowhere to land. 
Okay. This one looks a little bit more forgiving. And it sort of kind of is. There we go, we made it to Patrick's house. Hi, giant Patrick. I guess we're just gonna go into Patrick's dream now <laughs> before we get attacked. I don't know if that hurt us. I hope not. Patrick, you have a golden spatula. Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is <laughs> to find the golden spatula. It's right there. You're holding it. You did it. Now here is your reward. All right, well, that was deceptively easy. There we go. Um, that might be the easiest one in the game. All right, hi, Patrick. I challenge you to... Patrick, I... Yes? I already solved the challenge. You did? Then here's your reward. You already gave it to me. I did? Then I challenge you to... Ah, uh, Patrick, I've got to go. Gary, uh, needs another bath. <laughs> okay. Uh, how far can we walk around in here? Maybe there's still, like, a secret to find. Into the dark void. Okay, there is eventually an invisible wall. It doesn't look like there's anything to get here. That is so bizarre. So, okay, there was still one we missed somewhere, though. I'm so confused by that one. Weird. Was that, like, in Sandy's level or something? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to look around that area again. By the way, back to SpongeBob's dream. That one was, you know, with how difficult the other ones were. I'm actually glad with how easy that one was. As It's as easy as it gets. Oh my. Now you watch it, sir. Ow. Oh. Yeah, it makes you slippery for a little bit. I don't like it. Come on, come on. Wait, wait. Gotcha. And then gotcha. Hit you again. No. With that. There it is. Okay, and here's a box so that we can, I guess, be sent back to the beginning. And then there is a golden spatula. So that's our 89th one. Sleepy time is our trophy. So that's technically, I think... That one, across the dreamscape. So what is this one that I'm missing? I don't know. Weird. So I'll look around for it a little bit until we find it, I guess. So what is this over here? We're back at the sandy area, and I I do see something with a clam over this way. I don't know what this is, so maybe. I miss, oh, there's Plankton as well. Hi, Plankton. Hello, Plankton. That's what I need, a creature with a backbone. Uh. Do you want to feed the clan 2,800 shiny objects? Yeah, sure. Um, oh, wow, okay, this must be the, the last one's spatula. challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels, we're tough like that. <laughs> oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? I'm not sure. These swingers lead to something. All right, well, is there anything back here? I guess not. So yeah, let's try this out. Okay, so I'm glad that we did finally find this, um, you know, last golden spatula. Whoa, that's a little tough, but we, we, we got through it. So with this, it looks like we really need to glide over. I think we got it. It's quite the fall though, so let's be careful. There we go. Oh, and there's a lot of enemies up here. I was not expecting that. Okay, so, explode that and get rid of a couple of people. Uh, get rid of you, and you, <laughs> and you. <laughs> you can just keep going. Oh boy. Oh, but this thing is still over here, so let's go ahead and explode that. That didn't actually get this weird. There we go. And then back over this way. I think that's the only machine. So as long as we destroy everybody now, we should be fine. Oh boy, oh boy, gotcha. Okay, now the other guy should be a lot easier to defeat. Just like this. So we did that without taking any damage, which is good. But is that everybody? Oh, yep, I guess so. Hooray, we did it! So let's go ahead and grab this real quick. And that's our final golden spatch for the area. So now we have 90 in total. Not too bad, with the spent, of course, more, um, uh, shiny things for that, so that's sort of the shame. I definitely think that we'll have to grind some up soon, um, because I don't know if that's a thing, right? I think that they're supposed to be, from what you guys have told me, oh, here's a sock, that's what I was checking. There's supposed to be a 100% ending um, well, to the game, it'll make Patrick happy. Um, and that's where I'm getting a little curious about some stuff, uh, because uh, 
I think the next thing is supposed to be the final boss. I don't know if maybe next episode we should just go through the entire game again, get all the socks, get all the uh, shinies I need, and then just, you know, be able to finish the game the episode after that. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll end up doing. We're going to be going and I think, taking on the final boss of the game and completing the main part of the game. Uh, before we do, I do just want to say I had some extra time, so I did grind up a lot of the shinies. It might seem like I went overboard with 70,000 of them, but that was really what you need because we've already given Mr. Krabs I think like 3,000 each all the way up to 12,000. And with each one, he asks for um, another 3,000 on top of that. So we have, oh, actually 12,000, 15, 18, 21, 24. So it goes all the way up. The, we need like 90,000 in total for these spatulas. So I'll be doing that at some point. I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much for right now because um, we'll have to do a long episode next time to basically get all of the socks as well, which has to, I think there's at least one sock I'm missing in basically every single level. So that's going to take some extra time, but I wanted to go over this way and check out whatever this is. Hello, sir. May I help you? One movie ticket, my good man. 40,000 shiny objects enter the theater. I don't even know what this is. This might be actually something extra as well. I don't think this is the last level. I think the last level's in the chum bucket, so I figure we're gonna be checking out the last level in today's episode, taking on the final boss, and the next episode will sort of be the bonus episode where I get everything extra in the game, because we've done sort of the main portion they of every serve world. They food here, yes, but they don't serve love. That's true. So let's go ahead and explode these guys. Boom. Yeah, this is the last area right here, the, the Chum Bucket Lab. And yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Hopefully it turns out well. Oh, sparkly. So let's go into the Chum Bucket Lab. And hopefully everything turns out well. I can only imagine where to fight a giant robot again. I mean, that's what we did for the other two boss fights, so I guess we'll see. Oh my gosh, it's a giant robot SpongeBob. Should have guessed. Look at that guy. With that big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Wait. That hideous thing looks like me. <laughs> I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me. Jump in, jelly beans. A robot SpongeBob. There's definitely something funny going on here. <laughs> and I don't mean you. Something else funny. <gasps> Lincoln, you're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time. Behold, the Duplicato Tron. I registered the name, so don't even think you're ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton. Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! I don't know What's if that works. What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! Oh no! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute. <laughs> you have interfered with my plans for the last time. SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob. Hi, oh my! How do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough! Prepare to meet your doom. Oh, we're in trouble. So yeah, it is Robo SpongeBob. It's really cool it to see him. Whoa, like in the SpongeBob karate gear. Oh, I gotta get on that, don't I? Uh, I'm moving, I'm moving. I might run out of opportunities here if I'm not fast enough. Do I slam on this Suck button? Yes, I do. SpongeBob. All right then, so that was go oh, good. That was a doozy. It Indeed like it was. SpongeBob has an opportunity here. Oh, it didn't work this time. Oh, I gotta hit all of his other buttons. So he has one on his nose! Oh, I got him, I got him. Ow, I was not ready for that. Okay, quickly, there we go. There we go. There we go. This isn't going too bad then. Ah, oh, I was not fast enough for that one. Okay, maybe just a little. Suck it to him, SpongeBob. Okay. And the robot is down. So let me get down this way so I can help a little bit. SpongeBob won't be winning that Fresh, way. Like oh my. Oh my. Uh, I do I have like to do something about you? Like, what do I do here? Did that work? Oh, that worked. Sweet. Um, now can I hit him again? I mean, I can. I just don't know if that's really doing anything worthwhile. But maybe Suck I can do that. Him, Ow, he got me though. Oh, that was a doozy. Indeed, it was. Boom. Nice move by SpongeBob. Move, move, move. This match is just about over. Oh, oh it really might be. Are we gonna do this this easily? Say the fish yeah, I don't know what's him, going SpongeBob. on after this. Is this gonna be like a super easy boss fight? That'd be weird. 
There's gotta be more than just this, though. Come on, come on, this is the last one. Suck Got it, him! Spongebob. Well, that was it! That was really easy. Uh oh, watch it! And down it goes, woo, woo! No, you don't destroy my beautiful bride. We were supposed to get married next week. Aw. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. What is going on? Oh, I'm shrinking! No, Badrick, I think the robot is getting bigger! Oh Spence my gosh. Bob, he just flew into your head! Well, then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head. Which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, robot plankton! This is just getting too weird for me. You can say that again. So he has the blow-up arms from the one episode where he went to the beach with Sandy. <laughs> where he was trying to be all strong and stuff. Oh, wow, so we're inside the Robo SpongeBob now. What is going on? This place is really cool, actually. I like it. So let's get over this way quick before you guys can get me. There we go. Gotcha. All right, let's, wait, am I supposed to jump across? Can I make that jump? Oh, let's get you first. I might as well, oh no, ow. That wasn't a good idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Quickly before he tries to attack me. Thank you. I don't know if that's gonna do much, but now there's a platform, so that's good. And what is this? Oh, I gotta break this. It's like some kind of spark. That's not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> gotta be careful. Gotta jump over to this way. Okay, gotcha. So here comes some more enemies. Oh no. Am I supposed to do this in a certain way? I'm not really quite sure. Let's destroy that. <laughs> Halfway through. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but this is what I want to try. Gotcha. And then move yeah. SpongeBob. Oh, that's not fair. I was mid attack. What if I go down this way then? Oh, I just, wow, that was awkward. So it just instantly destroys you. So that's not what we want. That was a little weird, but I guess what I'm supposed to do as fast as I can is throw out this attack. And I know he's gonna attack me back, but maybe I can do that and move. Ah, uh, just, it takes so long. There we go, come on, come on. I'm just gonna get this now, just like that. And now will these come up? Oh, I guess we have to take you out now. So I'm gonna wait for him to blast at me once. And then I can just Fun go for him. To control. The launch is Got him. Go. Okay, this has been really weird so far, but we're, we're making progress. And not too much going on on this side, I just gotta get over a little bit more. And then there's another one right up here. All I gotta do is boom. So where is this gonna lead? Well, over here again. Where are we going? Oh, right here. Okay, so quickly. Ah, oh, missed. That was just embarrassing. There we go. That got him. And I know he's sending out more stuff over. Oh, you know what I'm supposed to do here? Bubble ball one. That didn't quite get him. That might, oh, that might have gone too far, way too far. Come on, come on. It's actually not easy to get him at all. Oh, that almost got him now, darn. There's nothing like the smell oh, of bubbles come in the on. morning. Smells we like can get him. At least we're getting a lot of sparklies for this. My size. There we go, that got it. Wow. So where's Planting gonna pop up? This is gonna pop up somewhere. There he is. Oh, he immediately went for me. You know what, buddy? Mm, get out of here. There we go, that wasn't too bad. So we should be able to get across to this one now. Oh my gosh, just keeps going. All right, jump on, SpongeBob. You got it, or not. <laughs> that was weird. And there's more. So quickly, let's just get over and, whoa, miss somehow. That one was weird. Uh, okay, now this one's a bit of a mess. I'm in trouble with that, but maybe I can hit him before he hits me, you know. This is tough. Come on, I just wanna get rid of this guy first, just like that, and then as soon as I possibly can. Dude, why? Destroy that stuff, and they haven't launched their next robots yet, so we should be fine with just boom, getting rid of the duplicator tron, however you pronounce it. And where's Plankton at? He's over here. He's trying to dodge those. We almost got him. There it is, awesome. Oh no, oh, I didn't know if we were gonna make that jump or not. And for this one, I have to use the bubble bowling. 
but not as fast. There it is. So where is this one gonna lead? It looks like over this way, I'm gonna guess. Nope, I'm wrong. Well, we're going way up. Okay. And then watch it for plankton. Wait, where is this going? Over here. Was I supposed to jump in that one side? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going for now. <laughs> Seems like the best bet, because I have no clue what's going on. Oh, man. There we go, we got him. Are we going back to where we were? I can't tell anymore. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, we're back here. So maybe I'm supposed to do something else, I don't know. Let's wait for him to pop up. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to send them in here like this, aren't I? Whoa. Oh, got it, nice. Okay, I understand now. So with that out of the way, let's jump over to this side and see if we can't do that again. Oh, okay, hold on. Right here, yeah. Waiting for Plankton to show up, but I guess he won't, or Robo Plankton more specifically. So this one we can actually do in pretty much a straight line. Got it. Okay, one more. Let's get over. And right here, going down. Oh, I can see him up there on the top. So we figured it out Sometimes just like that. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Indeed. Push, push. The small does not rule. So I guess this is actually gonna destroy the robot now. Oh boy. He's just standing there. Uh oh. Malfunction. <laughs> He's picking his ear. Oh, there goes SpongeBob. And Roboplankton. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So he's down for the count. SpongeBob, you did it! What'd he do? What? Oh, um, yeah. All oh, my plans ruined! That does it, I'm becoming a lawyer. <laughs> you haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh yeah, I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot. Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college. <laughs> you oversized coffee grinder. Oh yeah, I'll show you. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did. Next time I'll get it right. <laughs> oh, oh no! Run! Who wants to get ice cream? I do, I do. <laughs> Squidward does not. Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so yeah, I guess Bikini Bottom is not safe, but that is something we'll be working on in the next episode. We'll be getting through all of the socks, all of the shinies, all of the uh, stuff. What is this? So this is like the credits. Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is, wait, what happened? What? What happened? It just went away. I wanted to see that.